Hello and welcome back everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. I am your host, Etchy. Uh, we had a bit of a schedule shift. Uh, the original plan for the day, I've mentioned this uh, previously in all the schedule shifts, showed it was uh, I was going to run a plat Pokemon Platinum Elite 4 round 2 speedrun, um, which is like a 5 hour long speedrun. It's pretty cool. And unfortunately, I am pretty sick, so I'm not going to be able to do it today. And fortunately, uh, the wonderful people who are going to commentate that run, Swift Lou, Sparkle, and Corbin May, are all here, and they're going to help out and do some runs and commentary instead. So uh, we're still going to have a day full of Pokemon. Really excited for it. We're going to start with Swift Lou running Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Any percent, no quick save, no Wonder Mail. I definitely didn't need her to spell it out, so I knew what that full title meant. And then uh, after that, we're going to have fun with Sparkle running uh, Battle Factory, which is a unique speedrun category. We'll talk about it when we get there, but... Uh, I don't think it's been shown on Hotfix before. It's pretty cool. Uh, that'll be in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver. Um, so I think I'll go ahead and just throw it to Silver Blue to introduce herself and uh, start getting us into the run. Hi, I'm Silver Blue. You might know me from uh, the sprite that I made for Etchy at his glitch showcase for AGDQ. Um, <laughs> I, run, I run Pokemon. Uh, I've been lately running this game, and you know, I, I had to help. I, I had to help out Etchy here. He's, he's my friend. I love him. Uh, and with me, I have also two lovely people. Hello. Oh. Yes, I'm, I'm Sparkle. Know me first. I'm Sparkle. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. I'm a fellow Pokemon enjoyer. Uh, as Edgy said, I'll be backing up his his time slot for a little Battle Factory uh, enjoyment later on. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be here. Hello, I'm Corbin May. I don't... I, I, I don't run PMD because I was supposed to be here to commentate Platinum, but now we're doing PMD instead, and so I'm along for the ride. I will not be doing a run. <laughs> I do not have time. <laughs> it's okay. Um, anyways, I will be running any percent, no quick save, no wonder mail. Um, basically what that means is I don't use any quick saves, which is a feature in this game. Uh, generally, it's used for RNG manipulation, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I'm also not using Wonder Mail. Those are usually passwords to like give yourself missions and stuff like that. So we're not going to do that. I've also decided to start after the quiz because the questions that they give you are random. And I was stuck in uh, a quiz block the last time I ran this game for 10 minutes. So uh, we're not going to start from before <laughs> from on new game. Instead, we're going to start after I got the uh, result I needed. So um, I will count us down here. We're starting the run, um, and I'll explain along the way, but honestly, this is really straightforward. If you, if you know how to play PMD, it's really, really straightforward, so... Um, but anyways, three, two, one, go. All right. Ooh. So, one of the things about this game that is really, really nice is that in order to mash in this game, you don't actually mash, you just hold B. So all me advancing through this is holding B. Game Freak could never. Pretty tight. All right. Uh, we're going to pick Cyndaquil here. We also are starting as Skitty, as you saw. Uh, Skitty is really, really, really good. It gets double slap. It's really, really strong. And Cyndaquil just happens to make a good compliment to it. I see I can't escape Kahlo, basically. Uh, it's pretty tanky. It gets good moves uh, to kind of cover for Skitty until basically it gets double slap. Um, but... If you've never seen a Mystery Dungeon before, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is basically a roguelike. It's a dungeon crawler roguelike. You basically go in these different dungeons. They have randomly generated floors, a uh, very set amount of floors. And um, you're basically trying to find the stairs to get through as quick as possible. Sometimes you have to fight bosses, stuff like that. Um, this first dungeon that we're about to enter, which is Tiny Woods, uh, it's a three-floor dungeon, just randomly generated. It's gonna teach you some tutorial stuff, but uh, basically all I'm gonna try to be doing is uh, find stairs and get out. Because <laughs> uh, that's really gonna be the most part of the game, is find the stairs and get out. Sometimes I might pick up some items along the way. So here I'm gonna set some moves. I'm setting tackle, which if you don't know what tackle were, <laughs> if you don't know what I just did, oops. Um, So, set tackle, um, basically when you press L plus A, you're able to use a move without opening a menu. Um, generally, you might have to use a move. Uh, but in this case, I'm not doing that. Simple's gonna tackle that, and tackle that, apparently. I'm trying to actually get into the stairs. Ghost of the Ghost of the 
That's my dog. True. Uh, that was really fast. As it turns dog? out. That was Honey, that was really really fast. Conversation already. <laughs> no no no. Please have mercy. Um. But anyways, some of the stuff I said there was turning off Lear from Cyndaquil. We don't want that. We just want him to attack stuff. Um. Setting tackle because that's going to be our main attacking move for a while until we can start linking moves as well as getting double slap will be good. Um. But we're gonna, we've are gonna we saved this Butterfree's Child. Also, this game is very story-heavy. Uh, very, very good. If you've never played a PMD game, uh, would highly recommend. They're really, really good. There's a remake on the Switch. Super fantastic remake, too. Um, this game is why I love Eevee. So I don't know how else I could recommend it. Other than, that, is like, the, that is deep lore. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> uh, so here we're going to go to the team base. Because our cynical is like, oh, you don't have anywhere to go here. Come with us. Because it's right. By the way, the story is that uh, we're a human turned into a Pokemon, <laughs> um, which is the basis for pretty much every single PMD game. Um, probably one of its more popular side series. So, Nicole's going to ask us to join the rescue team. Uh, obviously, we're going to say no. We don't want to join this, <laughs> this rescue team. Uh, but that we actually will. Um, and we're going to name it P because it's faster. P. Basically, uh, pretty much naming anything one letter is fast in this game, so you'll see me just do that for those three things. I don't have to name anything else in this game, thank goodness. Yeah, the way the text um, scrolls in this game, it's not instant, so like it saves time when it displays less text. Yeah. Again, all I'm doing is holding B. I don't have to even mash, which is really, really nice. So nice. I'm so jealous. I know, what a great speed game. Maybe I'll um, go learn it myself. That's yeah. a great idea. So here we have a mandatory save here that we have to do. This is the only mandatory save we have to do in the game. I might save a few other times later on because uh, there are some dungeons that I am scared of. Um, anyways, we just mostly got some plot going on here. Cyndaquil's asleep out here. He's Sleep not on the job. Guy. He's gonna talk about how uh, we don't have any rescue missions, even though we just formed the team like literally yesterday. Oh no! How could we? How could we not? After just forming the T team like one day ago, you have all the credentials in the shots. world. I don't care. I know, right? And I'm gonna have to check the mailbox too, which the notes say <laughs> uh, to try not to go far down and like talk to this mailbox. And Called Swagbox, and I don't know why. Anyways, we got Pelo for delivering mail. It's gonna be a rescue request. Uh, spoiler alert. We're gonna need to go it's save Magnemite and his friends. Love Magnemite. I know. We get to go save Magnemite because they're stuck together. They only have two Magnemite, and they can't make a Magneton. That's so sad. I know. Sad. You can you could say no. We shouldn't go rescue them either. Which no. is really funny. Would, would two magnemites be like a, a magnemot? Or maybe. Magnum. But it's not enough to make a magneton. Uh, also, like, you'll what's see. What's like two thirds of a ton? I, that I don't know. I don't know. Any, any ton, metric yeah. Andes and shit? No idea. Um, so here I'm actually going to start checking for items around here. To level six. Uh, so one of the, some of the things that I'm going to be looking out for is uh, apples, orange berries, some rocks. Basically, I need to turn off this smoke screen. I had a lot of trouble menuing for apparently. Also, uh, everything does a lot of damage, as you can see. <laughs> that just did half my health. Uh, where is? Um, basically everything can be kind of scary to an extent when playing this game. Uh, hoping that some of these are okay. So I really wish, uh, people picked up the scary. Uh, you'll see me dash over items to just not get the tutorial text, basically. So will the tutorial text still happen, even though, even if you're, like, at the end of the game? Um... Yeah, so if you pick up an item with Skitty, and then you just... 
Uh, <laughs> don't have Cynic will pick it up. Yeah, you will get tutorial text. It's really funny. That's so funny. So that was a lot of items. I just made sure to pick up everything, basically. Probably don't need that many, but I should be good for now. Um, that's really all I needed. Because the rocks are going to be pretty useful for Skarmory. Um, and the apples are just going to be useful for safety, so are the orange berries. Uh, this is also a five floor dungeon, so we're almost already done here. The text is still going on for the tutorial, because again, it's just supposed to be a very simple game. Uh, really, it's it's kind of similar to Pokemon, where it's all turn based. It's just random dungeon, generated dungeons. Oh, this is a big floor. What the heck? Also, I'll sometimes... So you can move in eight directions in this game. Uh, you can move the four directions that are pretty normal for a DS game. But you can also move diagonal. Um, and I have a lot of trouble moving diagonal, <laughs> as you'll probably end up seeing. Uh, so what I do sometimes is you can hold R and then use the D-pad to force yourself to move diagonally. Um, Good feature. Yeah, it is a really good feature. There are some really nice features that, like, are just <laughs> nice gameplay mechanics, I guess. Um, Wait, are you playing on a 3DS or a DS? I am currently playing on a DS. All right, so you can't use the circle pad to, to go diagonal. Unfortunate. No. Circle pad sounds really janky. It sounds awful. <laughs> it's not, I don't, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, it doesn't matter which hardware you run on, as far as I know. Uh, apparently there's like... Oh, I forget. I need to check the mailbox. <laughs> I think there's like a tiny bit of lag on the 3DS version. But um, otherwise, it doesn't matter which version you play. Or uh, which which console you play on. The version you play matters. So there are two versions of this game. There's Red Rescue Team and there's Blue Rescue Team. I'm playing Blue Rescue Team. Um, Red Rescue Team was actually a Game Boy Advance game, so they made two different versions Wait. of the same game on two different systems. Wait, I just realized this is the DS game. I'm okay. Yeah. There, there are, are two screens, screens yeah. the entire time. No, yep. I didn't think about it because I was like, oh, it's like, it's exploring. It's like, it's no, like it's two not. Game it's Boy games. It's Rescue Team, because I had Red as a kid on the Game Boy. Right, and right. And so I was oh. like, yeah, it's a Game Boy game. And then they released Red and Blue on the Game Boy because that's how Pokemon releases stuff. I feel bad for the people who played Red Rescue Team because the music sounds so much worse. No, I love it. I'll be I, love I don't know. I think it sounds terrible. Sky Tower goes so hard <laughs> on Red Rescue Team. You're, mm. you're hating. I don't remember anything about this game. I played it probably 20 years ago, so. But you played the remake. So I don't remember anything about specifically the Game Boy Advance version of this game. I played it 20 years okay. ago. Yeah. So I take all the jobs there. Um, basically, in order to progress through the story, you need to do a certain amount of jobs. Um, so you'll see me taking basically jobs from the first three dungeons, if I don't forget. Uh, I also have to pay attention to what kinds of jobs they're asking. So like one of these was give me an orange berry, which is perfectly fine. I will do an orin, give me an orange berry. Also, I forgot to link. <laughs> I need to do that afterwards. Running from this sun turner trying to. There we go. Generally, don't want to. Oh, that's. Oh, wait, that's my client. I was like, this is so many enemies. I was like, Monster House? Yo? <laughs> no, not yet. That's not until uh, Upper Forest. Gotcha, gotcha. So does Skitty have like a, a more strict level curve than Cyndaquil? Because I already see that uh, you're two levels behind Cyndaquil. Skitty has a slower level curve to begin with, but it starts to catch up towards uh, later. I think it's a fluctuating curve. Uh, okay. But I'm not sure. Um, Some, at least that's my guess. Someone in chat was asking about why why you're using Skitty, because, uh, you know, Skitty is a pretty weak Pokemon in, in the general Pokemon series. Why is it uh, why is it so good here? So Skitty is really good because it gets double slap. Also, there's an Orin Berry uh, <laughs> right there. I thought this was the, the liberal mission. Um, Skitty's really good because it gets double slap. Uh, if you know linked moves in, or if you know multi-hit moves in this game, multi-hit moves 
uh, basically do the same amount of damage on each hit as like maybe an ember tackle or something. So mm -hmm. that damage adds up a lot. Also, I should have been paying attention to what I just got. I hope I got a max elixir or a seed from that. <laughs> I saw I got rocks, so that's not good. Um, is, there but, is there stab in this game too? I think so. Yeah, I actually am not sure. You, you got, you got max elixir. Uh, the one thing I can tell you is that you get 1.5 times EXP when you use a Link's move. Oh wow! Like, oh yeah, that's neat. You get half the XP if you use uh, the standard A move, and not like uh, an actual move, because uh, you have your standard move, which they removed in later games for or later installments. Where if you press A, that gives you like a weak, just kind of standard attack. Doesn't use any PP or anything. Uh, then you have your normal attacks that you're used to from Pokemon, like Tackle, Tail Whip, stuff like that. That gives you just the normal like one times XP. But then if you link your moves and use a linked move, uh, where it's just using like two attacks in one turn, you get 1.5 times EXP, which is actually going to be kind of relevant. I've watched a couple of your runs already in the past week, and I know I've seen that uh, Skitty has a track, which seems pretty good against bosses. How does that oh, work? Oh yeah. So, no Pokemon in this game have a gender, because they didn't put that in. They put that in the next game, but not this one. Anyways, I'm just... Uh, not who I wanted to do that to. Uh, there we go. Sorry, I just had to link the move. But uh, yeah, Attract is really good because it basically infatuates any Pokemon. No matter what. Uh, like it's, it's a sure hit? Uh, as I guess as long as it doesn't really miss, which I don't know if it has accuracy or not, but like, as long as you use it and it hits, it will always work. Yeah. It doesn't just fail. Um, which is pretty interesting. You can I'm surprised just, uh, it works on bosses. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it They just can't do anything for multiple turns. Yeah, they can't. It is pretty funny. So this is Mount Steel. This is one of the first scary cave or scary dungeons. You can see that Zigzagoon just did a ton of both to me. Um, stuff in this dungeon hurts. Um, so you don't want to <laughs> try to fight much if you can. Just kind of waltz past the stairs, don't worry about that. Um, but this is like the first dungeon where things start to get kind of spooky, scary. But at the end of this uh, dungeon, which is eight floors, uh, you have to fight Skarmory, which is the first boss in the game. Uh, I do not like that I have to fight two of these. Thanks to the cool for missing. Okay. Um, it's so funny because there's like it feels like there's so much to explain, but there's also like not enough. <laughs> Oh my god. This is not good. You're <laughs> this is very slow. Mr. President, we're surrounded. <laughs> when do you get double slap? Uh, level 15. Oh, so that geez. won't be until around Great Canyon. Gotcha. Oh man, it wasn't even here. You also see me like back up just so I can double basically attack um, Pokemon with Cyndaquil. Just small things to make them go down faster. I really wish I wouldn't keep encountering them in this hallway though, because I can't do much when that happens. But at least I'm getting a ton of XP. I don't really need that, but... That's you need nice. money in this game at all? You need some money to an extent, but not... Not that much. Yeah, I see you, you skipping over the, the pee on the ground because it's kind of slow to pick up. You don't yeah, need money. Helping some... people with its own reward. True. True. Oh, I just died. That's fine. I, had a I have a reviver seed from uh, the Magnemite mission, so that's not too big of a deal. Uh, but I need to not die again. You can use the rescue function and have a teammate rescue you from a different DS system. True. Oh. Everyone log on to Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Let's go. Isn't it only local in this game? Uh, is it? <laughs> I have no idea. No, you like, it's like a code, right? Oh, it is a code. But wait. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a weird code system, kind of like the original Animal Crossing. 
Oh my god. Because like on Red Rescue Team, you have to use a link cable, right? There's no other way. No. Um, is that true? No, it's still code. No, it's, it's all code. I remember sending people codes, but I... How do you... Like, well, over on the Game, on the Game Boy Advance? When I was like 12. Yeah, on the Game Boy Advance. How does that work? You just Magic. use a code. It has all the data. It's, it's yeah. extremely... like. This is the thing. The code system is really good because it's survived even past the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Because guess what? You don't need the Nintendo so, Wi-Fi connection. So you use the code to save your friend, and then you send the code to your friend that you saved, and then they can put the code in, and then they're safe? Yeah. yeah. That is crazy. It's so good. <laughs> That's pretty wicked. It's so good. We might have peaked uh, as a society when this game came out, honestly. I know, We got to bring back that. We got to bring back fax machines. We got to bring back uh, Walkman. <laughs> we don't need to Yo. bring back... We, we don't need to bring back. We don't need to bring back facts or shades. I think that's okay. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Scarberry, uh, this is a boss. You'll you'll oh, see scary. it just go down in about three hits here. So we're gonna Be careful, rocks normal is not very effective. Oh, thank you. Thank goodness I'm oh. using rocks. Yeah, rocks seem pretty effective. Bye bye. Jeez. <laughs> Um. Also, we're going to see one of the most famous lines uh, in <laughs> the entire Pokemon series, which is Diglett saying that it has feet. I don't know why, uh, but like when Magnemite rescues it down from the top of the hill here, uh, he was like, oh, my feet felt like they were floating on air. And <laughs> everyone was questioning, <laughs> what? He has feet? <laughs> but the Magnemite didn't see his feet when they were carrying him? No. I feel it's, like it's I feel like funny. you look at Diglett <clears throat> and like where its feet like there are voids where its feet are supposed to be. And like it acts like it's normal. So does Doug Trio have six feet? Maybe. Um could be. What if well they could it could be three. Maybe it has like one very large. Well no, because the Diglett had feet plural. So Doug Trio's three of them. Could be. I mean, you You're know right. more about feet than us, bro, so I... Oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Also, we got some items, but we're gonna generally sell them. Because uh, we don't need them. And I could really use the money instead for stuff like Reviver Seeds, especially since I just used one, and that was my only Reviver Seeds, so... Uh, don't feel safe right now. Uh, basically, a lot of this run is gonna be making sure I have <laughs> Reviver Seeds, Max Liquor elixirs and apples, some orange berries as well. Um, Reviver seeds are literally like Pokemon revives, except they are instant use, which is really, really nice. You don't have to go into a menu and do that. Um, but if either you or your partner die in a dungeon and don't have any more Reviver seeds, uh, you basically game over and you have to restart the day. Mm -hmm. That seems so, not great. Yeah, no, really don't want to do that. Also, uh, our skitty has been having weird dreams. We're just going to ignore that one for now. It's plot device, basically. Um, gonna be doing some shopping mostly, I think. Reading my notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to pick an option while reading my notes. God, there's so much to keep track of with this game. <laughs> yeah, big shout out to Swiftaloo for doing this run because she's fairly new to this run too and uh, was, was still willing to go through with this and cover for me for my uh, inability to do my run today. So, big thank you again to Swift. Thank you, Swift. Thank no you, problem. Say thank you, Swift. Anything for Etchy. He's my friend. <laughs> I didn't want to sell again. I want to buy. Please have everybody receipts. Uh, I'll take nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I probably shouldn't take the Warp Seed. Uh, Petrify Warp? Petrify Warp, okay. And Warp Warp. I'm probably going to take both of those, actually. Not Thief. I don't want Thief. Are these uh, both completely these, random? They are random, yeah. I cannot uh, control them also. I'm going to get rid of this Gravel Rock 7. I don't need Gravel Rock 7. Um, and I'm going to come back over here to this mission board. Grab this. Grab some of these two. I uh, don't want to take the one that gives an orange gummy. I, that's really hard to find. No so now I have... Two tiny woods jobs, three fun thunder wave cave jobs, and I got blocked by an NPC. <laughs> and 
and uh, oh, I forgot to talk to Wigglytuff. Um, you have so much three, work to do. I, I know. <laughs> There's so much it's to miserable. do. Miserable. No, it's, it's an 80 not. hour work week. What is going on? <laughs> no, I know. Um, basically, I'm going to be taking jobs from just Tiny Woods, Slender Wave Cave, or Mount Steel because they are the three shortest dungeons in the game, uh, since they're like the three early dungeons, basically. Um, I'm going to be doing a 2 3 3 setup where I will always take two or do two missions from Tiny Woods, three missions from Thunder Wave Cave, and three missions from Mount Steel. Um, it's just the fastest way to basically complete having to do jobs and stuff. That so Wigglytuff portrait is so, like, menacing. I don't know. It's it, it just sticks at you with me. Yeah, it's literally just, like, it's, it's too, like, the smile is too. Curved, you know, like it's, there's, there's, <laughs> there's goodness, I'm not running it. a PMD sky. <laughs> um, also, Magnemite just joined us. He wanted to join us uh, yesterday, but we didn't actually have a friend area. There's friend areas in this game, uh, and those are your way to recruit people. If you have a friend area, then that means they can like uh, go there, depending on who it is. It's kind of like PC boxes for Pokemon uh, Mystery Dungeon, except. Uh, you need certain PC boxes in order to recruit certain Pokemon. Uh, kind of interesting. Oh, so there's going to be a commotion going on here. This jump puff is uh, going to talk about how his friend is stuck between some rocks and he needs some winds whipped up from this ship tree's bands. Uh, but the ship tree didn't want to do it. And then this uh, team that comes over, which is uh, Team ACT, which is Alakazam, Charizard, Tyranitar, uh, who is a, a very high-ranked team because everyone says, uh, do the job, because he's like, no, I'm not gonna do the job, I'm not gonna do the simple job. Uh, jump up will be important later. Not now, not right now, though. But don't worry. Yeah! They're so Jeff? cool. I know. Jeff. We're gonna see I, this I Jeff later. Charizard. Yeah, there's Charizard, too. Oh, and then there's uh, gonna be our peek at the villain in the game, which is Gengar. Uh, Resident uh, creature. Sus. Yes. <laughs> uh, basically, we're gonna be facing against a team a few times in the game called Team Meanies. I know, very creative name. Uh, who Their goal is to rule the world with a team of three Pokemon. Don't tell me how they're gonna do that, because I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go to the Thunderwave cave or any of that. Also, I'm mashing A here because it's actually faster. Because it makes basically like warps you to there. Again, just completing this as fast as possible. I believe I have a delivery mission in here, but I'm gonna double check just in case. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm having so much trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> I could not press R and hold it to save the life of me. Uh, <laughs> but it's okay, because we're going through it also. This is the last seat yet. Okay. That will be useful later on for play strats. Oh my god, I know very... Uh, if you've played a Pokemon run, or have seen a Pokemon run, you'll know Blaze, Torrent, all that stuff is pretty important uh, in that game. It's actually not that important here, but it's useful for a couple of uh, bosses. If you get too high level though, then it's not going to be that useful. Uh, now I have to play find the dot, the yellow dot on the screen, and hope it's not in the thing. I think it's oh, the there's the part. yellow dot. Yeah. Just... It is so hard to see. Okay, there's something we'll pick that up. There we go. It's really hard for me to see this uh, on screen, because again, I'm playing on DS. Oh, I do not want to be. That would have been bad. <laughs> uh, it's pretty typical to see on DS. You got a new team, mate. <laughs> yep. <Right. laughs> yep. You just, uh, just, just kind of run away from it. There's uh, our next client, and I just kind of move past him. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't, I don't uh, know. I was looking see. at the rats. I was probably going on about something, and it's like, probably not that important. Uh, this is terrible gen generation. I have to fight this. Oh, I have to fight 
least. Uh, you can hold B plus A to advance, basically, without having to actually move, so sometimes I'll do that just to get an enemy to come near me. There's a miner right behind me. No, miner. Nope, we have to, we have to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, there's our last mission, so now we can exit. Not too bad, aside from, I guess, uh, the first one where I couldn't see the dot, because again, it's really hard to see on a DS screen the lighting and everything. Yeah. More rocks. I don't want rocks. Uh, again, hoping for max elixirs or uh, reviver seeds instead of getting rocks, and that just clogs up my inventory because those don't stack, which is really annoying. Cherry berry is not what I needed either. Unfortunate. That's okay. Um, now we're gonna do another set of missions. I know, uh, super cool. Also, Team Meanies is gonna show up and gonna take all our mail. Cause you uh -oh. know that's, Ekin, that's definitely not huge. illegal. <laughs> that is a big Ekans, you're right. Have you seen the Ekans in the, the remake? It's so funny. No, I have not, I have not played the remake. Please look at Ekans in the remake. It is hilarious. It's so, so, so funny. Oh my god. No. Yes. Remake Ek. Is that crazy? <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. It's so it's funny. So it's long. so, so oh. funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. It's hilarious. And then it moves like a snake too. Uh huh. It goes like wiggling. It's really silly. Um. Anyways, ignoring what... Team Minis did. We're actually just gonna go to Tiny Woods again and do another two missions. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you, if you have not seen uh, Team Minis Snake in the remake, it is hilarious, and I love it so much. And I love it when it uh, moves too. Yeah, the the 3D model of it is very funny. It was a huge like meme on Twitter. I did not realize that that would not let me talk to you, but I'm not surprised. Um, it was such a huge meme on Twitter when, uh, this game first came out, because it just looks so goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, anyways, not, not much to talk about still, just... Mission, find Dot, here's Dot. Okay. Hi, Dot. Bye, Wurmple. Bye, forever. No. Uh, hopefully I get... Reviver seeds, max elixirs from these two. Okay, we got one. That's a max elixir. That's good. Huge. And that's it. <laughs> so, everyone in the call, what is what is your history with the the mystery dungeon Pokemon mystery dungeon series? Um, I played Blue Rescue Team when I was like, a I played like the I played Blue Rescue Team and the Explorers games when I was a kid, and then uh -huh. uh, I played a bit of Gates of Infinity, but then I, yeah, I stopped, and then I played all of Super. That's my history. What about you? I, uh, I played them all. <laughs> you played all of them, like literally all of them. I played them all. Oh my god. I guess technically I played, the only one I haven't played is Darkness. That's it. I played Red when I was like, I don't know, 10. And then I did not play a single other one until the remake came out. And the remake gave me a migraine. <laughs> and so I stopped playing the remake. And then uh, I tried playing the DS, uh, the Explorers. And I was like, this is pretty slow. Yeah. I like I, the uh, gameplay though. Oh yeah, for sure. I uh, I, I played Red and Blue and then uh, two of the Explorers games. I don't remember which two. I did play two of them, um, and then I didn't play any beyond that. But uh, su suffice to say, we're all very knowledgeable on this call about the yeah, Pokemon we're like Mystery experts. Dungeon series. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, we have, we have a, a real why... expert here, at least. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a reason why we're here specifically to do this run and not platinum. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I loved, especially the Explorers games. I, I, I loved them so much as a kid. I played them so, so, so much. Um, oh, yeah, they're very good. Yeah. Also, the green cafe I'm almost selling Reviver Seeds. Thank goodness. So I just basically spent all my money on that. Um, Sinister Woods here, full floor dungeon. Um, not too much to say. We're actually going to be waiting until Stickle gets Ember here. That just really hurt. I really do like these pseudo widows. Um, and then once he does get. Uh, this is unfortunate. These are very unfortunate pseudo widow placements. Uh, as soon as you get near them, they'll start following you. That's cool that they like adhere to their Pokedex by just staying still until you bother them. Yeah, basically. Pretty cool. Uh, but that means if they have really bad spawn, it really sucks also. Uh, this is kind of bad to get. Okay, well, we got Ember, so. Uh, switch off the Slink move here and just have Cyndaquil basically deal with everything because Ember is really, really strong. Uh, Warp Warp's kind of actually really good. Uh, didn't know it picked that up. Uh, oh of course. my god, Th that dead end is crazy. Oh my god. Sometimes the game is really punishing. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna be pretty over leveled here. Again, just making Cyndaquil do all this because it can just one shot everything. I probably should just let it do it from the corner there because it can. Oh my god, come on. Let me through. the stairs. Teehee. Yay! Last room. Love that. Um, hopefully that doesn't mean I get hungry sooner. Uh, just having a simple deal with this. This is a lot of enemies. Cyndaquil soloing. Oh my god. I know. Cyndaquil is really, really strong with Ember now, so we don't really have to worry about too much. Um... Great, I just ran into a super. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So With a one okay, shot resisted? <laughs> Dude, what a champ. Oh my goodness. That was a very eventful floor. No. Now we got a sentry coming after us. Avoiding the pseudo wudo. <laughs> uh, making sure I line up with the stairs this time, too. Don't just randomly press B and A, there's the stairs. Man, this place really is sinister. I'm starting to get creeps. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? I know it's dark now. Oh no! You can use flash to uh, illuminate the floor. Dude, that's a really cool reference. Oh! You know that doesn't exist in this game? Instead they have luminous orb. Oh. Flame. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many enemies. They're also really tiny rooms, which is unfortunate for me. And of course, it's right here with two cast coons, just right next to the stairs. No biggie. Um, we're only halfway through this dungeon. It's a long ass dungeon here right now. <laughs> um, a lot of stuff in this room. Yeah, unfortunately we're getting kind of uh, screwed over a little bit here by RNG. Uh, this oh is not being very kind. No, dude. We, we just we find can hang out with room. Shroomish though, that's pretty cool. How much PP does Ember have? Uh, quite a bit. I, to be fair, I don't need it. So great, see he's getting hungry. Oh, it ran out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that answers your question, Sparkle. There you go. Yay! Wow. You know, speaking of RNG, uh, what does no quick save, no wonder whale mean in your any percent category title? So 
this game uses quick save and uh, wonder. Or this game has stuff called quick save and wonder mail. Because I'm having so much trouble talking while this is going on. <laughs> um, you are under attack. It's okay. Take yeah, it this is true. So quick saving is a feature in this game that you can do, where it's also. Oh my goodness, I did 50 damage there. Um, basically. Quick save is used for the manip category. Uh, it's where you can basically do a quick save in the middle of a dungeon, so you can like take a break or something. Uh, I think I'm about to die here. Oh no! Dodge. Oh. Okay, they're, they're throwing. Gonna have to eat an orange. This uh, light dude to go oh, on. There's so many. Cynical <laughs> is almost close to dead. Get him. Yes. Watch. Watch. There's the stairs. Again, still not done with this touch. This is very long. This is yeah. not supposed to be this long. Um. Actually, that is the way of RNG and how it goes sometimes. Please don't die to this. Also, the AI in this game moves smart, so they'll always cut corners right. if they can. You'll see me just kind of cut corners sometimes because uh, the AI is a little too smart. I meant no. to... That's great. Okay. Well, well done, Spore. Okay, we have a backup for this. It's called Throw Rocks. Nice. Eat rock. Yeah, yeah all, all I was alluding to earlier is uh, this category explicitly has no RNG manipulation. That is uh, what no quick save basically entails. Yeah, it is. There is a, again, there is an RNG manip category. Um, it uses Meow instead. Uh, I have not learned it quite yet, but I plan to in the future at some point. Because, oh, I can never stay away from RNG myth categories. And you won't have nightmare floors like this. So. Yeah! I also need to pick up another apple at some point. I uh, only had one apple, as it turns out. Oh my god. This guy. Good job not waking him up. Yeah, you don't want to wake him up. He kind of hurts. Oh, no. I mean, everything kind of hurts. Especially when I don't have any more Ember PP. Uh, I could just max Elixir Quill and, like, not have to worry about that, but... You're almost there anyway. Yeah. I don't actually need, uh... Oh. I don't actually need uh, Ember for anything else besides just hitting rid of enemies and mm -hmm. this. The yeah, ice, you have just tanky slack off is. It takes a bunch of hits in order to defeat. And I'm getting hungry again! Oh boy, let's see if we go by the stairs! <laughs> uh, oh, that did not die. Uh, not learning sing here. Again, the only move that we're actually going to be teaching this kitty here. Oh, the linked moves have almost come to part, so I need to... I definitely need to do this now. Um, so in this game... Oh my god, this is why I hate this game. <laughs> uh, in this game, you can't actually give your partner items. You have to throw them. Very annoying, because uh, they could do that. They could just dodge it. That's so be like, funny. no, I don't want to. I don't want that. You did it. Yay! Very long dungeon. It's the meanies. Watch out, everybody. Oh yeah, no two meanies. Alright, so we're gonna throw a rock at Medicham. We're gonna attract Gengar. And then basically just get rid of this uh, Medicham really quick here. 
Uh, Cynical needs to make sure to use a Link's move at least twice, or at least once on pretty much every uh, boss Pokemon here, because again, 1.5 times XP. Granted, <laughs> with how much XP I got from that dungeon just now, uh, I probably don't need that. Uh -huh. uh, I ran out of PP, so I guess we're throwing rocks. Primal Instinct's engaged. Uh, don't like that. Okay, there we go. So yeah, nice. uh, you, like type immunities are like you can st they still do damage in this game, just like a, a, a significant percentage lower. Yeah. But they still do damage, which is important for later. Yeah. <laughs> don't remind me of the shepherds. <laughs> oh, anyone knows Sky Tower? You'll know. You'll know. Uh, but I gotta make sure to trash a bunch of stuff in my inventory now and probably go shopping again to make sure that I have uh, enough max elixirs and all this stuff. Because again, inventory management, like making sure you have enough max elixirs, food items, stuff like that is just so important. Um, I'm not too scared of this next dungeon, but I mean, considering how that last dungeon went, you know, I'm just a tiny bit scared. Um, but anyways, the whole point of that mission was to save, uh, Caterpie's friend, Metapod, because it got lost in the woods, and, uh, Team Meanies was like, haha, we're gonna, uh, find him first, and then your parents are gonna pay us with their credit cards or something. And then, uh, you, you can join us. Are there credit cards in the Pokemon universe? Does that ever happen? No, but they do want to be paid handsomely by their parents, which is an actual thing. Well, there is a bank, so maybe. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, how plausible? The Pokemon credit card. I don't know. Also, Jeff is back. Um, Shift Tree hasn't returned after yeah. being assigned to Jeff. Uh, go basically loosen its friend from the rocks. So we're gonna go do that instead. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna go do that, but you know, for that part, uh, let me get rid of all this stuff that's in my inventory. <laughs> I actually don't have any. I ran out of rocks, it turns out. So I'm actually gonna buy an apple, which I don't normally do, but I kind of need it at this point. Um, we're gonna go over here, get some missions. Uh, I can't take orange gummy. <laughs> uh, so I guess we're gonna take just the one tiny woods mission. I think I might not actually have enough money for this. Uh... Oh, I do. Okay, cool. I have probably barely enough money. I think it just was 150 for both, which is good. Uh, so anyways, we're going to Silent Chasm. Uh, nine Floor Dungeon. No boss at the end, but we're going to be told about how there's a monster that lurks in there and our partner's going to be like, Oh no, my stomach hurts! Oh, doesn't your stomach hurt too, Skitty? And we're going to be like, huh? Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay, because eh? later we're going we're gonna to pretend that our stomach hurts because it's faster. Okay. <laughs> Skips like three option text boxes. Oh, they're cramping. Yep. And uh, our Cynical's going to get mad at us too for not playing along. <laughs> Uh, pretty funny. Cyndaquil hated that. Cyndaquil will remember this. No, Cyndaquil is just very scared, uh, because of the monster. Uh, the monster is Zapdos, by the way. They're so pretty scary. Pretty powerful. No. I wish she picked up that rock. So here, I'm mostly gonna be trying to defeat stuff with Skitty, if I can actually hit this. So I'm definitely picking up that ordinary. Please pick that up, Cyndaquil. <laughs> oh no, we have another one of these, like, tiny little dungeons. In the last room.
That is good. Our band. So, uh, this is the first dungeon that introduces scarves. Uh, scarves are held items. Uh, they're really, really useful. And uh, you definitely want to pick them up if you see them. Uh, you generally want the special band for Cyndaquil and then the power band for Skitty, because Cyndaquil's mostly going to be using special moves and Skitty's mostly going to be using uh, physical moves. I mean, I don't think anybody gets any special moves in this room. Uh, Cyndaquil can take the power band later on, but generally just going to keep an eye out for that, maybe check some of the scarves uh, to see if one of those are special. But if I get a power, then I can just give it that too. That's a lot of enemies. Whoa. Yeah, new school text. Oh, 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 I was like, what is going on? I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Uh, figured it out. I was like, oh, why aren't you attacking? He just really wanted oh. to take a good look at that young man. Him a little bit. Okay, I want this apple. I want this apple, <laughs> especially with how uh, I've been burning through those kinds of items. Where is the stairs? There they are. Weird movement. Don't want Cyndaquil to attack those Hound Hour. They have Flash Fire, which makes them immune to fire type moves. Uh, and that also powers up their fire type moves, but it's mostly the immunity that sucks because obviously it does no damage. Uh, just gonna have Cyndaquil take care of this one. Basically, kind of juggling who uh, kills what. Because in some cases, like, Skitty can't just one-shot it. Skitty can, like, one-shot most, especially with how high level I am. Uh, but Glooms are really, really tanky, so I'm just gonna, uh, so I can take care of them. God, I am so high level right now. You're almost a double slap. Very exciting. I am almost a double slap, and I can technically... No, I wasn't really supposed to learn it. Oops. I wasn't really supposed to learn it this early. Um, <laughs> you can learn it, like... I think the earliest the notes mention it is Zapdos, basically. Mm -hmm. I don't need the switch orb, I don't need that either. Whoops. Wait, I don't need to use. Okay, well, I do need to use an apple. Uh oh, hungry. Okay. Eat the rocks. Why we bought an apple, <laughs> and also why we picked up an apple. Um, if you run out of. This game has a hunger mechanic. Oh, that sucks. Um, if you run out of belly, uh, you will start taking damage each time you walk, and it's also really, really slow, and this is also very slow. So, I don't want that. I run out of belly. Yeah. Hungi. Don't want happens. that. I too hate when I'm hungry and I start taking damage, uh, every time <laughs> I walk. Uh, okay, fine. Have it your way. I want to uh, ditch Cynical here, that'd be kind of bad. He was so far away, oh my god. Yeah. What? Where are the stairs? Stairs. Where'd you go? And now I'm hungry again. Oh. He was so silly. Okay, there are the stairs. Just, they were right there. I don't know why I didn't actually go in that room. I guess I thought I'd already cleared it. Is there any sort of like methodology you're, you're good, like using when you go through these random floors? Or are you just kind of just following past whatever's fastest and just trying to check as many rooms as quickly as possible? I'm just trying to check as many rooms as quickly as possible. Gotcha. To make some cool finish these off. Um, there's not really too much of a methodology. There is some for some dungeons where it's fixed. 
I'm also thinking this is the last floor, so if I get hungry, it's fine. Uh, like, Sky Tower has a couple of fixed floors, um, so there's some methodology to just checking those. Um, but I'm hoping I get the Warp Scarf, because that would make, uh, doing that dungeon really, really interesting, because, uh, I basically will be juggling warping around everywhere. But, uh, that requires getting Warp Scarf in the second to last dungeon, which is Magma Cavern. Um, not necessary to have it, it just can make Sky Tower a bit easier. As far as I know, the combo move does not drain hunger as much as, as anything more than anything else does, basically. Uh, skipping a turn to without actually doing anything is holding B and then pressing A. Oh, also, a uh, ship tree got kidnapped by Zapdos. Basically, we're starting to learn that there's like unnatural things happening in the world where there's like earthquakes and uh, winds not blowing stuff melting, uh, things like that. Uh, also, this is where I start saying ow, 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 my stomach because it's faster. Because <laughs> otherwise, Charizard's like, yeah, Zapdos will gobble you up. Are you sure you're, you're ready? And, uh, silly. So since I didn't get, um, Two Tiny Woods missions, I'm gonna be checking the board here, because uh, I don't have the 233 setup yet. Oh, there we go. Boom, <laughs> Scobby. Boom, boom runs this game. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Now we have the 233 setup as well. Um, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> uh, this is Mount Thunder. It is a 10 floor, well, technically 12 floor dungeon. There's 10 floors plus a save point in between and then another two floors. Uh, this is the first dungeon that's introduced that does that, where it's like split up. But there will be more later. Uh, one of the things that's going to start appearing in this dungeon is link boxes, so I'll be on the lookout for that. This is not going to like a ran. So I see a max elixir, and I really like getting those. But yeah, mostly just, again, going through as fast as possible. I'll be checking now for, um... Oh, this sucks. Oh, that for the burn damage flush? <laughs> uh, by the way, if something dies to burn, uh, you won't get any XP. That's... that's a choice. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I, I've had it happen uh, once on Articuno where I didn't get any XP from wow. that, but that, luckily it, was, it that didn't matter too much. Uh, I personally. Yo, string shot is crazy. I know it it Man. hits from so far. <laughs> Yeah, they really like made a lot of moves that are typically useless in the main games just like crazy crack yeah. in, in PMD. Spring shot, double slab. The list goes on. Gravel rock. Uh, Graveler <laughs> rock based off Graveler, Sorry, the Pokemon. Yeah, get it right next time. Yeah, look how slow Stuquil is. <laughs> <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, great, okay. I'm just gonna throw a rock. Luckily, rocks are still quite useful, um, even if you aren't really using them anymore for like boss fights or anything. Uh, still a very useful item to have, especially if you get like just like that and then can't do anything. Or if you're like, need a range, basically. Uh, this is kind of scary. Alright, 
Alright, now I get double slap. So we're gonna forget growl, learn double Freaking slap. Move. Very good move. Uh, we're going to Sir. go ahead and set it right away. Uh, and start missing Great start. immediately too. <laughs> yep. Does a lot of damage, but also really likes to miss. Yeah. Again, double slap, one of the big reasons why Skitty was chosen. Uh, along with the track, very powerful. Um, why, why, uh, did, you, did you mention exactly why Cyndaquil is uh, your preferred partner here? Uh, yeah, uh, it's because it's just a really good complement to Skitty, like early game, just mm -hmm. until basically Skitty gets uh, double slap. Because it's pretty strong on its own with Ember and Tackle. Right. Um, and it just kind of tides you over just enough to, um, once you get that, once you get double slap, then you're good to go. I like the Selectivire. Selectivire? What game were you playing? Yeah. Electabuzz. Oh, it's Electabuzz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know my Pokemon names. Hack that, get rid of it. There's the stairs. Not too great so far, especially because this is very. Looks like a lot of tiny rooms again. Oh, okay, cool. Found the stairs. Also, this game moves kind of fast, but I don't know. It's it's not too hard to keep up with. It's just basically hugging the sides. Uh, I don't like this. We do not like Beedrill. Beedrill hurts a lot. I didn't need to do that. has fury attack, multi-hit move, so it hurts, like, a lot. <laughs> you don't want to get hit by that. Uh, another dead end. Very nice. Love that. I should just take care of it. Oh, I don't have grapple rock. Thought I still had some gravel rock, but nope, I do not. And now my moves are about to come apart. Oh my goodness, this has been, uh, something. I've been getting bullied by dungeons left and right. How many floors is this? This is 10 floors plus two peaks. So right. there'll be a safe point in between. I don't want to recruit Stantler. I never uh, recruited anybody when I played because they would just waste Reviver Seeds. I recruited, uh, some Pokemon because I... Uh-oh. I, um, I struggled really, really hard on what you would doodle. Uh, I need to turn I that, not yet that off. That one. That yeah, one I need to turn this off. I don't want to Watch him a doodle and, and think of my Bob. Those are the words. <laughs> I'm, I'm having so much trouble with this because I'm getting, <laughs> no, like, okay, absolutely, okay. <laughs> I'm this getting. Is, this is rough. <laughs> um. God, that's a ferocious I know. I know, it needs to go away. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, I had a lot of trouble with Sky Tower when I first played this game. Yeah, same. So I had recruited some stuff and I'm hungry again. Let's buy another apple later. I'm having <laughs> the time of my life with apples. These more generations. Oh god. They're so bad. I know. They are pretty bad. I am getting pretty roughed up here by these floors. Uh, luckily the estimate... I just ran out of PP for level slip. Luckily the estimate is pretty forgiving. Last room again too. Finally! Now we got two more floors. Hopefully we don't have more trouble with that. I did not mean to do that. I actually wanted to turn this back on. Because all the PP gets restored. Uh, there's one stairs. Um, I'm also going to be trying to use blaze strats here. Uh, so this shouldn't be too high level. I'm going to pick up the sword berry. 
Uh, I shouldn't have picked this up. God. Now there's a lot of enemy. And no. now I'm poisoned. Poisonous. So uh, I should have a Petra. Skin. Okay. Yeah, so poison's like... You take damage every few steps, but more importantly, you don't restore HP passively. Yeah. Really Luckily, I have plenty of Petras, so that's not too big of a deal. Not ideal, but like... Could be worse. Uh, that's a dead end. <laughs> and I've been saved. I'm sure I will hit all my moves. Oh boy. Okay. So okay, here wow. I'm gonna be doing this. Please. <laughs> wow. That's neat. Yep, yeah, pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I like how the low health marker is still there in the cutscene. Yep. Um, so now I'm in Blaze. Blaze in this game is 25% health or lower instead of one third. Funny enough. Um, I will be, <laughs> Cyndaquil will be doing more damage than normal. Um, I don't really need to do this, but it does look kind of cool. Look how Zapdos, they love you. I'm just gonna use Double Slap for this. Oh, I skipped the turn by accident. Well, it's fine. It died. <laughs> Hooray. Yay! Um, and that was the boss fight. I know, it's so much easier than the actual dungeon. Scary legendary taken down by a skitty and a cynical. I know. Yeah, so far these boss fights have been pretty chill. Yeah, the boss fights, unironically, are probably one of the easiest parts of this game. <laughs> the run. They are... Not that scary. Yeah, you, you can like actually plan for them and form strats. You can't plan for random ju uh, dungeon generation. Yeah, it's fair. No, like 15,000 no. enemies surrounding you. Oh, oh my it's, god. Um, probably a good time to take a first break soon. Uh, just whenever you want to. Oh, yeah, then I'll do it uh, after this cutscene ends. Sounds good. Uh, basically, Alakazam found out we're a human, by the way. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're a human? <gasps> the horror! <laughs> uh, he's telling us to go see Zatu, which uh, is home to one of my favorite dungeon themes in the entire game. Really Truth good. Bomb. I love Great Canyon. Great Heck Canyon's yeah. really good. I wish anyone in this call could hear it. It's really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. I'll, I'll put it on YouTube in the background and just play it. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. Go ahead and pause and save my adventure while I'm at it as a safety. Cool, all right, paused. Awesome. Uh, so as mentioned, we're gonna take a quick break here. We usually take breaks on Hotfix for these longer runs, unlike AGDQ where it's like a marathon nonstop thing. We don't have to go nonstop. We're gonna give everyone a chance to take a break, get it some water, stretch, do what you gotta do. Um, so we're gonna be back in just a few minutes with more of this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team speed run. See you in a bit. Hello and welcome back everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. I am your host, Etchy. We are in the middle of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Any percent, no quick save, no Wonder Mail, speed run by Swiftaloo. Um, uh, before we get back into the run, I want to make a couple quick announcements. One is um, you can go to gamesandquick.com slash hotfix yeah, to learn about our shows and check out our schedule. More. And also, GDQ's um, next All Women and Femme speed running event, Frost Tiles, is coming up March 3rd to the 10th. Schedule's out now. Use exclamation point FF in Twitch chat to learn more. You can use... Um, uh, you can go to gamesandquick.com slash frame for tiles. More info on remote volunteer submissions and prize submissions. Uh, remote volunteer submissions close tonight, so if you're interested in that, please do so immediately. And uh, I'll just go ahead and throw it back to Swift to get us back into the run. Yeah, anytime on Friday is fine. Make sure to tune in for Frame Fatales. <laughs> yeah, I love Frame Fatales. <laughs> definitely going to shill that a bunch. No. Um, but anyways. I'm on Android. Uh, please shill it right now, yes. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as what you said, this is the run. Uh, we just paused. Uh, we just finished beating Zapdos, so now we're going to go see Zatu. Uh, so I'll count down the timer here to be on pause. In three, two, one, go. Um, so Alakazam's team found out that we're a human, because Syndicool told them, um, and Alakazam is a little bit concerned um, about something, which is actually a story regarding a human ending Gardevoir, which we're going to find out about in like just a minute, but it's fine. Um, um, 
but we're gonna go to see Zatsu to try and figure out what is going on, basically. Um, I think I have the missions, so I'm just making sure. There we go. Yeah. Hey, Sparkle, you should beat yourself in OBS if you beat yourself in Discord. I'm just gonna let you know that one. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently, Sparkle's hot while making a phone call he's taking right now. Oh my oh, god. No. Sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone can hear it except for us. That's so funny. Money's calling. Wait, what's up? Uh, we can hear your phone call. That's... Well, we can, but Did you... this, we this... can't. But the stream can. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> From muted OBS. A job yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was setting up a job interview. Oh my god! Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's crazy, no man. You are not the first person to do oh that, god. and you will not be the last. Dude. I guarantee you. Oh, I've been like muting on Discord to clear my throat. Everybody's been hearing that for the entire time. <laughs> no. <laughs> Marco. <laughs> oh my god! I was god. like, I unmute and like, what's everybody laughing about? What's so funny? Can, I just, can someone just vaporize me from this planet? Just get, get rid of me. Just get rid of me. <laughs> and welcome back, everybody, to the GDQ Hot. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyways, anger music. <laughs> Well, see, I've talked enough for the, the next, like, 30 minutes, so I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> Everyone wish Sparkle good luck Thank on you. the job interview. Good luck! We're going to get it. I'm getting fury attack. Please don't hit anymore. I... Yep, yep. That's what I, that's what I want to hit. And I've been affected for it, and I'm this. Yeah, Richard brings up a good point. Please follow Swiftaloo, Corvame, and Sparkle on Twitch uh, because they're all awesome and do a lot of speedrun stuff and are cool people. So yeah, yeah I, I've just been playing Morrowind. That counts. It, oh, that's true. You can't speedrun it, so I guess it's adjacent. Yep. Exactly. Swift has actually been doing runs though. Swift has been running this game. It's been fun to watch. It's a really fun game to run. I mean, other than when you hit like RNG. Uh -huh. It looks more fun than when I learned Conquest. I will say that. It's definitely more fun, and I would recommend any runner to pick it up because it is one of the easiest games I have ever learned. And that's not, like, a bad thing. It's just, like, there's not this barrier of entry that you need to worry about. It's really, really easy. Again, all you need to know is how to play PMD. If you know how to play PMD, you can run this game. That's all I do. I do like a run where it's, like, the run is just play the game really good. Like, I learned um, PBR last year, and there are parts of PBR that are just like, yeah, uh, do play doubles good. That's the strat. <laughs> Which the then becomes, track. like, pretty hard because you need to play the game good as fast as possible. But there's still a really high skill ceiling. But, the, the yeah, but you were, like what you were saying, the floor is pretty low. Yeah, which I'm honestly cool with because, I mean... yeah. I'm pretty here. Again, it makes for a really enjoyable speed game. God, I really wish I would keep encountering enemies. I'm gonna have to go all the way back around. Get rid of them. I do like how the link moves. Oh. Just the way they work, you just end up attacking the air sometimes with them. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I don't mean to do that. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm having stairs. Let's go. All according to plan. Stairs, but five enemies. <laughs> all according to... <laughs> all according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to throw an orange berry at some people here. I love missing double slap. 
That's so cool. Um, anyways. These are slightly big rooms, so maybe I will find the stairs quickly. Oh, I did. What do you know? Oh, there's a link box. That's good. I like that. That's what does a link box do? So a link box is uh, like a portable Gulpin shop. Gulpin is the shop in this game that links your moves. And um, if you are worried about de-linking your moves in the middle of a dungeon, because you have to do it outside of a dungeon uh, with Gulpin, you can use a link box instead. And you can just kind of find those in dungeons. It's just a really nice, basically, safety item that you can grab. Nice. Uh, I was basically kind of keeping my eyes out for one. Uh, I These hound are huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are. They're like Ekans size. <laughs> you should see uh, some of the legendaries in this game. Also, please. Uh, I'm gonna throw an ordinary hope it actually hits. Okay, cool. Love that. Thanks to Nicole. Love that. You're so you're so funny when you when you do that. And I got the tutorial. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, how many revive receipts do I have left? Uh, none. Well. Oh, good. Uh, get out of here and go get some more. Yeah, how many floors left? Oh, this is the last floor. Oh, perfect. Uh, this is a quarter of the wall, so I can't do this. So, no, you can't attack this game in, like, if it's a if it's a wall corner, basically. It's really weird. Like, you can attack a corner, but there can't be a wall in between. Just seeing how powerful Double Slap here is crazy. Just doing like 100 damage in one attack is absurd. Oh yeah, it's really good. Oh, there was a Link Box there. That's okay. Um, it's, it's a really, really strong attack. Um, and obviously it's why uh, it's using the speedrun. Right, I am definitely going to need to buy some Reviver Seeds. <laughs> or hope there are Reviver Seeds. Uh, anyways, we're gonna attack Zatsu here, because that's, like, the nice thing to do. What? <laughs> so you can either tickle him or tackle or attack him. Um, I think I am with most people that I tickled him, but it's actually faster to attack him. That's messed up. It is messed up. <laughs> Didn't even wow. do anything. Zatu is like, I stare into the sun all day. Very bad for your eyes, don't think that. Um, he sees all and he knows that we are human and that uh, there is a uh, reason why we're here and that it's a connection to all the natural disasters that have been happening and uh, there's an imbalance in the world right now, and that it must be restored. Or else it'll be the world's destruction. Sparkle is not kidding about not talking after that, huh? <laughs> I'm still here. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just recuperating. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> It was so funny. It's like I thought I could get it. I thought I could squeeze it in between like the break, but dude, I didn't. I didn't know five minutes already passed. Right, I'm gonna. Uh, I don't have anything I can actually sell. I mean, I need this switcher or. Uh, 
I don't really actually have money for Reviver Seeds. <laughs> well, I don't, there's none anyways, but I don't have it. I don't have money for this. Um, just gonna trash this. And hope uh, we can pick some up later. So, um, we're getting to the mid-game part here. I know it's wild that you can- <laughs> this is like basically the halfway point of the game. Uh, we're, we're about to become fugitives because we're gonna basically get shoved out of town for you know, causing all the things that are happening in the world. Um, right here the Pokemon are talking about how they heard about Whiskash's story and how they were surprised to hear that it's actually true. Uh, so we're gonna go hear this for ourselves, and uh, basically he's gonna retell the story about uh, the Nine Tails legend, where a Nine Tails had had one of its tails grabbed by a human, and the Nine Tails tried to cast a curse on the human, but instead the Gardevoir, its partner, shielded it and took the curse, and the human ran away. And uh, we don't actually find this out in the run. Uh, <laughs> But the human that did that, we find out later in post games, actually Gengar. <laughs> Whoa. So Gengar is a human. The human? The meanie is a human? What? Yeah, the meanie is a human. It's messed up. Oh, look at Wizcash. What a good, what yeah. a good portrait. No. Oh, he's so happy. But, um... The story's gonna shake us up a little bit because it was, you know, about a human. Our partner's just a little bit... Uh, scared about that. Uh, here we're gonna link some more moves. Link tail whip. No, tackle double slap. And then tail whip attract. And then... Let's get this before it used. Basically, just link a bunch of moves together, which are gonna be really strong. Um,. Cyndaquil isn't going to want to do any jobs today after hearing that because he's kind of worried that we're the human in the story, but then he realizes that he shouldn't have doubted us because, you know, he's been with us the entire time, knows we're probably not a bad person. Unfortunately, um... <laughs> what's going to happen is there's going to be people who, uh... Get rolled up by Gengar, and it's like, Oh, you're the human from the legend. We gotta, if we kill you, then the world will stop being in balance, which is just, you know. Uh, and then we finally get to see who this person is in our dreams, which is Gardevoir, which makes uh, us think maybe we're the human, because uh, Gardevoir, is, you know, in the story, got cursed for a thousand years, basically, so. Silence. <laughs> I was I was uh, reading. I was absorbed in the story. Oh, you were absorbed in the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now there's commotion going on in the square. Um, an entire cutscene for this. Uh, Gengar is gonna go like, "Oh, yeah, the story. It's true." And then he's gonna talk about how he uh, knows the human is us because he overheard heard our conversation with Zatu, uh, so he knows we're human. But again, fun fact, he's actually the human that's in that story, so... He really is a teen meanie. Oh my god, it's Gengar! <laughs> Yeah, mostly just some text. Uh, but we're gonna have a fugitive, basically, sequence coming up where we're not gonna be able to use any shops, uh, basically get shoved out of this hub. We won't be able to use this hub for, uh, like, three dungeons, basically, three or four dungeons, um, until we complete those four dungeons, and then we'll be able to use the hub again. I do remember this part. It does stink to not have access to anything. <laughs> 
So, funny enough, it really stinks in, like, a casual experience, but in the speedrun, yeah. it's actually not that bad. Why is that? You just steamroll everything. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Question for the call in chat. Um, let, let us know what your, uh, your Pokemon Red or Blue Rescue Team uh, partner slash player Pokemon were. Like, what you got from your quiz. Um, I definitely got a Charmander Meowth when I did it the first time. I got Pikachu. Pikachu is really bad in this game. I got very <laughs> mad later. I got Eevee. Again, the reason why Eevee is now my favorite Pokemon is because of this game. I sobbed really? <laughs> so much from completing this game. It's it so sad. May, do you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> why, would you, why would you ask me if I remember something? That's a good point. Well, which which one do you like the most out of the, the options? All of them. Yeah, that's fair. I, honestly, I, I, I'm not like the biggest Meowth fan, but I think he's really cute in this game. Meowth is used in the speedrun. I know, yeah. For, uh, for Pretty. a nip. Pretty funny. Good Pokemon. Got Fury swipes instead of double slap. Yeah, broken. I'm seeing a lot of bubbles from Mudkip in chat. Yeah, I had Mudkip as my partner too. Like the first time I played this game, I was Eevee Cyndaquil, but I realized just how bad of a combo that was, and I was dying so much. Oh, I forgot to say get ready. Uh I don't want to talk to the mailbox. Um, unfortunately, no reviver seeds. Probably will be fine. Probably. Uh, now we have some pretty heartfelt music coming up as well. Not that anyone in this call can hear, unfortunately. Sad. Pretend it's really sad, yeah. <laughs> but all the people we help uh, are coming over to wish us luck and safe travels basically even though <laughs> they, even though these people like need to get rid of us they don't want to do it because they believe we're not bad people and need to go prove basically that uh, we're not the human from the Nine Tails legend even Pelipper Jeff. Jeff! We'll see you later, Jeff. Now we're fugitives. We're gonna travel across many places that have uh, problems with the natural disasters, basically. And we're just on a journey to try and find Ninetales. And here we got Lapis Cave. Lapis Cave is actually pretty relaxed. Uh, I say that, and it's probably not going to be relaxed now that I've said that. Generally, it's pretty relaxed. But we'll see. Uh, we still got people chasing us as well. This is a 14th floor dungeon. Um, but luckily, is it made up of super tiny rooms, which really helps? Lots of tiny rooms. Look at that. <laughs> Just all on the left right there. Stairs. It's so smooth. Yeah, the dungeon only spawns about four to six rooms. So I shouldn't be encountering like many problems with uh, okay. getting screwed over by rooms, basically, where it's like, oh, yeah, I, uh... Oh, yeah, Poison Point. So Poison Point's funny in this game. I uh, learned that it doesn't actually base it off contact, but rather, uh... It bases it off if you're around the Pokemon. I need to throw this, because I don't want the cool to take damage. I'm gonna 
see, we're already just, oh, there's the stairs. Also, it may, it's really hard to see the stairs because uh, blue on blue is really tough to see. Uh, I saw some discussion earlier about which piece which piece of media taught you what lapis lazuli was? Was was it Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Blue Rescue Team for anyone? Unfortunately, it was Minecraft. It was Minecraft for me as well. It was, uh... Yeah, I think it was Minecraft. So it came in the Minecraft first. Or came in contact with Minecraft first. Do you, do you think Minecraft ripped off the, um... The uh, randomly generated dungeon thing from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Yeah. Maybe. It, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon actually invented randomness. Do not right. look yeah. into what Mystery Dungeon is. <laughs> yeah, not Mystery Dungeon, specifically Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're almost done with this dungeon. Actually, a little fun fact. I, like, 10 years ago, helped my friend with getting footage for this game. Um, shout outs to that person. <laughs> I talk to them every now and then. Nice. That was quick. That was very fast. Oh my god. Yeah, it, 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 that's how it's supposed to go. It's not supposed to go like uh, 10 minutes each. It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> that is good for the next ones um we got mount blaze coming up mount blaze is um uh, another split dungeon it's two or 12 floors plus two floors uh i might actually use blaze strats here depending on what level i am it's in the pool because once you get past like a certain level you can't really do that anymore also this music has or this this dungeon has fantastic music it was also really hard for a lot of people. I feel like you can say the, the music thing for like 90% of the dungeons in this game. I love the music oh, yeah. so much. <laughs> there so is good. so much good music. Yeah. You can get two, two paths here as well. Uh, this is the first instance of taking two paths. You can basically use the extra path to grind if you want. Uh, obviously, we're not going to do that because it's slow. I mean, this much is bigger. Uh, again, not too many new things going on here. Just some fire types. We're just killing Muskitty. Like, that's really just going to be most of the rest of this game, where it's just, yep, we kill this Muskitty and then uh, beat up a boss, probably, if there is one. And I got flames. I got burns. Uh, if Syndicle doesn't level up by the end of this dungeon, then I can use Blaze Strats, but if it levels up, I can't because, uh, I won't have... Oh, it'll be too high level, basically. But, like, as you get deeper in the dungeon, the environment starts changing. I think this is, like, the first uh, instance of the dungeons doing that, uh, which is kind of cool. Just kind of showcases going, like, deeper into the volcano. <laughs> You can see there's now like tons of lava. It's like it's like the nether in Minecraft. Oh, everything so is like Minecraft. No, how much did Pokemon take from Minecraft? <laughs> Too much. Oh, yeah, the mag exactly. the magnets can just run on the lava. Yeah, fire types can uh, walk on lava, water types can walk on water. Right. And then flying types can <laughs> walk in nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pretty funny. But so far, so good. I'm finding stairs pretty quickly, as you can see. I mean, I'm kind of blitzing through. Uh... Yeah, why isn't every dungeon like this? Oh my gosh. Or like these I last know, two. I know, I <laughs> know. We only have three more floors and then uh, <laughs> we get like a break. Not that we need it, but. Uh -huh. Just kind of going back and forth there. Don't worry about that. Figure out where I was going. <laughs> 
Um. Yeah, it's, it's again just almost done with this floor, uh, or almost done with this first half of this dungeon. Wonder why uh, I didn't get this lock in uh, earlier. <laughs> We got two extra floors for the peak. Um, this might be a little bit rougher because the, the room generation isn't as nice and big and small. Probably should have just gone the other way. Yep, uh, like 70% accurate move, by the way. It really doesn't feel like that sometimes. Little sleepy Arcanine. Pookie Puppy. Kind of hero chasing us. Give me your best hero cry. <laughs> I mean, Discord probably muted that, but I bet Stream heard that. I did not I, hear I, it. I, I did yeah, not hear I, it. I did, I did do it again, please, yeah. sir. We'll never know if he did it again, because we can't hear it. Yeah. This is just like, this is such a job yeah. interview moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so as you can see, Skitty is now uh, leveled past this cool, or this is the cool, <laughs> So, uh, Kalu, the Kalu, uh, the one of mine. Uh, but gonna eat up another blast seed here. Put Cyndaquil in blaze. What is uh, Skitty's ability? Skitty's ability is Q Charm. So sometimes it will oh, infatuate a yeah. uh, Pokemon, which yeah, is yeah, kind of useful earlier. sometimes. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. And then we see Moltres here. <laughs> Super scary. I really like to hype this one up. <laughs> like, of all the bosses they hype up, this is the one they really hype up. But uh, it doesn't matter, we're just gonna attract it. It's gonna be immobilized. Simple's just gonna do its thing here. We're also just gonna basically double slap its death if we don't uh, keep missing. <laughs> just does 100 damage, like. <laughs> That's the second dungeon that we have to get through while we're away from all this. As you can see, it's like not that bad, <laughs> especially when the uh, room generation is a lot kinder. <laughs> Just are guessing better. Love guessing. It's uh, one of my favorite RNG pastimes. Mm -hmm. Just guess where the stairs are. <laughs> uh, anyways, Moltres is saying that Cynical needs to promise to investigate the natural disaster, and also Cynical is like, look into my eyes, see that I'm telling the truth, even though Cynical is like closed eyes. <laughs> Closed eyes team, we got Skitty and Cynical. talk about how, uh, oh, there's probably no one chasing us anymore, even though that's definitely not true. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, we, we, like, 
went through Mount Blaze and not many Pokemon are gonna come through here, but there's definitely Pokemon who will still come through here. He just wants to take a rest. He wants to take a little nap. But uh, realizes that we need to keep moving. Even if uh, he is tired, he must keep moving for our sake so that uh, we don't basically get killed by them. But now we have uh, this next dungeon, which is called Frosty Forest. Um, boss at the end being Articuno here. It's the last uh, legendary bird that we still need to fight in this game. Uh, it's a nine floor dungeon with four extra floors, because uh, it's split up, so nine floors, then break, then four floors. Um, it's also the only part in the game where I actually have to mash. I cannot what? hold B for this one, yeah. It's, what? um... When you get to floor five, there's a cutscene, and you have to mash. You can't hold B to advance it. Weird. It's a very minor mashing section, so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, it is literally the only mashing section in the game. Uh, this is also home to the very terrifying Furret, uh, who has fury swipes and really hurts. So hopefully none of that. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to uh, encounter too many of those. <coughs> Dealey. I love doing that. <laughs> just <laughs> run away from the enemy. Other than fight it, just run away. Uh, that's a uh -oh. that's a for it. Uh oh. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ow. Oh god. I need to be extra careful, because, again, I don't have any more Reviver Seed, so I need to be really careful here. Um, the next place I think will have Reviver Seeds is going to be uh, Upper Forest, so I just kind of need to hold it out until then. If we do get defeated, it's probably not a big deal, but I uh, probably don't want that to happen. <laughs> Ditto is like, why did it just take damage? Uh, Ditto is in this dungeon. Oh, here's the manual mashing section that I have to do. <laughs> the one that I have to do in this game. Um, Ditto is in this dungeon. It uses transform. Uh, it can't actually use any moves, so it only can use struggle, which is really funny. I don't know oh. why it's programmed like that. What? Yeah, I know. It's really silly. <laughs> I thought the nose pass was Reggie Ice for a second. Oh my god. <laughs> Reggie Ice is in this game. Where? Uh, post game. It's in oh. Buried Relic. Oh yeah, Buried Relic. God, that dungeon sucks. Yeah, I just uh, recruited Pew on my PMD DX file. After going through that dungeon, I think like two or three times and not able to recruit it, it was very annoying. I did not like that. How, how does recruitment work in this game again? So every time you defeat an enemy, you have a chance to just kind of recruit it. It's a small chance. Um, you can only do it when you defeat the Pokemon with, I think, the leader Pokemon. Um, but it is slow. You don't want to recruit Pokemon. Mm. I'm trying to figure out how to <laughs> path that in my head. I uh, already hit through the halfway point here. That wasn't too bad. So, <clears throat> snow. This is the first instance of snow uh, in Pokemon, which was later, I guess, adopted into Scarlet and Violet to replace Hail. Uh, it boosts power of ice moves. It doesn't actually do any damage. Thank goodness I hate Hail. Uh -oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, he loves you. Too. <laughs> no. Oh, goodness. I have to be like so extra careful. Oh, okay. The power of double slap will save us. I hope so. And we don't have too many fours. Oh. Please, please kill that. Oh god. Oh, good. <laughs> it's. I'm always so scared of anything with a multi-hit move right now. Yeah. Um, Last four. Oh, there it's, there's. Um, I do not think I can get into Blaze here, so we're not gonna use the Blast Seed. Uh, there's like a level threshold, basically, so. And here Articuno is telling us, uh, that we must turn back and that we're actually the people causing the forest to become warm even though it is freezing. The, the, tre the trees in the background are doing ubu face. Uh, I don't know. I, unfortunately, we can't see them anymore. We're off but, screen now, so... Yeah, I'll send you all a screenshot. So, okay. Chat, you'll have to go make a clip. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just getting destroyed Damn. there. Yeah. <laughs> the five shot. Play through that scary dungeon. Oh my god, you're right. Why have I never noticed this? Now I'm not going to be able to unsee this at all. Right, you're going to see Uwu face forever. No, no, no. That's not an Uwu. That's like... Oh, like, that? that's like That's like the Mario M as their mouth. Do you understand what I'm saying? You got a little mustache? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here we're forced to recruit Absol, by the way. We don't actually want Absol. Uh, so we're just going to take it off the as soon as we get it. But we're going to have to do it again once we get to the... Uh, break in between because it shoves Absol back on our team. <laughs> Absol is not used in this run, but it is used in the remake. Funny enough. We're not going to name it. Of a cutscene here. Some pretty background art. Really cool. And uh, our cynical's like, oh, it's so cold. What if there's nothing ahead? And we're like, nah, it'll be fine. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're right. It'll be fine. <laughs> I feel like cynical will be like most likely, or, like very likely to be doing pretty good in the cold. For the bud. Fire. Yeah. Yes. Unless the snow, like, affects it. Because we did see that in the Charmander anime episode. Is that why Koalava lost its, uh, planes for so long? Because of the snow? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. Plugged up its pores. But anyways, Gardevoir informs us Ninetales is actually just up ahead, so all we need to do is go talk to it. <laughs> and then yeah. uh, we'll be cleared. Yay! Um, but also, we gotta take Absol off the team here. Absol just likes to waste Reviver Seeds. Not that I have any. Uh, it's gonna be wasted, but uh, we just don't want it. So, put it on stamina. We'll need to do it again once we get to the halfway point. This is a 15 floor dungeon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, now we're getting to the longer ones. Um, 
I'm actually gonna take that. That's what it's all about. No. It's not a mystery dungeon if it's not long. <laughs> I was like, what is blocking my way? It's a pineco. Uh, okay. Didn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> gonna see spikes as well. We're not actually gonna pick those up. Um, but they are interesting. They do a lot of damage, uh, but they can only be thrown uh, in a straightaway. I actually did use it on my first run because I ran out of PP. <laughs> uh, I'm sure some PMD runners are probably gonna cringe hearing that, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all part of the learning process. Just getting through this fast. Also, I'm getting really good stair RNG since you, you are in the same room as the stairs like twice. About time. I know. You you deserve it after after everything. Look, this is the last this is early. this the last like fugitive dungeon? This is. Okay. I didn't mean to I just wanted to switch off quick attack. Quick attack is a two range in this game in PND, so pretty useful. It is very good, uh, but I don't need it right now. <laughs> I will be using it. God. Wow. Seal. Bye seal, bye. Seal. <laughs> no seal for you. What? Where's my stairs? I deserve that. Oh god. Now you're just being greedy. Titled Zoomer. <laughs> hey, whatever you say, man. Uh, that's a reviver Ooh. seed, so we're gonna take that. Very nice. Thank you. Run a save. I know. Finally. Hey, look, there's. This is pretty epic. Yeah, pretty good so far. Oh, God. Get out of here. The upper sound is so annoying. It's <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Okay, stairs. It, I didn't even see those because it's, again, super hard for me to see uh, this blue on blue. There's a good chance I might miss it. But if that happens, I can uh, press select and that will make my screen block us. I'm going to check to see that's a blessing, but I'll still take it. Wow. Cheers. We got. <laughs> two more fours after this, so uh, if I can keep getting this good stair lock. Dude, you're about to finish this faster than like your first floor of Sinister Woods. <laughs> I, yeah. You actually are. Unironically, yeah. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Oh my this. god! What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love. Oh, I need to do this. <laughs> it's almost forgot. Uh, they will force Absol back in your party if you don't. Hey, look, more stairs. Okay. Uh, hey, look, okay. more stairs. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm listening. I'm taking notes. Uh oh. Oh no, these aren't stairs. That's not Those stairs. Are These Maybe are they're flares. <laughs> Good one. Thanks, man. Hey, look, stairs. There we go. Oh, okay. That's more like it. All good. Oh. And there's hey, stairs too. Yep. Stairs and players. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, we're through that dungeon. <laughs> wow. Very easy. Okay, all I'm saying is I had terrible stair luck at the beginning of the game, so it's just catching back up, evening out. <laughs> and 
anyways, Ninetales is gonna come down, interrupt this, because uh, we're about to fight on her mountain, and uh, she doesn't want that, so... Uh, we're guests, and uh, he's here to tell us that we are not the human from her story of the curse. Whoa. That she did, in fact, put a curse on someone, but it was not uh, us who was in the story. It was Sparkle. Yeah, it was probably Sparkle, yeah. honestly. Not gonna tell us who it was, though, but... Our cynical partner is very happy about this. Very um, weird dance routine. <laughs> yep. What was that? But is uh, also now going to go, oh, so if you aren't the human from the story, then who are you? The mystery deepens of why we're here. And, uh, Groudon is now awakening. The Kyogre? No, that guy doesn't care. No, Kyogre's supposed to Fun fact, Groudon is also a boss in the second Mystery Dungeon game. I like that guy. I really like it was, using It wasn't Groudon. the real him, though, so... No, but still. Like, they could have used Kyogre. Weird of all suspicion. Let's go. Yeah. No longer running from the law. And here Gengar is going to be like, well, what are you lazy people doing? You should be going after the skitty. And uh, <laughs> they're going to judge him for saying that because it's like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm here to just receive the news of the device. Hey, is back. Yep. And then, uh... He's gonna ask us for proof of uh, us being cleared of the suspicion, and uh, we're gonna be like, oh, we don't have any proof. But the Pokewater's still gonna believe us anyways. Nice. <laughs> that, was, that was my reaction to Swift Stare RNG. <laughs> that was my reaction to when I made a job interview phone call. <laughs> <laughs> your reaction when you found out your job interview call was like on stream. <laughs> oh dear. I have to really appreciate the sprite work in this game, by the way, because, like, um, obviously there's sprites for every single Pokemon uh, up to Gen 3 in this game, with all, like, 8th direction movement and walking mm -hmm. and stuff. And they also made this extra sprite where Lovray just picks up the paper. <laughs> like, <laughs> as really if they didn't thing. need to make more sprites. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I love the art direction and art style in this game. It's so good. It is uh, the so way all the sprites pretty. go. Up and go. Very charming, yeah. Oh, like look like the crying caterpie. Like, come on. Look at you say no to do. that. Don't look at Sylveon sprite in the remake. Oh, well, I guess I have to. I am not a fan of it. Sylveon Pokemon Mystery. The model's fine. It's the sprite I don't like. The sprite. The sprite. I'm gonna pull it off. Uh, I'm gonna check the shop for Reviver Seeds. Because <laughs> I'm still pretty low on Reviver Seeds. Image search is failing me, but I'll take your word for it. It's uh, not my favorite. I'll show you later. Hold on. Sounds good. Um, I don't think I need Blast Seeds anymore. Uh, I don't have the money. Well, <laughs> okay, no Reviver Seed for me. work. <laughs> yeah, now we're back to just completing our rescue team missions as normal. 
Um, just have to basically get through the first three dungeons again. And basically one shot uh, things now, because we're so powerful. Uh, that is not a seed I want, so I'm not gonna grab that. Yeah, speaking of sprites, did you all know that if you're a GDQ subscriber on our Twitch channel, you can use GDQ sprite as an emote, which was drawn by Swiftlewoo. Wow. No way! Wowie wowie. <laughs> I really have to... I can't thank GDQ enough, <laughs> really, for letting... Uh, for just being able to uh, use that, I guess. Like, I, I, it's, it's, it's a, it, it means a lot. It's an honor. <laughs> this is also when I throw in the announcement reminder that uh, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support games and quick hotfix. So if you enjoy watching daily speedrunning content, consider subscribing to the channel so you too can GDQ Sprite. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Tell me Whoa. more! Whoa. Oh, that's, oh, I mean, good. that's I gotta it. There's, there's, there's not more. That's good. <laughs> oh my god, another reviver seat. Yes, let's go. Uh, not rocks! That Pidgey looks weird. That is a weird looking Pidgey. <laughs> yeah, it looks Am I alone goofy. there? Just a little goofy. It looked like dehydrated. Hey. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Well, Gardevoir is going to appear in our dreams again and talk about uh, that we have a purpose and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but instead of fulfilling this purpose, instead we're going to uh, go take on a chestnut mission. Uh, I personally don't like this part of the game, only because, or this part of the run, uh, only because you need to have at least two chestnuts uh, in order to build your base, which is required in the story. In order to do it, you need to get two chestnuts. Uh, it is RNG <laughs> for your oh, chestnuts. Uh, they only spawn on floor nine. Uh, you can get two of them in one floor, but you can also get zero, which is pretty rare. Uh, this is also the first dungeon to start spawning monster houses, which if you don't know what monster houses uh, are in PMD, uh, let's go. it's where there's generally like a bunch of items in a room that are clustered together, and uh, it's generally a sign of a monster house, and a bunch of Pokemon will spawn from like the ceiling basically, and just basically swarm you. Um, they're generally pretty hard. Uh, I'm not too worried about them in Upper Forest because we're pretty strong. Um, but at stuff like Sky Tower and Magma Cavern, that's where I worry about more because enemies are a lot stronger there. So um, that's why I picked up a Petrify and Warp Orb uh, earlier in the game. So excited. I hope we see one. <laughs> no. If we're going to see one, at least just let it be an only uproar forest. Mm. Um, but here we're having to take this required mission, basically. Uh, I'm actually going to buy some apples, looking at my notes. Uh, so I'm going to buy a huge apple here. I just realized that my inventory is full, so I'm actually going to crash a few things, too. Uh, do I need to Probably don't need some cherry berry. Do I still need fetches? So I don't need these cherry berries, I don't need this special. We're gonna get rid of that, because I need to make a uh, space in my inventory for at least two items. Um, oh, this is a lot of uh, missions. Um, I need to make space in my inventory for at least two items, which are the chestnuts that I'm gonna pick up. So anyways, Upper Forest, there's a few ways you can do this dungeon uh, to try and get the double chestnuts, um, or double nuts. Uh, and basically, 
You can recruit an APOM, potentially. They have pickup. Uh, you can take off the item on floor 9, and there'll always be a chestnut. Uh, you can basically just hope that you get the, the, the double chestnut at the top floor. Oh my god! Okay. Oh. I've never had this happen! I'm so oh. happy! Hello, friend. Monkey. Monkey! <laughs> Did you take him on I'm purpose? I'm so happy! Huh? Did you take him on purpose? Yeah! Oh, okay. So, that's, as I was just explaining, uh, one of the ways that you can do this dungeon is you can recruit an APOB and it has the ability to pick up. And when you take off the item on floor 9, it's a chestnut. Oh. What? Huge. Let's go. Wait, our goat. Yeah, so I have never had this happen in my run, uh, but apparently it was really unlikely for me to keep just failing it. It's like 10% or something. The, the uh, luck of the second half of this it. run versus the first half? Kind of nine day. Kind of a while. It is so nice. Yeah. But yeah, monkey. So generally, one chestnut spawns on the uh, top floor. So this will be really helpful because ideally we just get uh, both of them now. Do you have to take the, the apple off him first? You do have to take whatever he's holding off first. I think it's just wait until floor nine so you don't waste time with other items. Yeah, you wait until you are about to get to floor nine and then you take it off because it refreshes based on floor. You need to you know, come down here. Please come down here. Thank you. Good luck missing. So now we have a little monkey. This is going to save a bunch of time if I get the chestnut on the floor as well, because then that means I don't have to take a second trip to the dungeon, which is what I want to avoid. I don't want a second trip to the dungeon. But we got to make sure that we protect it and it doesn't die, basically. <laughs> I don't think it's going to die, but uh, that's a see. Yeah, so flinching in this game is called cringing. Uh, Apom is leveled up. Let's go! Let's go, monkey! Uh, ignore the fact that we're gonna dismiss him after him, or after we get this chest knife from him. Oh. Yeah, Apom, level up. And everyone's leveling up. Yippee! Yay. out of PP and I kind of don't feel like using a max elixir. Hey, Fog. Or no, it's Cloud. I think it's Cloudy. Fiber? No. So I'm gonna check my items really quick. Oh, yeah, my items are... Don't really like my max elixir count for this upcoming, like, uh, two judges, but I guess we'll figure it out. stairs and then we can take out this item. Oh my god, there's so That's it. You. <gasps> no, 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 monkey no, friend. no, no, monkey, 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 monkey. He's so weak, oh my god. <laughs> uh, he's not taking much oh. damage though. <laughs> <laughs> So now we have to take off this item that's on our APOM. Uh, how do I do this? Um, <laughs> Others? It's probably 
Uh, no, oh, this, this... oh, here we go. Okay. Hey. Okay. <laughs> now we take that off, and we get a free chest stud. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow! Huge. Oh, one. All right, the double. Two quick ones. Oh, Mankey picked up a chest nut. Oh, that's good. That means that yeah. there is another chest stud here. Yeah. Oh. That could be it. One. That could be the, the Mankey. No, not okay. that manky. we gotta find the manky that has this mink. This one? Maybe this guy. Yeah! yeah. Dude, big All right. news. Perfect. So now we're gonna say goodbye to Apop. <laughs> no. Bye bye. <laughs> you can just I tell know. him to, to get out of here in the middle of the Yeah. Kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Game is not nice. Just farming gold splits though. So anyways, that was really, really good. Uh, now we're gonna just beat up these mankeys. Uh... Wait, one turn. They're very weak, if I can actually hit them. I just die to one hit. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have any money, Wobbuffet. We get a chestnut instead as our payment. Uh, but it turns out that the Mankeys really like uh, peeled chestnuts. Uh, they were about to come over here and bite us after we beat them off in the forest. Uh, but then afterwards, they're like, oh, we'll help you build your base if you give us peeled chestnuts. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Nice. said the spiky shell hurts the peel off and makes them really angry. So we're gonna remodel the rescue team base. Depending on who you pick as your partner, it'll be remodeled into their base basically, which is kind of cool. Um, Caterpie's gonna help us as well. Let's spit silk for glue. Why not? Wabafit are gonna help us after they only paid us in a chestnut. It's the short, sweet cutscene. Now, all we have to do is uh, give the Minkies two more chestnuts here. <laughs> I think they would put Cyndaquil on the banner as well. I think you can customize that, but I forget. Okay, Anyways, uh, the main keys are like, no, one chestnut was enough. We need, we need more. So uh, this is where having two more it comes in handy. Basically. Again, saves an entire trip to the dungeon because they only spawn on the ninth floor and generally they only spawn like one, so. I like how they call each other lazy, it's pretty funny. Give him a chestnut. Oh yeah, we can do the next break when, uh, before you start the next dungeon, I guess. Yeah, I think that would be... I was, I was going to stop there anyways, like as a pause break. Um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, now our team base is finally complete. It's in the shape of a skitty. <laughs> it's very cute. Yes. Our, our, our mailbox is a skitty. What if we we the skitty house? Uh, but anyways, now that 
true. Uh, now that uh, we're we we no longer we told them like we don't need to give them chestnuts anymore, and they're angry and they're gonna start to start destroying this house just so uh, they can be paid for chestnuts <laughs> again, basically. I think here would be a good time to pause. All right, we have now paused. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take another break here. This will be the last break for the run. And then we'll uh, finish up this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team Any% percent No Quick Save No Wonder Mail Speed Run. Uh, before we go to that break, just wanna make a couple quick announcements. Um, one is you have missed any of our other hot fix shows, be sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash games done quick. And uh, if you are watching on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, go to twitch.tv slash games on quick live. Twitch.tv slash games on quick to watch our shows live. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that break right now. And we'll be back in just a few minutes with the rest of this run. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to the GDQ Hotfix. I am your host, Etchy. We are in the middle of a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team speedrun by the one and only Swift A. Lou. Uh, we're going to enter the last section of the run, so Swift, why don't you go ahead and get us into it? just want to say I hate how you pronounced my name there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to add some uh, dramatic flair. My bad, my bad. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. Uh, I'll just go ahead and count down in three, two, one, go. So Ooh. we don't have much of this game left. We actually have basically four more days. Um, we're actually going to accept this, uh, this is not what I want to do. Uh, we're actually going to accept this job that has been sitting in our mailbox for a while. Because, <laughs> uh, we didn't want to get an animation of mail. I, at least we're, that's what I'm assuming. But also it's Mount Steel. And it will always be a Mount Steel mission. So, this works out. I don't remember if these can be revivers, since I don't think they can. I'm gonna keep track of all that information sometimes. But anyways, this dungeon that we struggled with so much earlier in the game, ah, oh, piece of cake, okay, absolute cakewalk to go through, sir. Uh, so, lines right there. Could've just done this the first time. I know. So we have, um, four, uh, missions to do in this dungeon, instead of the normal three. Um, Mostly thanks to taking that extra one there. Uh, I just I did the air. Yep. Just, just, uh, just double slap the air. No big deal. Uh, all part of the plan. Uh, also, that's all part of the plan. Like you're going to a room with nothing in it. No stairs. No nothing. Uh, did that again. Don't worry about that. I have, uh, this is not really supposed to be a difficult thing by any means, it's just being a little goofy right now with this. Appreciate a little goofing off, all good. True, true. Where in the world is the point? Is it just floor six, seven, and eight? Five, six, eight. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Damn, Syndic will beat that up. Uh, client is on this floor. I'm not seeing it right now. The, the, those frosty tree, the snow trees, they had the sunkern face. That's what it was. Oh. 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 You're right. Dude. How could I forget? <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot of Oh my god, dude. double dude. The double that dude. That G dude sprite is funny. Oh, sprites in this game are kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Just wait until you see the steel sprite. I'm ready. Onyx sprite. Also, this is the most uh, non-Monster House Monster House I've ever seen. Um, 
just gonna make some Colby set up. Still got one more mission to go through on here. Um, luckily not too much longer. Thank you for using defense curls so that it is harder to kill you. Uh, most enemies I can actually just kind of beat with my basic attack. Just the stuff that resists me. Can't really. Oh my god, enemies. Getting hungry. Uh -oh. oh, it should be fine. The client's Bang. right here. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Hopefully some reviver seeds, although my inventory is full. Mm, poke is not what I want. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll take money, but like, reviver seed. Yes! Okay, I will need to take that out of storage just slow, but that's okay. Another reviver seed is good too. We got another day of filler here. Um, we'll notice that the earthquakes are still happening, um, but we can't do anything yet about it. So uh, we just got to go on another day of missions, basically. Uh, I'm actually going to go shopping really quick to see if maybe there's max elixirs. Since I, I feel confident in the uh, amount of reviver seeds I have now. Uh, also, they're going to gather in one of the town square. <laughs> We're gonna see a little cutscene here, basically, where Alkazam's team hasn't come back. Uh, everyone's kind of worried. Uh, they're hoping for someone to step up, basically, to maybe go rescue them, basically. Rescue the rescue team. A little spooky, basically, because it's Groudon. Um, Cynical says, well, maybe we should do it, but Lombre's like, no, there's gonna be other people who will, uh, do it, don't worry. Among Us. Among Us? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no? Shiftree said, who Among Us? So they're gonna send two water types and uh, a rock type to Groudon. With the goal of saying, yeah, I'll just bury it with my rock throw. <laughs> That's a little funny. Organize my items here. I actually have oh, so many apples. Oh my goodness. Uh, don't need this. Um, don't need this. I'm gonna see if there's max elixirs in the store before I head out. Uh, no. That's fine. I'll check tomorrow. Uh, basically, I'm not really. I'm a bit concerned about my elixir count here. Uh, because the final two dungeons, generally I'd take like two elixirs per uh, dungeon. So I'd like to have like 
or more is better. But it's fine. Also, I didn't need to do that. Uh, but this is our last set of like filler missions, basically. We won't need to do any more filler missions after this, because uh, there won't be any more filler missions to do. We'll just be doing the story. Uh, why didn't I talk to that? Yeah, not much to talk about um, until we get to Magma Cavern, which is like Magma gonna be... Cavern. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it's it is a pretty big jump uh, to what you're used to. So the last dungeon was like 15 floors plus a in between of like um, or this was Mount Freeze. It was 15 floors plus four. Uh, Magma Cavern is 23 floors plus one floor. Mm -hmm. So. Quite a jump, um, especially if you're not used to <laughs> long floors like that. Um, again, you're gonna check for max elixirs here just to see if maybe I have some. I didn't see if I got any from my jobs though, oops. Um, it's a pretty long dungeon. It's also a pretty rough dungeon. There's a lot of tiny rooms that spawn. Um, so you generally will be using up a uh, Food items, stuff like that, max elixirs, very brutal dungeon. Uh, but anyways, this team is going to come back that they sent off and they're defeated. They couldn't get to Alakazam's team. Now, uh, no one really wants to go. Oh, the Blastoise, no. No, I know. He became a regular turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in the future, Echi will play that game again. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go with Team P. Yeah, I saw you named your Team P earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's fast because it's Pokemon Team Pokemon. Perfect. Uh, but I delete all the lesser letters, so it's just one. Right. Right. Anyways, we've uh, motivated all the rescue teams that even though it's scary that they can do it. Um, so now all these rescue teams are going to come down with us uh, into Magma Cavern and uh, hopefully find Alakazam. are once again trying to discourage everyone and uh now running away <laughs> oh my gosh all right so we get this one break day basically to uh, get whatever we need. Uh, it looks like I have a pretty decent amount of max elixirs, but I would like another one. Uh, I'm not gonna get another one, right. it looks like, so... Well, we'll have to deal with the three. Uh, maybe I'll get one before Sky Tower. I didn't want to say that. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna get another dream with Gardevoir. Um, again, just another overarching plot that's Gardevoir telling us what our duty is to this world, which is... Our duty is to, um, basically save the world from destruction in the Pokemon world, uh, and that we were brought here for that purpose. 
Also, I really like some of the Gardevoir portraits here. He <laughs> just becomes plea emoji. No. <laughs> Buddy. Or Rar, like from Cassette Beasts? Whoa! Cassette <laughs> Beast mentioned. Uh oh. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to wake her up. This is funny. Um, Alright. Long dungeon. Scary dungeon. Uh, I don't have much I can say other than I'm gonna have to probably stay kind of focused here. Uh, monster houses can spawn. Um, I'm looking for Warp Scarf. If I can get Warp Scarf, I can do some funny things in Sky Tower, which would be really cool, but um, not guaranteed to get it. But I will be checking Scarves to see if maybe one spawns. Hey, look, stairs. Oh. Just need uh, another, like, 24 of that. Please. Uh, Kecleon Shop Kecleon. is interesting. Do you have any money? Uh, no. Oh. So I don't think I have any Petra Berries, so this is kind of bad. Yeah, a lot of uh, poison and ground types. Magma Cavern likes to have the poison types can poison you. The ground types, I don't know how many have Earthquake, but that move is very bad. It might be just Sandshrew. Don't remember. It's uh, the onyx and stuff I'm really worried about. Mm. But trying to find the stairs here, because again, poison just takes damage like this. It really sucks, and I don't have like heal seeds and stuff. Um, most I have is orange berries, which I mean, I only have so much of. Um, hopefully, I found the stairs. And it's a little nicer in a PMD DX with poison, but this game is not as nice as giving. Uh, also, the Nido King and Nido Queen are really, really scary. They both have double care, I think. It might just be Nido King, but I'm pretty sure they both have it. Oh, there's the Sandshrew in the way. And they will 100% one-shot you with uh, using those. Careful. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, see, double kick, no. yeah. It, uh, it hurt. It hurt. It hurt bad. And that was only one hit. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. and that was on uh not <laughs> skitty. yeah on skitty that uh that does a lot of damage. Neo King and Neo Queen do a lot of damage. They do hurt. Do not want to let them hit you. Up oh, poison again. Drink up. Yep, I have to. Uh, oh. Warp Scarf? <gasps> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so we get to do some really funny things in Sky Tower now. Um, that will actually help beyond the Max Elixir problem that I'm having too. Um, it's, it's so funny. I love doing it. I'm oh, excited. Nice dodge. Get a Rock. Iron Thorn? You have Iron Thorns in your inventory? Yeah, I picked them up because I wanted the Pokemon drop them in the hallway. That's wicked. Silver Spike! No way! Uh, silver Spikes are really useful. They do a lot of damage, as you can see. It just hurt me. I 
probably should have just <laughs> attacked that instead of just try to run away. Um, that's okay. God. Like a Mag Magmar pecks forward in its idle animation. Yeah, it is funny. Alright, I have one more Ornberry left. We won't need to use any more. Okay, that's not good. That does not help. Well, at least you get healed, but it still doesn't help. Alright, that stairs help. Now the the dungeon has changed a little bit, as you can see. A little more spooky. This is like really niche, but Tentacle can walk on the lava, right? Yes, I think it can. Also Mawa. I got Mawa. No way. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the fire, <laughs> the burn effect is crazy. That was really nice. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, it goes ham. Okay, I'm gonna uh, eat this huge apple while I wait for this Arbok to come approach me. Arbok somehow looks smaller than Ekans. Mm, I don't know how. It's pretty similar to me. Damn it, a band. Oh god. Some tough cookies lurking beneath this cavern. Yep. It's gonna make some cool deal with this. We'll not destroy that, so we're gonna throw a rock. Not halfway yet. We're getting close though. Oh, I'm getting burned again. Oh yeah, and uh, Pokemon are starting to walk on this lava too. I, <laughs> I threw that <laughs> the wrong place. <laughs> nice throw. Okay, we picked it back up. That is quite so the throw. slow, my god. I know, it was, it was pretty bad. Agonizing. Um, finally about halfway here. Oh, the stairs are right there, cool. Just gonna wait for him. Oh god. Mawa, bye-bye. <laughs> jump scare. Oh god. Oh, stairs. Hi, Arbok. Link box might actually not be a bad idea to pick up now that I'm thinking about it. Hold on. Uh, I kind of wish I didn't pick this up now. <laughs> But uh, it's it's mostly safety for when I do warp scarf stuff in uh, Sky Tower. I don't want to. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to stick the D Link its moves. Hey man. All right. I'm just gonna attack it normally because I don't want to keep using my PP up. Casually try to dodge this guy. <laughs> Get out uh -oh. of here. Oh, pulled out it. I know. Oh, this is a lot of enemies. Okay, good. Oh boy. I'm 
stretch now. Oh. That's stenched. That, that's a real tackle that Golem just did. Bro put his whole body <laughs> in that one. <laughs> that animation, yeah. just the body slam. Yeah. It is pretty funny. Yeah, we're getting close to the halfway point here. Well, the rest stop in between. I just need to... I uh, accidentally woke up that guy. <laughs> we're just going to ignore him, move on. Nice. More floors like that, please. Mm -hmm. More floors like that, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mount yes, Freeze yes. repeat. How, how many floors again? It's uh, 23 floors and okay. then plus one peak. All right. I'm with that. Yeah, that's Uh-oh. <laughs> Can't make Cyndaquil do much more. Uh, Almost there, okay. eh? Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> there are some oh, no. funny fellas. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, this is effectively a monster house. Yeah. The non-monster monster house. Monster oh. apartment. Well, there goes Nicole's moves. I'll have to uh, throw an elixir and uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I'll have to figure it out. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter too much on this Groudon fight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is it like only Onyx on the on these last couple of floors? Or is uh, it just, like, no, crazy not unlucky? always. Yeah. I am getting kind of crazy unlucky. Hopefully I can just find the stairs here. <sighs> Way, man. Oh, no one wants you. Dragon breath. Yeah. Okay. okay. Phew! That's good. Uh, hi. Back at it again. Two of them. Oh, not two of them. <laughs> These bozos. I'm going for it, eh? <laughs> I'm just gonna have to wait because I need to like link box here. Um, link box. Luckily, I don't really care what Syndical does here. Charizard, no! No! Charizard could never lose. <laughs> well, I just lost. <laughs> no. I find it messed up that like when you evolve your Pokemon, they don't get a portrait in this game anymore unless they already have one saved. That's so sad. I know. So if you evolved into uh, Typhlosion here, you wouldn't get the nice little portrait from Cyndaquil anymore. <laughs> oh. And you can only evolve in post game. Yeah, you can only evolve in post game. Anyways, it's just gonna be another one of these uh, track spans. <laughs> pretty good move. It is pretty good.
a little spooky because I didn't have uh, linked moves, but we got there. <laughs> Yeah, now we have the final dungeon coming up, which is Sky Tower. Um, very tough dungeon, uh, very scary dungeon for the end, too. It is 25 floors plus 8, so it's a total of 33 floors. Um, monster houses can spawn, there's a lot of scary enemies in this game, or in this dungeon. Uh, spe specifically, if you've played this game, you will know the terror of ghost types in the walls. Yeah. Um, <laughs> those are not fun, but not to mention the fact, uh, Shop It have spite, and they can actually just drain all your PP, so don't want that either. <laughs> but Zatu's gonna be communicating with us telepathically. I can't make, I can't say, yeah, yeah, telepathically. Uh, can't say the word. Uh, telling us that we are in danger and this star, which is a meteor, is falling and is about to come into contact with us. You know, just like a Ores Delta episode. Reference. Cool. No. That meteor does actually hold the Oxus. And, um... Basically, they, the Pokemon here have agreed that uh, both my, the Cyndaquil and I need to be sent up there to go talk to Rayquaza to please to go destroy this uh, meteor that's falling. Last check of my inventory here. Um, hopefully, there's a max like, sir. Uh, no, but there is nope. a huge apple, so I will take that. Oop. Hopefully, it's fine. Maybe I have one in my storage. Nope. Um, so, since I have so many reviver seeds, it might actually not be a bad idea for me to just take a deaths here and there, um, just to restore the PP on my moves. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna link all these again. Is, is reviving fully restore PP or just like partial or what? Uh, fully. Oh wow. It's really good. And, uh, we're gonna have another dream, but Gengar is gonna be using Dream Eater, which makes us feel uh, very not good, as you can uh -oh. see. <laughs> we're in a lot of pain. He's trying to figure out what our true intentions are, basically. But then he gets scared off by uh, the Gardevoir. He still is uh, spying into our dream, even when he's scared off. Um which will be evidenced by when there's like a small white fade uh, to indicate that he like ran off crying basically because he saw his partner Garuvar talk about how she missed him and cherished him. Oh. Yeah. And yeah, uh, Garuvar is telling us that we, they had tried to look for a human uh, in the world to become a hero, and they found us, and we're like, oh, well, we can't be the hero, there's no way. And they're like, well, we put you through a test because you said that, uh, where we took away all your memories, and if you proved that you could do it, then we would tell you your uh, purpose. And that's what they're, that's what she's doing. That's messed up. Yeah. But it was our choice. If you were a Pokemon, what Pokemon would you want to be? Eevee. 
<laughs> Charizard. No, Charizard, don't a Charizard. Course. You would not want to be a Charizard. <laughs> you wouldn't even have like opposable thumbs. You don't want to be a Charizard. Oh, we're taking like real life time. mechanics into account. <laughs> I need you to because he's really Max powerful. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So you can't be a legendary. It's not fair. You have to pick one that everybody else could pick. Arr. All right. Max Elixir got, thank goodness. Uh, I was nice. a little concerned, so that's really nice. So anyways, they're making a teleport gem to teleport us above the clouds, as they put it. Uh, which will take us to the dungeon where Rayquaza is. Um, they use the help of Alakazam, Zatsu, and a ghost Pokemon. I wonder who it could be. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> no idea what ghost Pokemon has been in this game at all. Drifloon. Drifloon is a Gen 4 My Pokemon. My favorite Gen 4 Pokemon, or Gen 3 Pokemon, Drifloon. Yeah, exactly. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> run PMD Sky, you can see Shellos. I love Shellos. Anyways, banger of a theme. Mm -hmm. As <laughs> uh, Sky Tower is such a wonderful theme. Unfortunately, I have uh, mono audio, so it'll be cut out just a little bit, but that's okay. I think um, we should all sing along. Oh god. <laughs> um, as I said, very scary dungeon. Lots of scary enemies. Aerodactyl's scary. Shepard's scary. Duskull's... Well, Duskull's not too bad. Uh, Dusclops is scary. Monster houses are scary. Everything's scary. That's a lot of items that I'm surprised is not a monster house. Oh, that's scary. All these fortresses get in the sky. Uh, they rotated up. No, somebody must have frisbeed them up. Oh, Very here we go. Velocity. Uh oh. So this is the first instance of Shuppet. So thankfully, normal moves can still hit ghost types. Oh my god, we'd be so screwed if they did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another shepherd, oh we're god. just gonna... We're just gonna ignore it. Could you imagine if the TCG worked like that? Like what? Well, like how? Well, you couldn't hit... Oh wait, they're psychic types. But if they... You know what I mean? Their immunities? Y yeah. Well, there's resistance. There's resistance, but there's not immunity. There's not... Well, you no. can't hit them. I'm saying, could you imagine Fortress. if it was like that? All right, moving yep. on. I love Fortress, chat. Good Pokemon. Also, after the sixth floor here, I'm going to start using Warp Scarf because no more Shuffets will be around. Uh, I'm going to pick this up, actually. Okay, maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll just eat the plane seat and pick it up. I'm still a little terrified. Uh, there we go. Cool. All right. So now uh, we get to use the Warp Scarp here. Uh, there's no more Shuppets, so I don't have to worry. So we're going to make a Civic Rule wait here. Uh, and then I'm going to equip the Warp Scarp and just do this. Wow. Whoa. I uh, no, warped past the stairs. Off. That's OK. I forgot to take it off. Wow. Throw. Thanks. Oops. Huge. Mm 
This warp skirt seems pretty good. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> it is RNG, but it's really good. You can warp scarf into a monster house. Oh, yeah. That'd be a fun, very fun way to just end at this point. Uh, I do have uh, petrify warps and stuff, so I should be okay. Stairs. Oh, they have hail and snow in this game? They do. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Cynical's just beating up enemies while we just kind of do this. Okay, that was a little sketchy to do that. I mean, it wasn't that sketchy, but like, <laughs> it could just uh, get screwed there. Oh my god, see, well, there's, there's, there's one happened. of those. Let's go! There's barely even any items in this room. That's such a scam. So, now we're just gonna do this. Bye-bye! Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. I bet they all warp right next to Syndical. Good. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody's having trouble. You warp out again? I will warp out of here again. Cynical will be fine. I mean, <laughs> he's chilling. My goodness. Oh my god, get Incredible me out of this work. room. I like Skitty just sitting here, like, chomping the air as Cynical does all the work. Okay, there we go. I'm working to find the stairs. Oh, God. Luckily, we still have uh, more orbs. If uh, I do encounter more more monster houses, I will be safe. a good use of it in these just tiny rooms everywhere. If I can get out of the same five rooms. Oof. Am I gonna take a death here? It's okay. My punch rough. It's, it keeps going after you revive? It's yep. so dishonest. And uh -oh. I got sinks. I need to... Actually, no, you're fine right there. There's no ghost. Uh, oh, the stairs right here. Whoops, almost like warped away. Would have been funny. I'm actually just gonna manually check this because this is a, this is a fixed uh, layout, so it will always be um, this plus Five room. Rooms? Yeah, basically it'll yeah. always be this plus shaped room. So it's actually pretty just safe. I think this one just went out here too. Um, pretty much after this, I'm gonna have Cynical travel with me again. Venomoth is appearing, and Venomoth is pretty scary. It has Silver Wind, uh, and you can get you can get boosted by it, which just really sucks. So 
I don't want any of that. <laughs> I know. Plus, uh, there's this too. Oh god, oh, okay, god. I can it. Luckily, you can still throw rocks. Like that. <laughs> Pretty handy. But confusion is not the best, yeah. Not too many more floors, luckily. Yeah, dust cool dust here is just like just trolls. Pressure, yeah, it's got pressure. It hurts. Uh, well, not hurts. It just like it brings being able to use moves, which I don't want that because then you'll delink them. But almost done here. Uh-oh. Uh, just gonna make Syndicol deal with this one. 164. I guess that's enough damage. It's maybe enough. Uh, just in case, actually, I'm gonna throw this at Will. Because I do not want another case where uh, I accidentally delinked it. Granted, I do have a link buck, so I should be fine. But I still don't want to go through that again. <laughs> We'll deal with this one too. Nice. All right. There we are. All right, home stretch. Yep. Not long. Sky Tower um, mid. Now we're gonna warp scarf again. Oh right, this is the five rooms. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Also, I forgot that uh, my team was uh, set to let's go together. So I need to fix that. Making this the first let's go game. True. Yo. <laughs> it is a funny sound effect. There we go. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think this is the one with the five rooms. Oh, that's right. There's nine floors here, right? Uh, Aerodactyl is there not cool, dude. There are eight floors. Oh, and then the summit. I did not mean to. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought the rock would. I thought it would do that. <laughs> Team kill attempt is crazy. Would you be to turn off friendly cool. fire? Aerodactyl's like pretty scary, right? That guy's got like supersonic agility, wing attack. Yeah, it's not, not a cool dude. Not fun. Luckily, it should be fine. God. Where's the stairs? Oh my god, I'm learning. <laughs> charm? No, we're not. They're not letting me charm. Stairs. Um, stairs. Um, hello. It's gotta be that the bottom right. Might be. Oh god! Uh oh, holy snot. There we go, there we go. okay. Oh, the left. <laughs> Gotta get rid of this. And there's two more floors after this? Yep. <laughs> so not much longer, thankfully. Oh, there's some there's some Pokemon shuffling around there. I just warped past. 
right back there. There we go. Bye, Flygon. Bye, bye, Court. How could you disturb her sleep like that? Just had to. Okay. <laughs> had to see where I am here. Thanks. Okay, that you Good just uh, worked me in the last room that <laughs> yeah. uh possibly. <laughs> All right, this is the last floor. Yay! All right. And now we just have Rayquaza. Yeah, warp scarf uh, is really cool. I quite like the strategy of just <laughs> just doing that, warping around. Here he comes. I know. This is honestly nothing. We've not heard that. What strategy <laughs> you use against it? <laughs> Can a legendary dragon and a small kitty ever truly be in love? <laughs> One thirty-nine. <Bye -bye>. <laughs> oh. ah. It's like seventeen seconds. Yep, it's uh, not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was the final boss of the game, the final dungeon of the game. Uh, pretty much, the rest of this is just basically more story about uh, Rayquaza here. So we've told him about the, the shooting star that's falling and the meteor that's falling. Um, oh, it really is. Yeah. Yep. And he needs to destroy it. Otherwise, uh, basically, this plan is going to be destroyed. So he's like, OK, well, I can destroy it, but I might kill you guys in the process. And we're just like, yeah, that's fine. We've accepted that because <laughs> uh, it's come too close. So shoots it off with his hyper beam. Now we are adrift as a spirit. And Gengar's gonna appear and tell us he's gonna drag us off to the dark world, wherever that is. <laughs> I don't know, because he doesn't do that. Because he's gonna take. He, he said he's like, oh, I took a wrong turn. Oops, and I'm just gonna ditch you here. But, you know, he actually just saved us, so. Just a little too shy to admit it, but happens to mm -hmm. the best of us. Everyone's just rejoicing because we're all okay, we're all alive, we're all safe. The star that was falling was destroyed now. And there will be no more natural disasters, which means our journey has come to an end and there is no purpose for us to be here anymore. <laughs> oh my. So, very heartfelt credits here, or well, end sequence here, where basically uh, you disappear off into the sky and leave your partner behind. Um, partner's very distraught, basically. Humphrey's like, please don't shoot me with your Hydro Pump Cannons, and Octobery's like, nah, I got him. He <laughs> do it. Oh my gosh. It's pretty funny. Sword Warrior's here to tell us that <laughs> our journey is now over. We are disappearing.
Now we fly off into the sky, and yeah, it's it's a pretty sad ending. I bawled my eyes out when I first uh, played this game and saw this. I was like, no. Everyone's just sad now. Cyndaquil kind of realizes that, you know, we we had, we, we had, like, we knew, but there was no way to just say it. That we had to go. Anyways. Um... Timing is going to end on the first white fade out uh, to staff credits. So it'll be coming up here pretty soon. Oh. We're floating in space now. <laughs> uh, very nice oh credits, too. If you've never seen it, it's a very nice sequence of credits. is heartbroken. No! Yeah. <laughs> it's so sad. Did anyone not cry playing this as a kid? Because, like, I was... This an Explorers <laughs> ending? Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my God. And... Time. GG. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Thank you very much, Switzerloo. Any shout outs you would like to do now that the run is over? Um, shout outs to obviously Etchy for letting me on here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry you could do your flat round too, but I it's was ha good. more than happy to do this. Uh, shout outs for Sparkle and May for being <laughs> here. You know? Woohoo! Woo uh, shout outs to the PMD community. If you are interested in learning this game, I would seriously highly recommend joining that discord they're so they're like super super nice and um this game is so so easy to just pick up and learn it really is not too hard i promise you when i say that because i know a lot of these games tend to be really like math heavy but this one is not this one is just you get it you go it's very very easy to learn very easy to pick up and i would recommend anyone to pick it up um they're also really fan friendly with like different kinds of consoles that you can run it on too so there's that um Shoutouts to uh, <laughs> Shady, Hoom, and Cinder for teaching me a few things about this game, as well as uh, Zaboos for these notes that I keep using that are wonderful and very beginner-friendly as well. Um, super, super great. Um, I think that is all the shoutouts I have, probably. Awesome. And again, please follow Swiftaloo for... Um more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and other speedrun content. Uh, does a lot of this stuff on her Twitch. Again, Swift did a big favor for me today. I was supposed to run Platinum, but uh, I am sick. So Swift stepped up last minute from switch from commentary to this. Uh, so thank you again, Swift. And that's not it for us today, by the way. Uh, we are over. not done here. We are going to have some more Pokemon content after the next break. We're going to actually have Sparkle run category that we have not had on Hotfix before. It's uh, Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver Battle Factory. Uh, we'll talk more about it after the break, but it, it is basically the complete opposite of a speedrun as what we just saw here. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, literally as far as possible from what we just saw. So if you like HeartGold yeah. Silver, if you like battling, if you like randomness, then uh, you're going to have a good time watching us do that. So Planned randomness. Planned ra pl planned randomness. Yeah. Dude, yes. Um, but yeah, when we come back, Swift and May will be leaving us, so it'll just be me and Sparkle for then. So, again, please follow us with Lou and Cormay. Thank you both so, so much for being here for this. And, um, yeah, we'll go take a quick break, and we'll go set that up, and we'll be back in a bit. Hello, and welcome back, everybody, to the GDQ Hotfix. We are now going to be doing a pretty interesting speedrun showcase-type thing. Uh, called Battle Factory. So this is a normal speedrun category. Uh, you can see it on speedrun.com under the HeartGold Silver category extensions. Uh, there's a couple variations of it. Basically, you can do it open level or level 50 cap. 
and uh, there's like silver print or gold print. So silver print's like the mid-level uh, boss fight. Gold print is the hardest boss fight. And uh, people do runs of this every once in a while. It goes in and out of popularity. Uh, the cool thing about this run is that it can basically be done. Anybody can do it with like zero prep or like practice or anything. You just as if you just have a file that has access to this part of the game in the post game area. Uh, actually, not even like full post game. Just after. Yes, it's after the E4. You have to do Canto for it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's it's just a really cool accessible run that anyone can do because you don't have to prep your own Pokemon to do this challenge. Uh, you actually do rental Pokemon for everything. So this is pretty weird, and it's also very hard to finish runs with this. <laughs> yes. Like, even silver print, so that's why I just kind of like a loose estimate, and we're just going to see how well it's, it's, This will pretty much be a showcase, if anything. It'll yeah. be it'll be. You, you've gone to like the last fight, though. Yeah, I have. Right? I've, well, I've gone to the 48th fight. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so Sparkle knows what he's doing. He'll be fine. Yeah. Well. Um, but yeah, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, Sparkle, yeah. and then you can go ahead and count into it. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Sparkle. Uh, I like Pokemon a lot. I've played a lot of Pokemon games. I used to run... Uh, Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver Any Percent uh, Glitchless Manipless, which is like a really long category, but we're not doing that. We're doing something uh, a lot more niche with, in the, the Battle Factory. But as Echi has said, I have uh, done a lot of attempts of this on stream before on my own channel. There was actually a bounty a few years ago where it was like the first person to get 49 wins in the Battle Factory in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver or Platinum would get a, you know, a, a cash sum reward. Nothing like that today, <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> Uh, I can show it to you, the people, how uh, how insane it can actually be. So I'm just going to get going here. Uh, I'll be doing single battles on open level, because open level is cooler. We get to use, like, cool Pokemon and stuff. Level 50, the first few rounds, is, like, mostly, like, second stage starters and stuff, and, like, weaker Pokemon. We don't want to see those. We want to see those HP bars scroll down really slowly. That's what we want to see. Yeah. So, yeah. Level 50 is a bit faster, but, and also easier, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Easier in some ways, harder in other ways. It's oh, I gotta save a lot of data, man. It's because I changed my options, so I had to save a lot of data. Classic nice. Gen 4. But yeah, uh, once I clear the box where the guy says, follow me or something like that, then uh, that's when time will start. Oh, while you're saving, can you just share in Discord your... Oh, that's a great idea, well? man. I'm so sorry. Just so I can react in real yes, time. Yes, that, that would be most wonderful. Perfect. Are we good? Yeah, I can, I can like, live give you... Um, yeah. Like, reads on what the opponent sets yeah, are and exactly. stuff while you do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screenshot stuff for me. All right. So we're going to be starting in three, two, one, go. All right. So it's entirely random. Like I said, that everything uh, we get, or like actually said, we're going to get completely random stuff. We do get uh, info on the opponent's team, Flaring and B-Pump Slow, bro. It's not going to matter too much what the enemy's team is. We want, we want to just try and find the best possible Pokemon, not the Dragonite. Yeah, we want to yeah, find so stuff here. that's like fast. Okay, I like this Flygon. This is a good Flygon. There's some pretty good mons here, yeah, honestly. Okay. Uh, let me take a look at Scizor. Is there a Bullet Punch on this? Bullet Punch X Scissor. I like this guy. This guy's good. Sceptile's solid. Um, D Knight can be Maybe a solid. Yeah. Berry feels pretty good always. Yeah, we'll take Scizor and D Knight in the back. This is a good lead. I like this. All right. Yeah, obviously this is a speed run, so you would you would want to go as fast as possible there, yeah. but you also have to make the right decisions or your run will end like immediately. Right. So, so this is very punishing. It's very easy to lose in like the first round. Yeah. And there are multiple move sets that each Pokemon can have, so I have to like I'm not, you know, I haven't played this a lot in the past few years, so I'm not really uh, familiar with the sets, so I have to take a look at what the what they are manually, but typically like Pokemon that are fast and have really strong stab moves like Flogum with Earthquake can usually be your lead spot as they'll have uh, the highest, you know, combination of power and just uh, going first to ensure you get KOs as quickly as possible. And then having stuff in the back like Scizor and Dragonite. Dragonite can be a good backup sweeper, and then Scizor can finish things off with the uh, the Technician Bullet Punch, so that's really useful. So I think I got a pretty good uh, start with the uh, the teams I, or the Pokemon selection I got. But even if you don't get yeah, stuff as good as, oh sorry, you want to go? I was going to say, yeah, uh, you're probably about to say the exact same thing. Uh, <laughs> but basically, the gimmick we're about to see here is... Uh, this guy's owning me. What hit. the... Crit? Double hit? Yeah, that's a crit. Bro. Wow. I got owned. Goodbye, Flygon. Um, <laughs> okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, these Pokemon are very scary and very powerful. Um, yeah, so... Now, let's, let's say Sparkle liked how powerful that Ambipom was yes. there. Uh, Sparkle can simply just take that Ambipom afterwards, and it's totally fine. 
Exactly. This is uh, kind of the gimmick of the Battle Factory. Is every round you can, or after every battle, you can just take your opponent's Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, you take one of them and replace one of your own with it. And we're gonna see Sparkle actually try to do it basically every single fight yeah. for these first two rounds. The way this this battle facility works is that uh, the more times you swap, the better Pokemon you get. Um, basically, if you if you swap every single um, battle in round one, then in round two, you'll get um, potentially better Pokemon, Shit. and they'll also have higher IVs than than you would, they would normally. Um. The Knight's like slow to use, so I'm gonna get rid of him. Let's see. Um, Slowbro's like good backup. Ambipom is just, I mean, just having like fast sweepers right now is good. Scissor can be good for yeah. tanking either way. It's, be it's better to lose fast anyway. Yeah. Just, just go, yeah. I like Flygon in my lead spot, so I'm gonna, gonna keep him there. Did you just say do the monster meteor mash? We gotta pay attention to what these I, NPCs I didn't, are I didn't saying. See it. I did not see it. Yeah, I didn't. The, the dialogue is very wild. Yeah, in, uh, in Battle uh, Frontier, it's pretty sick. It's it's it, it was funnier in Gen three when they were like they were only using words from like the the dialogue select or whatever from like when you would select words. So they were just all caps, <laughs> just caps lock sentences that made no yeah. sense and had no punctuation. They were very funny though. Yes. You're right. But on the fact that Machamp has a scope lens. Mm. He also tried With to earthquake my Flygon. <laughs> the AI is not very good. I think they're entirely yeah. random right now. Once we get to like, yeah. yeah, see, fake out on turn two. Kind of a joke. So that we can get carried, yeah. even though we get we can get bad matchups, the AI can just throw and we win anyway. So the first few rounds shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, that's why generally you're just going to see Sparkle just blitz through as fast as possible in these early rounds. And then later on, when the AI gets more intelligent, then we're going to slow down a bit and actually yeah. check. I'll have like, to, like, you know, what check what sets they have. Happen. And, like, uh, I mean, not do, like, literal damage calcs, but just, like, predict what moves they're going to use. Because if we have good mm -hmm. enough type coverage on our three mons to swap between and pivot, then we shouldn't be, like, we should be in a good spot in terms of, like, dealing with whatever matchup that we face. Like, I'm so frail. This poor Flygon. I mean, she got two and a half really down. Really going through it. She's doing okay. Scizor carries, though. Technician, bullet punch, swords. This is like literally an OU set for Scizor. It's really funny. Yeah, some of these sets are <laughs> so wild. For, for more context on like Battle Frontier, for those who didn't really like experience this when uh, these, with, with these games, because they're not a thing in the newer games, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Battle Frontier is basically just post-game challenging content. This is completely vanilla content, and it's... Uh, Incredibly difficult <laughs> to actually finish, um, especially especially the Battle Factory. But yeah, like all, all the content here is uh, generally meant to like very like competitive oriented. Uh, they expect you to like know abilities and know held items and make good decisions with like building your Pokemon and stuff. And it's incredibly challenging and uh, very time consuming and tedious for a lot yes. of them. But this one again, benefit is there's no prep you have to do for this outside of like learning Pokemon stuff because uh, it's just. Yeah, literally, if you're just like a competitive Pokemon nut, you'll have fun with this for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And just like knowing how the games RNG works. Like you, like when you play Pokemon a lot when you're a kid, you kind of like get a grip of how, of how like the, the trainers like to, like to use moves or like uh, you can, you know, sweat, like learning how to like swap to like take an, a not very effective hit is just <laughs> really, really useful for a challenge like this. Nice crit, I think that mattered. Dragon Eye very bulky. And then it should yeah, just be have, EQ times two. They don't have multi skill yet, right? That's like no. later gen. That's like gen yeah. five or something. Dragonite only has yeah. inner focus right now. Right, right. Pentacle does outspeed me, which and you, is kind and of you know what moves it has because you just had one earlier. So. True. Icy wind. I'm being trolled. We do have the Yaki Berry though, and there's no way Muck outspeeds us, so we're fine. What'd you set the uh, estimate for? I didn't see. I said hour 30, yeah, but yeah. that's like loose, so you, know, you can go or you can go under or whatever. I, we should, if we at least get like a silver print done, I'll be happy. But if, if you're we'll like see. on a run and uh, we're like past 130, then you should just try to finish it. No, yeah, for sure. I'm sure the chat will be okay with that. Yeah. All right, none of the, uh, I mean, I guess we'll take Dragonite back, actually. 
Might as well, yeah. There's, yeah. there's no downside to it, so. So, like, I uh, I was reading up just to research uh, how, uh, like, the enemy Pokemon, not the AI, but the Pokemon tend to generate. So there's something about, like, I'll have to read it again to, like, make sure. Maybe when, like, you mm -hmm. know, in a tenser situation I can, like, refresh. But something about, like, um, the enemy... They can't. The enemies can't have Pokemon that you that you just like in the first battle. They can't have Pokemon that you had that you seen in, you saw in the selection. They can't okay. have any items of Pokemon you have in your party, which is a big one, because that'll be a big way to determine. Like say, like because my Flygon is a Yaki Berry, right? Like say there's a Garchomp later on that uh, one of the sets could be Yaki Berry, but since my Flygon's Yaki Berry, it can't be that set, right? So if it's like an EQ Dragon Claw Swords Dance. Wow, I just got owned. The EQ Swords Dance Dragon Claw Garchomp. <laughs> I know it's not that. That Flygon is gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Frozen Flygon. Yeah, Reversal, uh, you want to summarize what it does? Really quick? <laughs> reversal is, uh, it gets, it essentially it gets stronger as uh, your HP decreases. And with the HP Metachamps at right now, I would not be surprised. Okay, well now, yeah, so now it's 200 power. But we have priorities, so we're fine. But yeah, I just got hit by That's like a 150 scissor. power donk or something. Scissor is pretty clutch, though. I think I might want to have Sword Stance on this one. Trick Room? Okay. Ooh, interesting. Yo, Flinch Trolling? I'm being trolled. I think you just set up more then, right? Until, I mean, until Trick Room's gone? I feel like X-Scissor plus Bullet Punch should finish those. It's a Bronze song. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if it's gonna work. That should. Yeah, see, I told you. Yeah. I, I didn't have faith until that first roll happened, and I was like, yeah, definitely. I've gotten pretty good at uh, damage calcs, men mental damage calcs, as the years have gone by. And we outspeed mm -hmm. this Tauros now. Thanks, Bronzo. LeBron's James. Yeah, the damage formula has changed over the years in incredibly minor ways. So, yes. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you know it pretty well in Gen 4, you can still estimate the same way in like Gen 9 and probably not be that far I'll off. i probably take that Tauros. Tauros is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, I can double check. I mean, you're gonna see what it is, what it has anyway. Here. Oh no, you don't see it, right? I, yeah, I can't see what it has. You, you're Ollie just supposed Toad to see Blastoise like, Swine. Ew. Those can probably have ice moves. Well, Mammo Swine for sure. Let's get rid of Dragonite. Um, <laughs> I still take Tauros. Yeah, I think so. You're just never gonna use the Dragonite, I guess. No, I mean like Dragonite's not that fast, and like D Dance is really good, but it's like it's slow. I want to just do damage and win. Yeah. But like, you could also argue for a leading Dragonite and like try to D-dance cheese every fight. That could work too, but it just depends on the matchups you, uh, you face. Um, somebody chat asking how many battles there are. So uh, in order to get the gold print, you have to defeat the final boss of this as the 49th battle. Um, if you want the silver print, Print. It is the 21st battle where you fight that boss. Uh, the boss is Thornton. He is very powerful and is a uh, good Pokemon. Okay, we're gonna thrash with the. Uh... I do have Let's the Person Berry on this, so if he's if he swaggers again, okay, Surf, that's fine. I'll probably do like 75 percent. I got crit. Okay. Nice. Yeah, moments like these, uh, I could I could just lose. Scissor might be able to carry. If Blastoise comes out second, I think I'll be okay. But yeah, it's Mamoswine here. I have no idea which Mamoswine this is. I, I have a thread pulled up of uh, all the po all the options. Oh, I can check them on. Yeah. I think the... Uh, Adamant, Icy Rock, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Peck, Hail. Ice Fang? Okay. Take Ghost Scissor. My plan here is just go Scizor, take this out, and then ship Blastoise, and then hopefully win with Flygon. But it is random AI, so... Like, yeah, if you're going for real runs, you would just YOLO that, for sure, but... I want to try and get a... not have my first run end <laughs> in the first seven battles. It'd be kind of embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking at a, a, a thread that has, like, all the sets for, like, the first couple rounds, and, uh... has, like, a one-sentence review of each Mon. And for Tauros, it says, this is so embarrassingly weak. Thrash is the worst. It has Person Berry. <laughs> 120 base power. You just hate it. <laughs> it's got that anger point. 
I wonder if I outspeed this Blastoise. Oh, sure. No. No? Scizor's pretty slow. X Scissor, I can probably just Bullet Punch. I mean, actually, you know what? I'll just go for the hit. Because he could just Icy Wind again, because bad AI, so. Just go for it. Okay, that's a move you can learn, I guess. <laughs> that's some crazy grass coverage, bro. That's six or five? Um, I think that's five. Okay. Gramble, Yon, Mega, Raichu. Gramble's annoying and as Intimidate, most likely. Um, goodbye, Scizor. I mean, Tauros, not Scizor. Um, oh, wait, right. Thrash is only 90 power in this gen. Oh, it was gen 5 they buffed it, yeah. I don't I saw Signal Beam, yep. Icy Wind. If this is Surf, I want it. I mean, surely it does, bro. Uh, wait, I can check. It, it could be Hydro Pump, it. actually. It has Hydro Pump, yeah. yep. I'll hit. It also has Mirror Coat. Okay, that's funny. I like that. <laughs> really good with random AI, for sure. <clears throat> the legendary Pokemon. If this guy actually has like a Latios, I'm finished. Oh, wait, we already know what, what he has. I'm just trolling. What are you talking about? <laughs> what the NPC said. Um. And yeah, ver uh, Heart Gold versus Soul Silver doesn't matter for this. You can even play it on Pokemon Platinum. It's just not optimal for speedrun because you get extra yeah. animations, but you can totally do it on Platinum. It's fine. I did it. I did my runs on Platinum. I don't two shot this. They're almost kind of scary. Mm, I mean, I'll just like I'll just EQ until I'm until I'm down. I feel. Crunch. Okay, I I do live, so I can get one more hit off. The next thing. Hopefully, I outspeed this Raichu's. I think Raichu's pre speed yeah, buff. No. It's pretty fast, yeah. No dodge either, sad. And yeah, we're seeing a lot of crits, by the way. This is in the generation where crits are 1 in 16. Yes. This is before they nerfed them um, a couple generations later. And they also do double damage, so. It uh, just means you lose a lot of runs to crits. <laughs> yeah. Not much you can do about that. Raw one shot though, because Scissor's that guy. He's him. Uh, like Bullet Punch. Okay, well. In hindsight, should have used Swords Dance. It's all good. All right, the one sentence review for Yan Mega is poop. Good. And this, the improved set is double poop. I don't know. I, I get two shot here, actually. Crit? Magic crit? One time for the one time? Okay, we're fine. Okay, apparently the third version of the Mega. Wait, no, this is Tinted Lens. I'm dead. Close. Oh my god. Or just crits. But no, that's Tinted Lens. I die anyway. Alright, Stoice. Alright. Using my only 100 accuracy move. <laughs> <laughs> I could get trolled What's it holding? Here. Oh, it's holding Mystic Water. Okay. okay. All right, one more to go. <laughs> Let's see for Alligator. Um... Be something that's good against water. Does the Raichu have Thunderbolt? It has Slam and Iron Tail. Uh, I can check. Uh, Slender Punch. I'll take that. That's still fine. It's adamant as well with Wide Lens. Yeah, for those it Iron Tails. a little tails, bit man. with Iron Tail and Slam. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Slam is so bad. Why is that a real <laughs> move? Yeah, the review for this one is uh, if Pokemon has Slam, it's probably terrible. It's word for word what it says. Whatever. I believe in my boy. <laughs> Jericho, it's you and me. Honestly, you know what? Physical Raichu, that's a good matchup into Blissey. I'll take that. <laughs> Technically true. Let's try Bozo. 
All right, so I think AI will remain random until, what is it, round round two of the, the, the last trainer of round two or something like that? I, I It's been uh, so long. I don't, I don't know, yeah. And I might also be I mixing things up with Gen 3 Battle Factory, so who knows? Who knows the truth? Superpower. I'm so dead. <laughs> we can just have uh, scissor take the, uh, the bullet punch and then finish off Blissey with the next scissor. Oh, we get to see level 100 Blissey, everybody. Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh, HP, let's go. What if I swords dance three times first to make it even better? <laughs> Uh, everyone in chat, make sure you pay attention. So look at the timer for when it starts to kick down and right see now. how long it takes. Oh my god. <laughs> I have some goldfish here. Nice. <laughs> mm. So uh, you do your time. These are again? so stale. Ew. All right. Oh, we're still not done. There we go. Let us know in the chat how long that took. I do not save the last battle. We've got 5 BP, Kevin. I don't know why I'm named Kevin. Twenty-three to twenty-five seconds, it looks like. That's wild. Congrats on your BP. What are you gonna spend it all? Um, five proteins. You're getting phone call. Oh my god! Doesn't matter. I'm on that it's grind. It's a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> Making it personal. So uh, huh? you you do get kicked out after every round, um, but the streak is still ongoing, so we're just gonna go back into yeah. it right away. But streaks do not carry you over between formats, I don't think. Correct. Yeah. So this is going to be battle number eight, round number two. So yeah, now, uh, because Sparkle traded every round, uh, has a chance to get Espeon potentially better Pokemon. Ooh, Espeon and Scizor on this first one. Espeon seems pretty good. Salamence. That's pretty decent. D-Dance? Okay, I like this guy. Ooh, Scarf yeah. Porygon. Adaptability, I like you. And then Golduck, physical Golduck. I mean, that's still okay. This Ambipump is terrible. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Definitely the men's. Yeah, men's then. lead, PZ, and then Golduck. Yeah, it seems fine for now, and then take uh, uh, probably the Espeon, right? Espeon or Scissor. The Scissor might, probably won't be as good as the last one. It'll be a different set. Yeah, let me look. Uh, I mean, it has Psychic Calm Mind. Oh, true. Okay. So, I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah. That's Baton Pass, too, technically, but you're, that's, like, never gonna happen. It is gonna outspeed <laughs> me, so I'm just gonna D-Dance turn one. Always. And just don't die. I think it's... Bye. Uh, okay. Young Mega. Random AI. <laughs> okay, I should one-shot this. Another Tinted Lens Young Mega, but I should one-shot everything new. I have Fire Fang for Scizor. Yeah, this nice. element is, uh, pretty neat. Good Pokemon. Pretty good roll. Espagon. I didn't see what item this Salamence had. It's probably a Yaki Berry or something. Is the D Claw, D Dance, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang set? Do you want to look it up? For which one? Salamence. What about it? It's item. Oh. Uh, Razor Fang. Whoa. That's like increased. That's, no, that's 10% flinch chance or something? Razor Claw's increased crit. That's interesting. All right, so... Yeah, the, the, the review says this thing is broken when you get it this early, so... <laughs> yeah, I can... Because this is that. one that you got solely because you traded every round. Yeah. Oh, one really? one of the upgraded it's options, so yeah, because the normal Salamence is pretty... Is, it, it's, it doesn't have D-Dance, Pass so. is not a good matchup. Um... Pretty easy for us beyond. <laughs> Thank you. 
If it's Probo Pass turn one, I'll probably just swap to uh, Gold Duck. Guess Fire Fang is not gonna be it. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go Gold Duck here. Hopefully this thing doesn't and, uh, have electric moves. You haven't notice they're, they're gonna change like what info they tell you every round about your uh, next opponent's Pokemon. Yeah. Um, so round one they were just telling you every single Pokemon, and then it, it changes and you get less and less info over time, and or like different info. This gold deck is so um, random. It's a little bit harder. It's adamant physical attacker, but randomly has Mud Bomb. That's so bad. <laughs> Mud Bomb is so fake. Yeah, Why does it add? Kind of a. This is, uh, yeah, yeah, also for a lot of Battle Factory sets, they're like, for physical attackers, they're obsessed with giving them moves like Shadow Claw and Aerial Ace. Just really, really bad moves if they're yeah. not stab. It's, it's, it's terrible. Oh, wait, wait, Aerial Ace? Yo, oh, <laughs> real? You were talking smack? I'm not even sure if this kills. That's the funniest part. Okay. Q Neutron? <laughs> Uh, I'm not, this could be Water Absorb. I just want to, like, I'm gonna go to Espeon. I guess I could have tested it first with just using Waterfall. But Espeon, oh yeah, no, for sure. Swapping is a better play here. Right, hopefully Psychic times 2 should be it. Oh! Ooh. Okay, that's Ooh. fine. That's fine, I can just calm, calm mine you. time, yeah. I shouldn't die to this, even though he did get the uh, plus one. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Five is eighty power Five is not that powerful. Mm, you know what? Do I? Okay, okay crit. Perfect. No, okay. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure you love that. Thankfully, there's no unaware in this game, so you cannot possibly. <laughs> Actually, no, you get unaware as a hidden ability. It is in this game, but yeah, only yeah, yeah. but it only B barrel has, has it. it. Only yeah. B barrel has it. You're not getting past me. Oh man, this is rotten. Huh? I was reading what the guy said. Oh. You said you were going to read it and pay attention. I'm in the zone. <laughs> okay, Golem Earthswing, that's fine. I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to keep Golduck. Oh, but Golduck's so bad. But that's been so Golem. good. All right, you win. Yeah, I think you you swapped the, uh, the Golduck for... Quag. Oh, right. I forgot. I mean, Quag is so slow, though. It two-turn attack with Dive. I'm going to take Yeah, but you, you need... You, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, it still works for Golem. Trying to go fast, bro. Espeon's too good. You can't lose Espeon. Espeon yeah. probably just one-shots Golem clean with Psychic, honestly. That's or true. Or at least does, like, yeah. 90%. Need Golem? Yeah. I do get the Intimidate off, so... I f Does Dragon Claw X2... Close combat? Okay. I could probably swap to you safely. The Intimidate did go off. I do, like, Stone Edge crit kill, like, KOs everybody. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna D-Claw and see what happens. Uh, okay. Because I don't think... I don't know if, if Close Combat's gonna one-shot. Okay. Trolling. Okay, random AI. Okay, good. See, so imagine if you had a gold up here. I mean, or Quagsire, I mean. Yeah, but that, no. You're cringe. Uh, I could bulk up, I'm just gonna go. No, you just, you just go. Yeah. And it'll simply work out. Uh, and then there should be Ursaring after this. Yo! No! Focus Band! Not the, the first Focus, focus Band! band oh my god, I forgot about this. Wow. <laughs> I might still focus live this. Focus Band's a funny item. Because he's minus one attack. Okay, yeah, we really fall. Do you want to explain how Focus Band is Yeah, so Band Focus, focus Band focus um, <laughs> is an item that if a move would KO you, you actually just have a 10% chance to live it. And okay. it's very, very funny. Because the Battle Factory is full a lot. of things that have the uh, Focus Band equipped. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to know why not more pe more people aren't playing this uh, every day, there there are there's sufficient evidence. 
I'll just put it lightly. And just, and just another random, uh, another layer of randomness that makes this challenge so hard to complete. And speedrunning it just makes it even harder. Yeah, like honestly, I'm tempt I'm to tempted think. to take take that golem just so other things can't have focus ban later. That's literally a strat. I, I probably should do that. Yeah, it's fine to take over um, Aragroth. Yeah. Might live this. It's gonna be close. Okay, yeah, Slash is not very strong. I'm getting the worst matchups, man. Dude. Uh, uh, I mean, maybe you don't take the Golem. <laughs> yeah. Um. This is. Blaziken seems good. Yeah. It might. I don't know. If, I hope it's mixed. I really do. Because it was. It used Aerial Lace, so it at least has a physical attack. But it might be some like Fire Blast Aerial Lace. I guess I, we could have looked it up. Blaze Kick, Reversal, Blaze Aerial Ace, right. Endure. Honestly, I might just spam Fire Fang on the Steelix and not even lying. Because, mm -hmm. like, what's Steelix going to do to Salamence? <laughs> like, Rock Slide's not that good because I have the Intimidate. Intimidate. I'm not that scared of it. It's going to be slow, but I feel like this is the safest route. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have anything too bad for you. Okay, Fire Fang is bad. It, I don't want to see it. Does have thun it does have Ice Fang. Well, I mean, that's not going to KO. I can yeah, flinch actually. and burn, too. Yeah, see, and then there's just the AI okay. moments. We're fine. Cool, cool, cool. So EQ and elemental things on this, Steelix. Interesting. Don't crit me. Oh my, ooh! Woohoo! Boros. I don't know if I would speed this guy. I'm just gonna go for a declaw. Okay, nice, nice chip. Okay, we can finish with Espeon. Life Orb, interesting. Life Orb's like okay. I don't know. It's like. It's, it's more, it's it's less the HP chip you take, and it's more like it's just every hit you land, you you lose time, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Shuckle? I have no idea. Um, you have... I'm just gonna Psychic and see what happens. If this is some troll set, then it is what it is. Don't use double team, bro. The, the oh! Highest... Oh Any my. Fella? Okay, That's I have a Fella, good. we're fine. Um, the highest tier Steelix, by the way, has Quick Claw Explosion, so... <laughs> I think I remember that. Aware. Okay, good yeah. thing I swapped there. Okay, the shuckle doesn't even have leftovers, so it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, nice try. Right. Yo, that's crazy. Control the first. One. <laughs> um. Could take Steelix. What's the round that I start? Uh, I uh, what round is it that I stop like swapping every round? It's like either round three uh, or four or something. Th three. You, next round you can be a little more cautious with it, yeah, yeah. But you should still try to swap as much as you can. Um, Life Orb Tauros, I guess, is solid. Steelix is good to pivot. The with. Steelix is good. It's yeah. a, it's adamant earthquake. Yeah. Elemental things. It beats Jolteon for sure. Caught a pick shuckle. Uh, I'm afraid uh, I have to object to that. What does the shuckle have again? It was like wrap, attract, toxic. I don't know what the last move was, but it's probably gonna be like protect or something. Yeah, the, the one word review for shuckle just says suckle. So. Yeah. I feel like I D dance here, honestly. Okay, well, you got um. me, man. <laughs> oh, God. He's going Reggie Alecki mode. Sweep. Have you seen the video of the Reggie Alecki on Showdown that's like agility? <laughs> and all you know is agility, and it has a choice scarf. <laughs> nice. 
not. And then the person they were they were fighting forfeit and just like what 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 the swear man. <laughs> on. Not the swear. Yeah. I still have At speed. Least nothing this is round. like touching you. Yeah. Just chill. No extra sensory flin flinches. Oh, heat proof bronze on? That was a crit. That's a good crit. Ow. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, still it's speeding because of uh, the speed boost from Dragon Dance, so the yeah. paralysis speed drop uh, not as impactful here. I'm not even dead Tennessee to this. priority, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. Non priority or non stab priority. This will do it. I'm honestly, this might just kill. I am plus one. Monks are pretty scary in general, I feel like. In, uh, in factory. Yep. Oh, crit? I mean, you know, good measure. All right, yeah, Joel, Johnny, better quit the right move. Crit, so, I mean. Your entire career depends on this. You failed. <laughs> oh my <laughs> you gosh. Failed, bro. That's so embarrassing. It's time save. Thud. Thud. Bzz. We're definitely Paralyzed not picking that. HP and still sweeps. Ridiculous. We're not picking that Jolteon for sure. Explode and Needle Queen. <laughs> okay, a little bit more reasonable now. Although the Explode, I guess, could have like an Ice move or something. That'd be pretty troll. Um, uh, we're taking this guy. He does have Shadow Sneak, so that is utility, if anything. Poison Jab, Black Sludge, Minimize Acid Armor. All right. Not, not the best. More of a bulky mon than an attack. Yeah. Mon. Good pivot, though. And if they don't have race bug, then you can just stall things out again. D Dance, Dragon Claw should one shot, so hopefully no, nothing troll on this X Cloud. Okay. It's fine by me. Not if I get crit, though. Attacking Whoa, oh, it's just yeah. life work. Okay. I was like, what? How is that minus one attack? That's just not true. That's scary. Life orb is 1.3 times. 1.3, yep. Okay. Nido Queen, I don't know. Like you're, you're enjoying this run and want to see more random stuff from Sparkle, go to twitch.tv slash sparkle, drop and follow. If you're watching live on Twitch, you can also just hover over his name on the Twitch title and click the little heart, and you don't have to go anywhere. Wow. wow. Easy That's quick so follow. Neat. Oh my god, the queen has. Well, he gets ratioed by the Salamence. <laughs> <laughs> or by this uh, Nido Queen. Ow. Damn. Damn, Glizzy. Um, so, I don't have info on the last Mon, so hopefully it's not like... If it's Bronzong, <laughs> that'd be pretty crazy. I'll, I'll look up whatever set it has. Oh! No, oh, we, wait. We have a, we you have do, a physical You got your physical attacker. attacker. You're good. You have a physical attacker. All is not lost. Thank goodness. I can't believe we've seen two blisters already. That's Ooh. not. Um. I mean, I just have to you go, still, man. You still do it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Double team. Yeah. That still goes, yeah. I'm gonna get another blister. Right, well, while this happens, I'm gonna turn on my light. I'll be right back. Yeah, have a good one, man. <laughs> This is not gonna kill. There's no way. Right? Oh wow. I thought this muck was not gonna be physically invested, but I guess he is. Alright, we take those. Alright guys, let's all make fun of Etchy while he's away. I think I guys, I think Etchy, I think he Crabs is a Golem Roserade. Um, I don't like Golem. That's not a cool guy. Honestly, if this is like an Elemental Punches pl uh, plus EQ Nido Queen, although I guess that's another Golem weakness I'm taking. Could have just checked, dude. I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's fine to go fast now, but next round we gotta slow down. Yeah, no, for sure. I run. think yeah. <laughs> this this trainer might have uh, more. Intelligent AI and leading golem is not, not what I want to see, really. Is this the last trainer? Yeah. Okay. 
Elemental Punch is Poison Jab. I want an EQ. Damn. Uh, I think all I can really do here is just start with a D Claw and go from there. Hammer Arm? Okay. So I don't think D Dance e D Claw is killing, but that's okay. I just want to get rid of this thing. Okay, this is like a troll set. Hammer Arm Gyro Ball. I get crit oh, as I say that. Oh no, that was just like incredibly high draw. base power. Are there any scary golem sets? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, the, the last golem also has quick claw explosion, so uh, that's neat. Cool. So that just means I have to take a. I need a mon with quick claw and a mon with focus band on all my teams. Oh, I got the razor, the razor fang flinch. I'm so much better. Huge. I'm literally so much better. That might be the first one, right? I don't think you've done it before. Yeah. Unless a fang flinch, I don't know. I didn't nah, I didn't get that on. Right. Just hope that Espion can clean up here. That's her job. Roserade? Oh yeah. Forgot about you. Oh yeah. Free, Excellent. literal free low. Alright, so now that we have two rounds under our belt, now it's gonna get a bit more uh, frisky out here. The AI is gonna start getting smarter, and the sets of the Pokemon are gonna get a lot more polarizing. Yeah, now the, the trade strat, we're not gonna try to trade every single round. We, we want to, um, but if it makes us worse for the boss, at the end of this yeah. next round, then we're, we shouldn't do it. The boss named um, Fortin. Yes. So yeah, this next round, if we defeat the 21st fight, uh, we will get the Silver Print. And that'll be the end of the Silver Print speed run. Yep. And then we'll keep going and try to get the Gold Print. And if we lose, then uh, we try again. <laughs> okay. So I should probably uh, take a bit more time to form a team. Let's just see what options we have. I mean, yes, yeah, so a silver print win would be a, a huge dub for the GDQ channel. You guys see it? Close combat Lucario. Okay. Okay. At least we know the, can, the one can, of the I can, moves. I can see what moves that yeah, has. Then, it told that's me that. good. Okay, Nine Tails. That probably outspeeds in one shots. Glide score is good. That Lucario is pretty jack. Uh, it has Earthquake, Close Combat, Blaze Kick, Shadow Claw. Oh my God. Adamant Muscle Band. <laughs> this is the go. It's we're taking this guy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh dude. Yeah. Lead Intimidate again. Let's go. Uh, Glide score. Wait, score too. I'm oh, using yeah. a good physical defense, physically defensive, pin, but my Spadef is kind of lacking. But all these options are kind of bad. I guess Nine Tails is okay, but I already have a Fire type. Yeah. It seems good. Honestly, lead, Ar want to lead Arcanine it, and two ground immunities, that's pretty good. You, might, you probably want to take the Sicario, honestly. It oh, yeah, no, crazy. I'm thinking about it for sure. I probably don't need Weezing in the long term because uh, Vice score is just so good. Yeah, the, the review for the Sicario is extremely positive, yeah. so. Hopefully, we can outspeed and get the Flare Blitz off. We do, okay, good. Easy. Could be Focus Sash, though, so we can't... Mm -mm. Can't be too comfortable. I just said it was Muscle Band. You did say that. And you know what? That's on me for not listening. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Need to work on that. Rampardos? Uh, close combat on this? Uh, so, yeah, this is a Battle Factory speedrun showcase. Uh, we were trying to speedrun to get the gold print, but it is very unlikely to actually finish it. <laughs> Um, so right now we're just going to try to get the Silver Print, which is its own speedrun category, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, and it's a showcase because you might still lose anyway. But I believe in Sparkle, and we're just going to win, so it'll be fine. Life but yeah, Brand if Sparkle Bardos. loses, we'll just try again. Dude, the first move on this Gliascore being Guillotine is, is so crazy. <laughs> they want you to click this move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's horrifying. Hey, but now that I have this Gliascore, I can't fight anybody who has a Guillotine Gliascore now. I'm assuming that there's only one guillotine glass score. It might not be. Honestly, I mean, this glass score is kind of the goat because like stab EQ and then U turn for pivoting if I need that. And then if like if I'm yeah. my back is against the wall, I can just I can just rip it. I can just rip the guillotine. 
You know what? I'll take that. All right. Um, I probably will take Lucario here. Not a very good pivot, but um, just to, you know, boost my, my, I don't know, rapport, I guess, with the, the battle fact. Yeah, like, staff. honestly, this team's, like, cracked now. Yeah. Um, as is. But we still do want to trade a little bit more, ideally. Yeah. Um, let me let me try to what is, let me see the exact count for how many times you want to trade for the next upgrade. I feel like it was like three or four. Um, so what's this to the sun? Basically, you want to try to hit 21 by the end of round four. So you're now at 15 trades. Okay. So. We're on good pace. You, yeah. Maybe try to do like one or two more here, if possible, <laughs> yeah. but your team's also really good. Just something like maybe a bit more bulky than Lucario. Or Alligator, well, that's, that's a fella. Uh, I don't really have a good pivot. I'm just gonna Thunder Fang, actually. If anything, you probably just need a special attacker. Yeah. That's a special attack. <laughs> That's a special attack. Goodbye. <laughs> we just go into Lucario and CC this for sure. That's funny though. Okay, Hydro Cannon. I don't like. I don't like seeing Hydro Cannon because that makes me think that the other moves on this thing are gonna be like really bad. Let me look. Because uh, if that was Surf, I'd be a lot more interested. Ice Beam, Focus Blast, Ancient Power. Okay, not that bad, but. With wise glasses. Still like Ooh, Skarmory? This is actually pretty bad. Um, okay, well... You got Blaze Kick. That's true. But CC is stronger, but I don't want to nerf my, my defenses. Yeah. I have crit, too, on this, and I can burn. Let's go for CC. Hey, back? Oh, okay, we're fine. You're chilling. Um, anything on this team I want to swap with? I don't like that for... I don't like the for alligator. For alligator oh special attack is not good. <coughs> I'll, ju I'll just I'll hold off. I think. All right. If that owns me, then so be it. Leaf Storm Roserade. Okay. Triple good matchup for Arcanine. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. Do you know your PB and Silver Print? What do you say? Do you know your PB in Silver Print? No. No. <laughs> Psychic Beta. All right. Lighter moment. Yeah, so if we get to 21 trades, um, what that'll allow... Let me check. Exactly. So like Latios and stuff like that? Swampert? Uh, basically, by the time you get into round five, you will get three set five Pokemon with IVs of 16 and three set five Pokemon with IVs of 20. Okay. Set five is the highest set, so. Right. right. Ooh, special attacking Swampert. I like this. Unfortunately, this is very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this... I really hope... I don't know if CC's going to do it, and if it doesn't, I need him to click the wrong move. I just have to go for this. Muscle band. I don't know. It's gonna be close. It's gonna do a lot. Muscle band carry. Trust. Ooh. Oh. Throw? Oh. oh. That is a negative. All right, it's fine. Uh -oh. We, as long as it's not like, if the last Pokemon isn't like literally Drifblim or Gengar, I'll be okay. All right. It just can't be one either of those two. Hey, come on. Please, game. We're so close to Thorin. We gotta get there. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, chill. I should have speed as well. Yeah. All right, cool. Whew. We're not done. Hey, 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 relax. This could be focus band. I think. We're through. Whew. Phew. All right. I wasn't worried. I think we definitely say bye to Lucario now. I wish there was I a way to like swap. could have been a bright powder, by the way. Really? <laughs> yeah. Bright powder too. So I just I got to make sure I have bright powder 
You're, you're not getting me. Yeah, gotta, right powder? This is not happening. <laughs> and quick claw. And, and focus, Brandon. We're, and we're tight. We're so tight. You getting the swamp hurt? Oh, yeah, for sure. It's probably like surf, earth power. Let me check. It's got to have surf. I got bad news, buddy. Yes. Uh, this is muddy water, earth power, ice beam counter. Okay. I mean, still. With expert belt. Still. The stab, stab earth power is basically surf. It's just the stab special move that's like at least 90 power. I'll, that's fine. Yeah. That's literally fine. Also, we're like... Expert belt is the one that's like for super effective moves, right? Yeah, no, that's a good that's a good item for sure. Yeah, so boost your power if your move is super effective, basically. Yeah. I like 4 0 on Flare Blitzing the first Mon. Super <laughs> effectively, that's pretty crazy. It's pretty good. Yeah. Gyarados, I do have the Thunder Fang. I may as well rip it. I could crit or flinch. The Intimidate will prevent me from one shotting, though, naturally. Yeah. Oh? No. I almost got the super no. epic combo. I mean, that's fine. I can just go into Swamp. I mean, you're still in a oh, good spot. oh, wait, I oh. have Focus Band. I didn't even know that. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm so Let's much go. better. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I had Focus Band. <laughs> All right, we just, we just, you sack. should check these things. That might be a good idea. Things. Zen Headbutt? Oh, it's a physical Lapras? Interesting. We just did uh, Earth Power. Probably not two shotting from here, honestly, but that's fine. We have plenty of time to take care yeah. of this Lapras. Plenty of turns. 381 HP. Swamper is ridiculous, yeah, dude. Really tanky. Is it HP EVs? Let me see. Yeah, it's HP and attack. Yeah. Attack? You mean special attack? Uh, yeah, sorry, special. Yeah, I was looking at the other one. Yeah. I want to swap. Probably not. No. <clears throat> I'm at what, 16 trades now? Yeah, because you only traded the Swamper, right? Yeah, I have, I have plenty of time. And getting five next round is not. Oh, no, yeah, if you can try to get one more. Fly using good. Skarmory? Oh, wait. Flare Blitz. Nice. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's Shrimple. Did it say. Wait, what did it say for the Skarmory? Fly? Probably some Toxic Stall or something? Breath there. Don't troll me, please. God. Okay, that's fine. Um, uh, is there a reason to pivot here? Not real. I have to stay. No, no you're, you're just chilling. I'm just gonna, I'm literally, honestly, I'm just gonna flare blitz again because I don't want to miss uh, Thunder Fang. Yeah. And again, for those who are not aware, Steel does resist dark in this And Ghost. So. Yeah. And Ghost. Drapion? All right. Him hard. If I outspeed, okay, good. Hopefully, it does like half, and Glassfort can pick up the KO. Nice. All right, goodbye. Goodbye. Drapion's pretty solid, honestly, but I'm not sure. I mean, my team is just so good right now. I don't know. Let me, let me see what it has. What, 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 poison it, jab? Poison jab? Then what was the other move? I didn't. It was just it was just poison jab. Uh, it's hard to know. Then. Swagger electrode. One of them's worse than the other one. Okay. So it's probably too risky. Flash swagger. All right, man. Uh, this might be the that might be this Drake gun that has playing iron ball. I see. Erm. And knockoff. Knockoff's good. Knockoff? No, knockoff's not good in this game. It's twenty power. Oh, ooh. yeah. Never mind. That was a Gen 6 buff. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. 
We had two ground types, okay? There's no way we lose to this Electra. This, it, we're not, we're yeah. relaxed, we're relaxed. No, 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 no. I don't want to trade for this either. No, no. Okay. Thank you for affirming my my uncertainties. Yeah. Explode. No, the streak. The Flare Blitz streak. Oh. I think Facade, is that the Life Orb Explode? Honestly, come round five, the downside is so minor. Like, if you don't do an, an like, if you don't hit 21 trades, it's not the end of the world, I think. Yeah, because I still get, like, ex I still have it's the chance basically just, well, you get one extra Pokemon that has 20 IVs instead of 16. Oh, what? Yeah, there's no reason to stress out. Fine. Yeah, it, it, it's just really important to hit the 14 early. Oh, yeah, no, I already got that, though. Because so. that bumps you up, like, entire tiers yeah. and stuff. <clears throat> Okay, Dude. it's fine. <laughs> These aren't even focus bands. They're just surviving. Oh, no, yeah. Can't live this. I think this might be the life orb again. If it is, then I just pick up the... It should be, yeah. Okay, cool. One more Flare Blitz left in the tank. Oh, yeah. You already know. You know the vibes. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Speedrun reference from earlier? Dude. It's wicked. And if you think you can do this challenge better, chat, definitely go try it for yourself. It is a normal speedrun that anyone can pick up. You just need a file that has this part unlocked. Uh, requires no prep. Yep. And uh, you can just start doing it immediately. Uh, a lot of people have done the run. It's pretty fun. It's a cool way to uh, spend an evening, just hop on VC with some friends while you all do it. Yeah, and, no, that uh, sounds so chill. For real. Really, really fun. Hopefully I get this one shot, but I mean, I don't know what Skun Tank's gonna do to me. It's remotely threatening. Oh my god. Man. Ooh, annoying. I've won zero coin flips, man. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Alright. Kinda crazy. You'll, sp you'll be seeing a lot more sets like this as, uh, okay. as the, the rounds go on. Yeah, there a lot of the late sets are so Yeah, trolly. like if you see something well, like a lot if of the you quick see Umbreon or Blissey. Uh, <laughs> oh sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. You're good. But if you see some like really tanky, like, oh yeah, there's probably like some Cresselia sets later. If there is Cress in this. Just so like oh, toxic stall everything. Time. Is everyone ready for the banger? Can we get some oh, dancing yeah, modes in right. chat when it's time? Venusaur, oh yeah. <laughs> you know the vibes. Oh, you, you know, know what you're vibes. using, turn one. <laughs> Arcanine. <laughs> we have another mission for you. Oh, look, how, look how cool Thornton is. Whoa. Whoa. Sweep. Your opponents just see like the uh, Hisuian yeah. Arcanine boss from uh, PLA like charging at them. Um, that's that's what your Arcanine's doing. Yeah. yeah, do you guys remember the in second grade that the kid who was best at Yu-Gi-Oh and would play with his friends on the floor during lunchtime? This is him now. That was me. Dude. <laughs> I look like Thorn, actually, yeah. Thanks. He, his, his battle sprite does look kind of weird, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Very, like, squished kind of looking. Yeah. But... His portrait's sick. Uh, that, that did a lot of damage. Lapras. the best. What move are you going to click here? What? What move are you going to click here? Um, that's a good... Yeah! Woo! It's gonna be kind of awkward. Oh, crit? I think I crit. Oh, yeah. No, wow, that's no, just low defense. Sad. That's interesting, then, because that other Lapras too. must have been like. I don't know. That's weird. It might have been different, Scrub. Maybe, but this is also a physical attacker, it seems. I don't know. I can check. Either way, though. Oh, it's Shell Bell. Oh, leftovers. Yeah, some of the uh, some of Lapras have different spreads. Or EVs. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Like one has HP, the other one has defense and special defense, the other yeah. one is just yeah. HP. Outspeeds, but does curse, so I do outspeed next turn and pick up the KO. Very thankful. Nice. Swampert yeah. is uh, no. not shipped. Okay, one more to go. What could it be? Flareon. All right, that should that should be curtains. That should be curtains. Flareon. 
Not nice. boasting the best hey, physical go. fire type uh, arsenal in this generation, sadly. Dude, silver print, first try on GD. What can I say? What can I say? Kind of the goat. You know, man, we worked as a team, you and I. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's much harder after this. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get really bad. All right, GG. Oh. <laughs> um, we'll probably go to a quick break here then. Um, oh, yeah? Okay. As you wrap this one up. For then, sure, for uh, sure. We'll just finish up the rest of it and hopefully finish it and actually yeah. get the gold we'll ring, because that'd be super hype. Let's we'll see. Um, so we're going to go to another break chat. As mentioned earlier, I'm like... Uh, AGDQ, it's on a marathon thing, so we'd like to take breaks, give everyone a chance to stretch, get some more, do what you gotta do, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll get back to more of this now all now gold <clears throat> print speedrun. Uh, yeah. We'll see if Sparkle can bring it home and do it um, in just a little bit. All see right. you. Pause now. Thank you. Hello and welcome back everybody to the GDQ Hotfix. We're in the middle of this Battle Factory gold print speedrun attempt by Sparkle, the one and only at Sparkle, twitch.tv slash Sparkle. Go drop him a follow if you haven't already. Before we get back into the run, I want to do one quick announcement. Um, unapologetically Black and Fast will be live on February 16th through the 19th here on twitch.tv slash games on quick. Uh, come celebrate by watching a four day event full of speedruns of Black Joy. Use exclamation point UBAF in Twitch chat for more info and Sparkle. How you feeling? You ready? I'm pumped, man. This is this is this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, we're gonna resume the speed run. Yeah, whenever count count us down. Let's All right, go. let's go. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. All right. So that we just right, uh, so now things are gonna get scary. Yeah. <laughs> the past the past three sets are just kind of like setting up how insane sets four and on are. And by the way, we do have to win not just three, we have to win four more sets of seven battles each. So we don't actually get our gold print until 49 battles have yeah. passed. So it's even, it gets it gets really crazy. And uh, I don't know how much information we're even gonna get from the lady here. Have the move payback? Yeah, we don't get anything anymore, pretty much. <laughs> it's it's, it's Again, I, I can like figure it out. I can reverse engineer yeah. the options, but it's not going to be decisive. Like, All right, Espeon again is good. good. Electivire, honestly pretty decent. Glalie. Pay attention to the items this time, by the way. Rivalry Needle King. With Muscle Band. Oof. Choice Specs Jinx, but I feel like I like Espeon more. Yeah, we're, la sure. we're lacking a tanky attacker in this in this build. I like the virus tanky, right? No, he's not. No. <laughs> he's really bad. He's not he's no Swamper. Berry. What do I do? I kind of want to lead. PZ is a good lead. It hits everything neutrally. And download is really yeah, strong. Yeah, pretty fast. Let's leave PZ, and then we'll have Espeon, and I guess we'll take Electivire. I mean, like, I like Nido King's what moveset. What does the Nido King have again? It's just rivalry is so bad. It's not Poison Point, it's rivalry. Yeah. And Electivire has that. And it has anyway. Earthquake, so, like. Yeah, it's if we, we could just get swept here. Our team is lacking, uh, yeah. lacking bulk. <laughs> so we really need to get something that's good. Off this first trainer, the first uh, the first mon knows payback, so that could be like yeah, almost anything. Could be Espeon, could be Machamp, could, could be, be Muck, could be Rampardos, oh, it's Umbreon. Oh, that's not good. Um, I don't have any fighting moves, I get the attack boost, which is not what I want. I'm just gonna- yeah, It has I'm Bright Powder, try. Trump Card, Curse, Moonlight. Okay, Curse, Moonlight, It's not good. If I can get a burn, that'd be sick. I could crit as well. Moonlight PP. Okay, they okay. threw, they threw. Perfect. We're good. That's a relief. Yeah, Moonlight there would have. That's a huge problem, relief, but... yeah. Right. Moonlight is just instant heal, right? In this game? Yeah. Yeah. Rayloom, I definitely outspeed that. I just, I just hit And you hit the Bright Powder every time, by the way. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize that. It's <laughs> so epic. Yeah, for those that don't know, Bright Powder uh, just reduces your accuracy and all your moves. If, uh, the raw if one shot. It. Ooh. No adaptability. I mean, it has like 380 special attacks, so I, guess yeah. I shouldn't be too surprised. And Braylon pretty frail. <laughs> All right, we should have this first battle in the bag, but I'm still. I and don't. You were worried. I'm not very. I'm still not very uh, confident in my current team because this team does not look good either. The Umbreon uh, is like see... the Umbreon's tanky, but it's so slow. Earthstring has Quick Claw, Return, Cross Shop, Earthquake, Aerial. I just saw that. Yeah. Um, 
Return Aerial Ace Chrono. Oh, that's so... Oh my god, that can be good. It's just the problem is I'd rather have Electivire because it's faster. Oh, this... The 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 we, the earlier set version is way better because it has toxic orb facade superpower crunch protect. Yeah, that's sick. That's sick. With it, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that like one technically higher set, but not here. better. I mean, like we didn't see the Breloom. It could have. It, no, it definitely didn't have mock punch. I, I can. I, I can. No, yeah. It definitely didn't have mock punch because it would have used it. So I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, none of them have mock punch. So hopefully, uh... oh, it might have had spore though. That's definitely. Which is pretty that's broken, definitely a regret so. of mine, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it probably had Spore, yeah. Because you're fine. round four now, yeah. Onchkrow, hopefully we get the special attack boost. We do have T-Bolt, though, so we can just dump on this thing. Oh, wait, this thing's so dead. You're so dead, bucko. Yeah, we're just seeing a lot of, like, yeah, high uh... HP, uh, but, phys like, defensively frail attackers, which I don't want to. I want to see something like Swampert. It's just the problem with seeing something like Swampert is that it could just sweep us, so I'm just <laughs> afraid. Okay, Drift Blim. Hit points moment. Okay, another set of Mons I don't really care for, so I guess I'm just skipping this too. Unless Cradilly is like some offensive set, but I highly doubt that. Mm -hmm. Nah, I can check. Seed Bomb? Okay. Oh, that's, not so bad. that's offensive. Leftovers, Seed Bomb. Oh, is that? Oh, this thing is Mirror Coat. That's fine. I don't really care if this PZ bites the dust. You might want to take it though. It seems pretty good. Yeah. Uh, leftovers, Stone Edge, Seed Bomb, Earthquake, Mirror Coat. Earthquake? Yeah, this thing's pretty solid. Yeah. Rock grass is pretty, pretty good. Doesn't really get hit super effectively by much. <laughs> I guess I take it over Electivire? That seems like the case. Because we already have our... You need a special attacker, bro. Oh, no, you have... You have Espeon and PC, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I, yeah, I definitely prefer this Cradily. Hyper Voice? Okay, probably x Cloud or something. That's fine. I'm sorry, Electivire, but you're just, you're not it. Uh, could be Politoed, technically. But yeah, it's x or, or Politoed. Okay, so I have T-Bolt for Almost certainly x so. I definitely just want to see something that I can get the download boost off of, because that, as you saw in that fight, it just carried. Oh, yeah. Download is so Yeah, download good. is like, when it works, it's it's broken, but like, having the consistency, did, did you the explain consistency and adaptability. Oh, yeah, so download, the way it works is um on. So you'll see, what does Porygon Z get a boost of here? So it got a special attack boost, so that means that this x Cloud has lower special defense than it has defense. So basically, it's just, it, it preys on whatever the lower defense stat is of the Pokemon that you're sending it out against. So in this case, it's really good, because I just sweep. That's why I like leading Porygon Z. And then, oh, for Alligator? Nice, I like that. I'm I'll probably, I'll probably I remember, I'm already on it. for sure. Yeah, this one should have Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Fang, Dragon Dance. Oh, so. yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's a pretty easy take yeah. over uh, Cradle, yeah. so... You didn't get to use Cradle, yeah, that's it. Oh, well. This technically might be the Hydro Cannon one, because you didn't see it, but it should... It, I'm pretty sure... It, uh, round four... I don't know. You'll find out. <laughs> I Okay, man. It's still worth gambling uh, for. Do I not I just take this Metagross? That's Meteor mashing me? I probably want uh, this Quick guy. Claw. Quick Claw, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, Earthquake Explosion. I just naturally lived on 1 HP. This thing has Quick Claw Explosion? <laughs> I'm taking yeah. it. Over the... All right. Well, you 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 planted the seed of <laughs> doubt into my mind that the, it could be Hydro Cannon for Alligator again. It shouldn't be though. You, yeah, but that you—that's not. It, it couldn't be. You're saying it shouldn't be. I, I I don't. What I see in front of me is a Metagross. Yeah, it it, sh it with, should be. It should be. Dude. It should be the good one. It just depends. Whatever one do you think Flame is better? Thrower. Okay, well now I have to take the for Alligator. Okay. Yeah. No matter what. I swear to God, bro. It'd be pretty funny if it had if Hydro you Cannon. You ruined my career. <laughs> I'm cutting off all ties. <laughs> That's 
That's a mon monkey. Okay, well, he just kind of dumpsters me. Okay. All right, Matthew was right. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to... I don't want to get... I think he, yeah, you attack. You okay, go. wow, that's okay. a giga throw. Although this is a special Infernape, so it, it probably doesn't have close combat. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Solar Beam. Okay. So. And Bright Powder. And Bright Powder. Well, not anymore. And we did yet again get these special attack boosts, so we're cruising. This might just this might just one tap. It'll be close. Guys, watch out! It's flesh hands. Everybody <laughs> run! He did oh, iron hands. Okay. Nice try, bud. Shot, thanks to download. Get owned. Oh my god. Easy is the one. <laughs> this is my guy. Uh, I believe this Porygon has it was it's not expert belt, is it? No. I'm checking. It hasn't pro expert belt, yeah. Oh it is expert belt, yeah, okay. Yeah. Psychic? Okay, so I'm probably gonna get I'm probably not gonna get a special attack boost this time, but that's okay. It could be Metagross technically. Mm-hmm. But that's like the only psychic type I can think of that has lower spadef. Oh, and Slowbro. Wow. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Thunderbolt. Actually perfect, yeah. <laughs> You're, oh my, you're getting the, the this luckiest crazy, leads, man. dude. This is crazy. <laughs> you don't even need the other Pokemon, dude. This yeah, thing's just no. going to carry you. Like, this dude lived on 1 HP naturally against Metagross Meteor Mesh. Like, I don't, I don't know what else Absurd. there is to say. Yeah. Absol? That's trash. Absol. Why is there an Absol at round 4 of the Battle Factory? That's embarrassing. I do like Absol, for what it's worth. I'm not a hater. I'm just a realist. Sure, man. What? <laughs> you, you've beaten a lot of Flareons already. Yeah. Today. <laughs> Mud slap. We're reaching the bottom of the Yay, barrel. Yay, accuracy drop. We're reaching the bottom of the barrel for Flareon viability. What is this? <laughs> this is so unserious. Dude. Oh, what my What is gosh. this guy doing? Just making you lose time. This is a speed run. True. <laughs> Alright, we just keep going. I'm not changing this team. We're cruising. Battle number six already? You're almost at the end no, of the round. Yeah, you've been breathing. Okay, so. Drapion, uh. No matter or... what, I mean, there's some bug types. Like, if it's Heracross, then I won't get the boost, but Scizor, Pinsir. Could be Absol. Could be, like... Could be Armaldo. Yeah, Armaldo? Might, this might or. be scary, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, Pinsir's the Pinsir. least scariest. That is, <laughs> uh, that is if I outspeed. I might not outspeed, but I probably do. Yeah, okay. Easy. Let's have Guillotine, so that's fun. Hee-hee. <laughs> that's very tee-hee. And goodbye. At it again, Venusaur coming back from the dead a third time after the Arcanine Flare Blitz incident. <laughs> Get that nice two shot. Paralyzed. Cur Curse Venusaur? Dude. Oh my god. Ew. They're giving them the worst sets. Yeah. Meanwhile, me, I'm built different. Mm hmm. Glaceon. I'm sorry, Glaceon. But you are just... It's just not not the wave. Wait, which evolutions have we not seen yet? I guess Vaporeon, Vaporeon and Leafeon? And Leafeon, yeah. Sash Glaceon? <coughs> the 
clap back? Nope. <laughs> I have not used my other Pokemon once yet. It's only been it's only been Feezy. All right, battle number seven. Stone Edge. All right. Hmm. That could be dangerous, but we have for Alligator, and we're probably gonna get the special attack boost. And it could it could be like a fighting type or a fire. Dude, you should have been training this whole time because you don't even need the extra Pokemon. I mean, you say that in hindsight, but you know that would have rigged the RNG. <laughs> oh my god. No way. Um, I'm so nervous. It's him. All right. This might two shot. Hopefully, this plus waterfall from Fur Alligator takes it. What's up with this even be like? Hammer arms, Stone Edge, nice crit. I'm not dead to this. That was a really clutch crit, actually. Wow. Reggie Rock is so tanky. <laughs> Last toys. That's a okay. This thing is too good. That's what I'm saying. Uh, this might live. It has low HP though. Wait. Oh my god. I have Shadow Ball. I'm trolling. Dude. I, I haven't used Shadow Ball at all. I forgot I even had it. This still this still kills because no. I was gonna say. No, it's okay. It's okay. We live this. We live this. Dude. The Porygon Z solo for the entirety <laughs> of set four. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that was the fastest set I've ever seen. Goodness. That is insane. All right. Well, that takes care of that. All right. Set On five. to round five. AI is going to be even better now. Yep. Pokemon are going to be scarier now. So let me see. What do you get for round five? Um, you will now start to see uh, set five Pokemon. So... That is the highest set. Yeah, the last trainer did have higher set Pokemon because that's how the seventh battle usually works. So that's why they got the Reggie Rock, which is from set yeah. five. So I could I could see the Reggies. I could see Latios, Latias. I could see like the legendary birds from Kanto. I'm pretty sure it's it's yeah. It's and gonna again, get, um, it's gonna get far out. Let's see. Four of the Pokemon will have 16 IVs, and two of them will have 20. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> Good with Grass type. Okay, that's actually pretty useful information. Grass is not that scary. Legendary Porygon 2. Oh, that's not the same as Porygon Z. Suicune. Okay. This Kangaskhan is decent. Scrappy. Decent Sceptile. Fortress? That's yeah. too slow. Good uh, Suicune. Good Suicune. Why is it a focus? Who do I lead with? Maybe... They're all pretty slow, honestly, except yeah, for Sceptile, Kangaskhan right? is, like, okay as a lead. Sceptile. Sceptile's okay. It's very fast. Yeah, it's the scope lens leaf plate. I like that. Maybe yeah. I lead this guy. They do have grass types, which is scary, so I probably don't want to take Whisk Cash. I'll lead I'll lead Sceptile. Sceptile. Kangaskhan and oh, not you. And uh Switch. <laughs> oh, these are all worse than pouring yeah, on. Yeah, I really, <laughs> I really want a better lead than Sceptile. And I need a better, like bulky physical attacker than Kangaskhan. I like Suicune, but the problem is this guy's going to have grass types, so... Yeah. But I do have I do have the mirror coat as a failsafe, the Focus Dash mirror coat. True, true. Okay. If this thing is Aerial Ace, that's bad. But I can't really do much against that, besides X Scissor. Scope Lens crit? Could be real. Mm -hmm. That did nothing. Oh my god. Uh, okay. That's definitely a start. That's fine. That's fine. All good. I forgot this thing also got X. Oh, no. Okay. No, I, I, was, I was 100% gone. <laughs> All right. Kanga can do this. Yeah. I think I might just have to click Giga Impact. I'm not even kidding. I think so. You want, well, let, me, let me see what else Leafion has in its build. It's going to have Leaf Blade for sure. I'm going to click Giga Impact. Oh, it outspeeds me too? Yeah, I, I had to have clicked it. Can I have this thing over? Nope, no, it's quick claw. It's quick claw. Oh, okay. So. No. That's really bad. 
Don't crit me, man. Okay. Okay. The problem is Hopefully, now it's like, uh, Suicune, Suicune can has carry to get the rest. Grass tire. Please be like Golem or something. Okay. This is That's a, pretty this good. can work. Miss Head Smash or something? Okay, Aerial Ace, you're not that strong. All right, Suicune, it's up to you. All right, chat, this could be the end of the run. Icy Wind and not Ice Beam. All right. Surf time. Bro? That's fine. That's like probably That's like fine. A fourth or third of my health. Oh my god, is it Choice uh, Band? That was a crazy amount of damage. I can check. Whatever grass type this is, what could it be to, so I don't It's lose? Choice Band, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want this then. But I'm not okay. gonna get it. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, Stone Edge, what Aerialist, Earthquake, Dragon Claw. No, I didn't. That was the worst thing I could see, man. No, dude. You gotta Icy Wind it. I got an Icy Wind, and that's like Miss Leaf Storm or something. Wait, uh. Yeah, it's over. Shoot. No chance, dude. That's so sad. I don't think it mattered. Yeah. Yo. Dang. Yeah, that's just that's just what happens. If you get a bad draw on your uh, on your Pokemon selection, then that's just how it goes. Yeah, literally. That's how it goes. Just didn't get good options. Sometimes you get the Porygon Z, and sometimes yeah. honestly, uh, that maybe happens, could have so. taken the Porygon Two. Porygon Two is like pretty safe, just so it can like do damage. It was like specially invested, so that I might have, I might should have taken that instead. But it is yeah. what it is. I was, I was, yeah, I, I was tunnel vision on using types, the, but... I was tunnel vision on using the bulky water legendary, and, I, and a lot, that's what lost me the other run. But that's how it is. Yeah. Well. It goes uh, gold print material or uh, potential, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, we can do another silver print run if we have time. Uh, yeah, we can we can try one more. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Let's get, let's let's do level fifty this time because it's faster. We can see more Pokemon that we haven't seen before. Oh sure, yeah. It'll be fun. It will be faster and yeah. funnier. So we're gonna try one more attempt, chat. Um, but we're gonna stop it at Silver Print probably regardless. Yeah. So Shellos, Shanks, and Piplup. This is quite the downgrade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Toka Tag. Ooh. No spin dot? No way. Um Wow, this is terrible. Okay, Nuzleaf beats Shellos. Wait, Shellos isn't, it's pure water, right? Thundershock? Okay, Spinda's pretty good. Nuzleaf, let's leave Spinda. And then we can have Nuzleaf. What was the target to? Air Cutter Magical Leaf. Those are very high stats. Uh, dude, Thundershock is embarrassing. How could you, that's just not right, Pikachu. I'm used to um, Gen 3 Battle Factory, where you would be seeing stuff like Wartortle and Graveler and like Hitmon Ch Hitmonchan and stuff. So I didn't know it was this bad in Gen 4. I didn't know level 50 yeah. was, <laughs> was the littlest of guys imaginable. But I guess, yeah. So the thing about level 50 is that while the HP bars do scroll a lot faster, the turns last, there's gonna be more turns overall because the power level is way lower. But that's okay. If we can make it to round two, we'll probably start seeing a lot, a lot better mods. Remember, you gotta keep trading, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yep, yep, the category one. is Battle Factory level 50 silver print. Um, so this is technically a fresh speedrun timer, but we'll have the overall timer mm -hmm. still, because part of the overall showcase, so it's fine. Dude, but spin does kind of crazy. If you want to see how fast other people have done it, it's on speedrun.com. If you look up Pokemon Heart Gold um, category extensions, you'll see it there. All the variations. Uh, people have also done categories, or have, done, have done runs of the other battle uh, frontier facilities as well. And if you want to do manipped speed runs, people have done like all gold prints um, or like manipped runs of the other facilities as well. Um, I feel like Spinda and Nuzleaf should carry, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna take Shinx because Shinx is cool. Any Shinx enjoyers in chat? Me 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 me. Skull, I mean, same fine. strategy here. Trading every round to get better Pokemon sooner. Uh, 
Oh, no Piplo. So sad. Sorry, sir. And if you're if you're sad about how that last run ended, um, you can make everybody feel better by dropping a follow to twitch.tv slash sparkle. Again, if you're watching live on Twitch, you can hover over his name on the Twitch title and click the little heart. And then you're now following him. Bam, boom, easy. As shrimple as that. Dizzy punch. Dude, spin is crazy. This this thing has Dude. to be god tier, right? Same type attack, dizzy punch. Drain punch too. Drain, Drain yeah, punch it has is so is dark fighting normal coverage. And it has like higher stats than everything. Like, this thing's actually the GOAT. Does this save file have the uh, other OST unlocked? The GB sounds? Uh, I don't yeah. know. Dang, I was gonna say you should switch it. Well, it's too late now. We can after the round. True. Do you know how to? It's a key item, it's easy. Oh, do you just have it? You just either have it or you don't. Yeah, well, the key item it. itself is like in Pewter City, I think. Or no, it's in Celadon City. No, and like a random, a, a random oh, no, NPC. You should have it. No. Like, it, it, you pick it up, though, right? No, it's a key item you get from an NPC in Celadon City in Kanto, and then you okay. and then, and you can toggle it on and off. From your bag? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So see if you have it then. Yeah. Okay. I will. You can have some fun with that. For those who don't know, in HeartGold Soul Silver, you can uh, change the sounds to be like gold, silver, crystal, so. Yeah. And it, it does show through here, so it's pretty fun. Cast form? Oh, nah, not cast form. <laughs> uh, Lava Charge is pretty good. That's that rock slide. Sounds good. Like in the in the format where I'm seeing Pikachu's main stab option be Thundershock, I Rock Slide is a breath of fresh air. <laughs> so I'll take that for sure. He's so happy. Honestly, cast form is pretty pretty good too. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I might take that. Okay, no weather ball there. Would have been actually might have one shot me. Because weather ball is fifty power, but then it shoots up to a hundred if it's actually in a weather, and then you know the sun boosts fire moves by fifty percent, so it actually becomes hundred and fifty power. Before stab, yeah, geez. it's it goes, yeah. It's very threatening. Oh my God, it's Reggie Ice. That was a callback reference, man. It's it's Reggie Nose, dude. Yes. You know, I'm probably just Linguini this thing, like like faint attack times two from here probably does it. Sandstorm. So much faster because well it's not faster in the sense of turns taken but the hp goes so much faster yeah the hp is so much faster <laughs> like we're already what at round battle four it's not so bad we're zooming aaron okay we have drain punch for that so we're cooking Maybe Larvitar is better than Nuzleaf, but it doesn't really matter that much. To cast form. Yeah, get the get those power trades, option. Yeah. Like if that cast form set is literally weather ball, sunny day, hail, and rain dance, I'm I'm tight with that. That's pretty <laughs> sick. Yeah, I don't have the level 50 sets pulled up, but you can just check in your summary if you want. This probably won't one shot. Yeah, that runs very tanky. Yeah, like I said. Oh my God. Too strong. Ouch. Need a 
Arena. This is a double kick that could be problematic. Might have it. Yeah, typically, like, you wouldn't use healing attacks in a speedrun, but in this case, like, it it's super effective coverage for one thing, and then healing in between um, in between Pokemon is also really good. It literally is the set I was talking about. Okay. Uh, let's do water. That's so funny. That's such a good set. Yeah, this is so tight. <laughs> Make it rain. Oh no, I got a bad read. Oh wait, I, I literally knew that it was Pachirisu. I'm just silly. <laughs> Two shot, maybe? I just know Pachirisu just has unnaturally high special defense. This thing, okay, the Yo, random the person, person berry, berry is so clutch. That's so random, but uh, very much appreciated. <laughs> Cricketoon Bulbasaur? I love Bulbasaur. Uh, Nidorina is pretty solid. Uber Manford. That was, a, that was an incredible. How do you? Name. How could you name your child Manford? You can't say that because you don't know if there's a Manford watching. <laughs> All my Manfords out there, yo, yo. <laughs> this one's for this you. One's this for one's you. for you. I have a silk scarf too. I didn't even know that. Rock Smash goes crazy. Yo! Dude. Uh, so for, for the, the goal for this run is to get the silver print by defeating uh, Thornton at battle 21 on a street on a win streak. Uh, Sparkle has already gotten the silver print right before this uh, on a previous attempt, but lost the run right after, so we're doing another attempt on the level 50 version of uh, Battle Factory now. So. We'll see if we can do it again, two in one go. I'm so sorry, Bulbasaur, but it must be this way. He looks so sneaky. So sad. Yeah, he's a uh, like when a cat's about to pounce. Yeah, on his exactly. Boy. Is that six? Yeah, six. Oh, that this one's six. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, uh. Cricket tune. How are you feeling about level 50 over open level so far? Um, it's definitely, it's kind of, I mean, round one is funny. <laughs> this is pretty funny. I like this. Delcaddy's a... Take out is... like a step up. Yeah. I mean, Delcaddy is about the same stats as Spinda. It's not that great. But, you know, relatively speaking, although I don't know about this moveset. Fake out Foresight? I don't know what that's all about. I like it's not bad. Really uh, fast. I'll take the title, the category on the Karate Chop? Okay, I like this guy. I'm taking him. This might one shot though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, maybe some people out there have been waiting their entire lives for Spinda to be viable. And this Today is, your is moment. that day. Yeah. yeah, this is the moment. Also, this Parasect is definitely quick claw.
Yeah, you uh, you don't have my my insight on the sets anymore for this. I'm gonna sea try King, to find them. Mammo Wait, Sea King, Piloswine, and what, dude? They're okay. They're evolutions. That's for sure. Oh my <laughs> god, this is gonna be Sea King. You gotta take Parasect, right? And it was like a it was a grass knot. It's so bad. I'm taking Elekid. All right. I'm I'm betting that this thing has Thunder Punch. It has to have Thunder Punch. Yeah, we might just get exploded by this lady. I think I do have the sets, so I can pull stuff up. Cause like the the power creep is like these are literal like actual evolutions now. It's not the best look. Special? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, side beam's nothing, so. But this is like <laughs> not even this is not gonna two shot, is it? No, it's too tanky. Rain dance? Okay, that activates swift swim, and if it has like Water Pulse probably kills me. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're fine. Cool. No confusion either. Yep. Hilo Swine, that's okay. Honestly, you know what? Drain Punch, hopefully we can survive a hit with some recovery. That'd be pretty clutch to heal up a little bit. Doesn't no, do that much that damage nothing. though. Uh-oh. Missed. Okay, good. Okay. Might as well heal up. Maybe Dizzy Punch finishes here? No, it's around the same power as Drain Punch with the Silk Scarf. Ale? Okay. I'm just gonna keep doing this. <gasps> uh -oh. Snow Cloak. <laughs> or is it Bright Powder? I don't know. Does Pilot Swine get Snow Cloak? I feel like it... Yeah, yeah, it does. It does? Okay, yeah. I was unsure. Right? I don't know, actually. No, you're gonna make me check. Please. I feel uh, like it's, like, uh... Oblivious and, like... I don't know what the second one is. It does, yeah. Okay. A boy with snow clip. Uh-huh. And thick fat hidden ability. Bye. Okay. All right. Did he have Thunder Punch? He did. See, I told you. You gotta believe. Pretty good. Oof. Well. All right. Round one. Okay, so now we're gonna see Pokemon on the tier of what we just fought in the next set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it should be a little more real now. Also, yeah. change your music. True. If I have it. If you have it. Do you know what it's called? GB Sounds. Okay. It's literally just called that? Yes. <laughs> That's right, Sandy Beach underscore IRL. That's exactly what I mean. GB sounds. Doesn't have. No, <laughs> that's so sad. I'm sorry. It is what it is. All right, two more rounds, chat. Uh, end of the second round from here will be the final boss battle for the yep. evening. As and if Sparkle doesn't make it there, then we're done for the day. So. <laughs> yep. But Sparkle will get good rolls here, so I have faith. Marsh Tomp and Sharpedo. Okay. I don't like Sharpedo. That guy's uh that guy's not friendly. Acturn. Okay. Alright, these are real cool. Uh, these are Nightmare seems real. okay. Antine's okay. Hitmontop, Technician Mock Punch is okay. Angela. Oh my god, this Mistrevis is so good. That looks I'm pretty good. I'm using, I'm using her. I'm using her. Oh my god. She's so good. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Fluttermane. Him on top. I mean, like, Technician Mock Punch is just. It's useful. Mantine's yeah. good. Mantine's good. You know what? Mystic Water Bubble Beam is. That's really good. Like, Except that's, like, the only good move on that. <laughs> I mean, what? It's water. I mean, what else can you say? It's yeah. a water type. Wait, this is max special attack, max speed, Mistrevis. She's going yes. to kill us. This is a lead for sure. You stand no chance, Marsh Tom. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> um. It's fine, it's fine. Uh, oh my god. Oh, okay. Damage roll, damage roll. I don't think so, champ. It's over. 
Great start. All right. Good job, Flutterman. It's fine. Uh, I don't have... Okay, what's Wing attack, Torpedo? Mantine. Oh, my God. I should have gotten the Hitmontop for Torpedo. I'm actually so silly for that. <laughs> it's okay. It could be a special attacker. You could still be that's, that's, that's not happening, buddy. Tops. Okay, random AI will carry here, don't worry. True. See, there we go. Harden? Yeah. Okay, Aqua Jet Kabutops? I think I want that guy. Sounds good. I think I might want that guy. Unless the Sharpedo has something better to offer. I literally... Is Wing Attack stronger here? I don't know. Actually, you know what? It probably is. It has uh, Aqua Jet Rock to Metal Sound Harden. It's not great. But that's like, it's still good for yeah, like level 50. Speaking. Yeah, like that's that's pretty normal. I could still just lose, by the way. Yep. Okay. Oh. The same power. No speed drop. Water pulse. All right, Magmar, it's up to you. Magmar. He might outspeed this. I don't All right, so, Ma Super Magmar. Mock Punch! Oh, <laughs> Mock Punch! What? <laughs> Why do you have that? <laughs> I had no idea this thing got mock punch until right now. <laughs> That's so my you, goat. You, you, were, you were fine the whole time. You were chill. That's my goat. <laughs> Save Lion Haunter. That's good for Missy, kind of. Uh, What did I want to take? Kabu Tops? Yeah. All right. We gotta keep Mock Punch Mario. Like, that's, that's just, he's him. Water Pulse Bite is so good, though. No, I, I like Cover Tops. I just want spam priority. It's so cheap. And hopefully, it'll probably be Lead Sableye, because that's what the lady mentioned first. But Missy can 1v1 that if it's not like Payback or something. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully we outspeed the Haunter. I'm not sure about that, though. We have backups, though. We surely two shot this. Sableye has pretty low stats. Okay, they're trolling. We're good. Yeah. Nice shade. Okay, we're fine. Uh, the. I'd like if this last Mon was something good. Venonat? What? What are you doing in set two, brother? Excuse me, sister. Brothers and sisters alike. Psybeam? Yo, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> but I, I have Psychic. Yeah, you're fine. I'm just, I'm just mashing brainlessly. You're trying to speedrun. Yeah, exactly. That's where it all went wrong. Um, Hitmontran and Vigoroth? Okay, that should be a Flutter Main special. You need rid of Kabutops? I like, it's Super Mario. I gotta keep him. He's the main character now. <laughs> uh, these are so bad, bro. I guess yeah, Haunter is fast. Haunter, yeah. Yeah. Tragic. No, I'm, not, I'm not very confident in Nightshade. It's gonna be real. There's nothing you could possibly have. This thing could have like payback, but like it's it's round two, level fifty. He won't have coverage like that. There's just no way. Yeah. And Vigoroth could have like Shadow Claw, but <clears throat> it's okay. We should still have speed. Yeah. Okay, it's just a counter set. I'll probably take Hitmonchan. It much seems good. Yeah. Should have like all the punches probably. It's a counter set, so. Oh. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know. Grovile is good too. Magical Leaf Grovile. This is like decent, yeah. And has like a real, a real quote unquote grass move. 
and detect. That's pretty. That's pretty tight. And, and mud slap. Mud okay. slap. The jury's out. <laughs> I'll probably take a Munchin. Yeah, sounds good. Fully grown Pokemon, you know. Those are always nice to have. Mm -hmm. Solrock and Kadabra? Okay, that's just free food. Run girly. Nemesis Harris. <laughs> I'm sure of us eating now. That's right. She's been cooking. <laughs> Huntail. I think Huntail's good. Guy. Isn't Huntail good? Huntail is like pretty high stats, yeah, relatively. You gonna crunch me? Rain dance? Okay, Swift Swim's coming out. And I'm still faster, so. What move did it use? Rain dance. They're usually Swift uh, Swim, but I guess this one's not. Yeah, it's Water Pulse, Mystic Water, for the item, uh, Bite, Screech, Rain Dance. Ability? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. I don't, I don't think, abilities, I don't think are fixed. I think they're random, aren't they? Yeah. Are they? Pretty sure. Oh, that's troubling. I guess we'll take Huntail over Magmar. <laughs> Not the mock punch magmar. <laughs> he had his one his one turn in the spotlight, and then that was it. He peaked. He peaked very early on. Cadaver didn't have anything good. I didn't see. Uh, I think it just had confusion. Oh, yeah, it's not. I would take side beam. There, but there is a version that is psychic shadow ball shockwave reflect. Um, but in you might not sense? have that one unlocked yet. So. Yeah, no, it surely it's like level three or something. Do it. Okay, thank you. Did a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Aust. I guess, I mean, this mis this mischievous is like max speed invested, and I guess maybe the hunt tail is like HP and special attack or something. I don't know. I'm actually very curious. I'll probably check. Yeah, yeah, do you want to re-explain this category for people who are coming in late? Oh, yeah, so the category I'm doing right now is uh, Battle Factory Silver Print, which is just um, Battle Factory to get to 21 wins as soon as possible, using any means necessary. Uh, and we can, ex well, we can not really exploit, but we can like use the features of the Battle Factory, uh, that being switching our Pokemon with uh, enemy teams we face to uh, guarantee that future Pokemon in, uh, that we get are stronger. We'll be using, we'll be doing that a lot. Like right here, I want, I'll probably swap, um, maybe Hitmonchan for the, let me actually check what this is. Oh, this thing's good as hell, all right. Um, yeah, it's Swift Swim, and, but still slower. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> all right. Um, that's tough. But I like that, I like the Hunt Tails, so I'll just take, I'll take the Hitmontog. It has Technician. And it's bulkier yeah. than Hitmonchan, so it's fine. Uh, but yeah, again, this is a great category if you just want to try doing some uh, Pokemon thing with the timer, basically. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's very if like if you know how accessible. battles work, if you know competitive Pokemon or like how the AI likes to work in Pokemon games, this is this is perfect. Yeah, even even it's if you're not fun. speed running, it's just a fun challenge to do. Definitely recommend trying it out. You can just do it on any Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Platinum file that has Battle Frontier unlocked. No other requirements. All right, Huntail. Special giraffe. Oh, I'm getting okay. two shot by Swift. How could you do oh. this? Oh, we get the bite off. It's okay. They're throwing. Muck punch should finish that. Pataya berry. That's real. The baton oh. pass. The special okay. attacking Mightyena. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Could it get any worse? How? Ooh, a confusion. Nope. I should still live. Yeah. Poison Fang is pathetic. Also, Chad is saying the hit on top was Intimidate. Not Technician. Oh. So that does solidify that it's random then. Because the one I picked, <laughs> yeah, it's the same moveset, yeah. but it's a random. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Then. Okay. I, but, listen, there's a, th a thousand cogs turning in my head right now. And one of those you know was what? a little that's stuck. Fair. All right. Mm hmm. This thing's a goat. This is, this is your Porygon Z. Yeah, for real. Nice try. No more Mighty Enna for you to rely on. That giraffe could have just swept me too. That's the best part. Battle number seven. Omastar and Venomoth? Ooh, okay. Um, Hitmontop's good against Omastar. Mistrevis is good against... I think Giraffe is still the best thing I can take. But it's like an Agility Baton Pass set with Bataya Berry. It's gotta have Side Beam, right? I mean, it's not like... Surely, better, right? So. Oh, I can check this. Wait, would you want to check it? Uh... What? Oh, it's too late now. I was gonna say I can just check. Oh, doesn't. I have the sets. <laughs> Going in raw, Gordon Ramsay style. Uh huh. Almost star. Maybe I two shot. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh maybe not. <laughs> I mean, could be a damage range. Physical almost star. I just lift this then. Uh, that, okay. See, that was a crit. Yeah, I was like, what? Please get the damage range. Whew. Nice. Yeah, you're in Torrent, so I mean, it makes sense. True. Fraudaunt. Ooh. Uh, that's a little Aggressive. scarier. Let's get some chip. Very good chip. Ow. Um. Okay. How am I dealing with this? I have him on top. It's fine. But no technician, so I don't. I don't know if this mock punch <laughs> is gonna get it. I don't know if this mock punch is gonna intimidate. We'll save you. It's all good. True. Oh my god. No. Oh, okay. Yikes. All right. Nice. Only problem is the last mon is Venomoth, and I don't really do damage to that. Um, I'm trying to like. What could this be? Like, there's no way this is like a setup set, right? Hang on. I'm just gonna. Silverwind, Psybeam, Sleep Powder, Attract. No, no, this is a different one. This is a different one. Uh, this one is Silver Powder, Sludge Bomb, Bug Buzz, Psychic, Supersonic. Okay. And it's Tinted Lens, so I'm just dead. Um, Yeah, I might just lose. <laughs> I thought it'd be a lot weaker than this. This might just be it, chat room. Uh -oh. We have the Psybeam, but I'm not sure if it's going to kill. Yeah, it's going to bug buzz race car? It has race Silver car? Powder, Bug, bug Buzz. <laughs> okay. You gotta clutch it right now. You gotta clutch it right now. We need it to use Sludge Bomb, I guess? Or you just gotta get through? Yes! yes! Oh my god. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> the first ever giraffe rig yet. clutch. <laughs> All right. Those five battle points are mine. Yes. Let's freaking go. All right, one more round, chat. And then the silver print will be Sparkles. Can he do it and get two silver prints in two different categories in one GDU hotfix show? <laughs> now that's definitely quite the feat. That'd be something. I'm excited. Gotta say. Will be triple kick using hit on top. Wow. You just can't escape small, it. It's a small world, huh? Sand, Sand slash. EQ, please. Okay. This is okay. Oh, Espion. Oh my god. Okay. Let's well, go. I think I think we have. Did he get Espion and Leafion? 
This is like a physical charm, Melian, but flamethrower? Uh, it's so bad. That's pretty oh, Leafeon's take... pretty good. Leafeon and Sand Slash, I think. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Wow, this you got Espeon, correct. you're fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we mean when we say like trading a lot will rig the odds in our favor for future teams. Yeah. Because this Espeon has ridiculous stats and it has uh, the stab psychic. Alright, Intimidate or Technician? Which one will it be? <laughs> it's, it's Technician! No. And it's Mock Punch! I'm interested. Ow. Color me intrigued. Although it's like Triple Kick, Mock Punch. It's bad. Like don't counter don't and do. focus. Don't energy. actually consider it. So yeah, you don't need to it's so keep training aggressively anymore, so. Bayonet. Alright, free. Unless Shadow Sneak. I don't know if it can get that without egg moves, though. Oh, wow, you live. Knock off. No! I knew it. Oh, my God. That's fine. No! So we have Beefy on. We can dispose of the beef. Why is Perugly angled like that in this game? Like in Diamond and Pearl, the sprite looks so normal, but like, why is she stanced like that? I like it. Okay. That's your opinion. Don't hate. I'm not. You were kind of hating. Just, I was just Don't curious. say you weren't hating. Dude, that was clear what, hatred. You're, you're trying to debase my image. What? What's? This is not right. <laughs> Hyper voice Wigglytuff? Hey, can you focus on the run, please? Sorry, sir. Um... I even want to trade. The bayonet was okay. Uh, the scene seems pretty good. Hit what does Spin Slash have again? Is it like? It's EQ with with quick claw. Then take then keep it. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. That's disgusting. And Rock Slide. True. The double evolution team. Dude, PMD reference again. Let's go. Uh, actually, the game showcase was not Pokemon Explorers. It was Pokemon Rescue. There was still a Wigglytuff in Blue Rescue Team earlier. True, actually. We were literally you know talking what? about it. You know what? Yeah, you're right, man. <laughs> Shadow Ball <Yeah>. Wigglytuff. <laughs> Maybe Calm Mind first was correct. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Setup's pretty good. You should try it sometime. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I'll go Sand Slash. Still, this Howl set. I'm very good. I do get out sped. Quick Claw. EQ is still as strong as Crush Claw or Rock Slide, so we're just going to keep using that. Because it's guaranteed accuracy. No Quick Claw? Dude. I mean, just having the Sand Slash so others can't have Quick Claw is probably the way to go. Now, if we want to talk about funny facts, right? Sand Slash is, uh... What? Uh, I mean, he's so, like, hunched over. He's funny looking. I mean, yeah, but that that's, like... Because he's trying to defend from invaders. Like, uh -huh. that's how it works. That's how hedgehogs work, right? Yeah, right. Why are you talking to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Can you focus you on the run, man? You think you're Please? better than me? We're on the final round. You gotta lock in, okay? I think it's Shadow Sneak, so it probably two shots me, but I feel like I just punch it. I probably two shot. Does Klops a very low HP? Confuse Ray. Okay. Oh, the Lumberry Clutch. You know? Fine. Not even a crit would have done it. Oh, God. It's the rat. It's the giant rat who makes all the rules. Everybody watch out. Hey! 
Oh, he just got ratted. I did. There was nothing I could do. I got the quick claw. One shot, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Have no fear. Get it? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thanks. All right. Now we're friends again. Yeah. Number four. We're getting we're halfway there. Bigger the Slash. Ready? Let's just keep going. I don't see any issues with my team. Your team's pretty good. Are you ready for Thorin though with this team? I think so. Alright. I have no doubts. Now, Big Roth does have pretty poor special bulk, so this might one shot. I think so. I have faith. Wasn't strong enough. Uh, that was a range. You just got unlucky. So. Grumpig? Ew. We go beefy on with the X scissor. No, it, I mean, Leaf Blade's still fine. Side Beam. Might still get two shot by this. Yeah. I crit leaf blade. Could be real. Ooh, uh -oh. um, <laughs> That's definitely um, knocking out from there. That's fine. Yeah, no. I can psychic this. It's fine. Okay. Psychic should do it now. Yeah, I don't want to risk my sand slash. Hit him on top. There we go. As shrimple as that. And before... Okay, Intimidate, no technician! So we probably don't get one shot by a crit. Dude. <laughs> Ow. Ow, I can't laugh at her. <laughs> why am I even... Why am I even here? Man? Why am I even here? Alright, we're still... Fine. Ow. Yeah, how's it feel, kid? How's it feel? <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> what a sequence. Earthquake Pupitar? Uh, I can just like go Leafy on on that. Turn one. There's no way I one shot with Psychic. Baldwin? Oh, oh, it's over. Reader Baldwin. I'm finished. <sighs> so predictable, Baldwin. You haven't changed, I see, <laughs> since we last met. Juff? Uh, I don't have the best matchup against Juff. I have Aerial Ace. Take that. All right, sorry. I was clipping the uh, double crit thing. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce? Uh, I don't like that. Oh, check this out. Oh, oh. Oh, come Aww. on. I deserve that one. Oh. Okay, no pair. It's fine. Let me take those. I didn't even realize you had double team this entire time. Me neither. Ow. All right. Easy pickings. Baldwin is no more. Bomb Chansey? Okay. So I guess we just immediately... I'll just go to Leafeon. I could go Sand Slash. I'll go Sand Slash for this.
Oh, Chansey. That's right. Ooh, Ooh. nice dodge. Oh my, what? The Chansey's right. not messing around. <laughs> this Chansey business. knows something we don't. This thing probably has a lucky punch. Jeez Louise. Dude, the lucky punch is the funniest item ever. I wish they mm -hmm. made more like joke items that make like bad mons or like yeah, like metal powder and quick powder for ditto. Also, those are very so funny. silly. Yeah. <laughs> this might just be a an ultimate battle. So usually the problem with Thornton in this uh, spot would be he would just have like way higher BST mons than us, but we do have the Espeon and Leafeon. Yeah. So and Sand, and Slash, Sand Slash. Sand Slash. Well, Sand Slash is very like good attack and defense, and that's kind of it. But it does have the stab EQ, so that's also really good. We would definitely not want to see something like something like. Uh, a good special attacker would not be good for us. He's leading with a Hypno. That is a special attacker. Uh, that's not, I mean, no, it's a fit, no, that was a Psycho Cut Hypno. No, it sucks, we're fine. I'll just go, do I go Leafeon or Sand Slash on it? I feel like I should go Leafeon. All right, everyone, get ready with your dancing emotes. It's probably like, Psycho Cut and like Elemental Punches, which that'd be bad for both Leafeon and uh, Sand Slash, so we just gotta, gotta rip it. All right. Forewarned. Forewarned. Get a baton pass for cool points. Yes. That, uh, what? Oh. Well, that, that would have definitely one-shot me, so yeah. you know what? <laughs> that was definitely a Goodness. good play. Yeah, not fling, uh, that. that's, how much power is that with an iron crit, ball? Crit, crit! Oh, yeah! Oh. With the iron ball, I feel like fling is at least like 100 or 120 power. Yeah, dark type would have destroyed Espeon. Okay, okay, oh, yeah. If this is Ice Fang, Ice oh, Punch, I'm not shoot. living that. Oh, oh. beat the odd! Ooh. That did so little! That did nothing. Whoa. This Floatzel sucks. Leafeon's wild. Let's go. Wow. That wasn't even Ice Fang. That was Ice Punch. Yeah. Sceptile. Okay, we're not in the clear yet. Physical Sceptile. Okay. Thank you for your service, Leafeon. This is actually bad. This thing could still beat me. It has Crunch no, no, for no, Espeon. No, 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 no. All right, I'm, I, I have Espeon's to rip it. Espeon's got this. I have to rip it. This might. I might get one shot. No. No, I think you're dead. Okay, oh. that's really good. Now the problem is if this lives and has overgrow and can leaf blade my sand slash. Oh my god! Oh, that doesn't help. <laughs> what have I done? Uh, <laughs> uh oh, I think this I is think... over. Chat. Wait, 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 wait! Quick claw. Oh. Hope. If okay, I can chat. get the quick this claw, is, uh, get this earthquake. Twenty percent chance. Twenty percent chance. I win. Here we go. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Dude! Woo! All right, GG Sparkle. Yes. Oh my God, Sparkle, you have gotten silver print first try <laughs> in both categories in one session here on the GDQ Hotfix. How are you feeling? I, I'm I'm speechless. <laughs> All I can say is Sparkle on, Sparkle on. Thank you so much for this uh, Battle oh. Factory speedrun showcase, Sparkle. I really appreciate it. Any shoutouts you would like to do? Um. Shoutouts to all the friends I've been chilling with here today. You, Corvame, and Swift Lou is really fun hanging out. And thank you for bringing me on to uh, previously commentate your Platinum E4 round to yeah. Manipulus round. But it was still a, still a good time. We hung out, you know, friends, chill. Uh, and yeah, shoutouts to everybody who's watching. Shoutouts to uh, people from my Discord and from all the other Discords of uh, the aforementioned people. 
you're all sick. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I had a great time. Awesome. Again, please be sure to drop Sparkle a follow. You just hover over his name on the Twitch title. If you're watching after the fact on YouTube, I think it should be in the description, or you can just go to twitch.tv slash sparkle and drop him a follow. I would really appreciate it. Thank you again, Sparkle, for doing this run super last minute for me. Uh, again, I was supposed to do a run of Pokemon Platinum Elite for Round 2 today, but I am sick and I'm not in the best state to do it, so Sparkle and Swift were able to uh, switch over from being commentators to doing the run super last minute. So thank you both to them. I really, really appreciate it. And um, I think it's going to be it for us today. There is still some announcements I want to make. Give me one second. Um, tune in tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, for the bargain bin, followed by Express Lane. And then after this, the, the stream's not going to end here. Uh, we will be resuming with the final day of AGDQ 2024 reruns here on the GDQ Twitch channel. Uh, Lost Judgment is going to be coming up next. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. Uh, again, kind of the finale day of the runs. So uh, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of great things. If you didn't watch the finale of AGDQ, definitely stick around to watch it. A lot of fun and uh, cool runs. So uh, thank you again, and I will see you all eventually. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody.